If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I'm Sam from Adventures in Crafting. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics here. Can't believe that another year has just flown by. I just want to take the opportunity to wish you the happiest of Christmas and a really healthy 2022. So, happy Christmas from our Christmas room, which is here all year round. So, happy Christmas! Hi everyone, it's me, Jules Mayu, wishing you a fantastic, fun, festive season. Let's hope we'll have a raring good time this year. Sending you lots of warm hugs from me and Lola. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, there's something I haven't done this morning. What is it? Morning, Paula. Love Paula in deep car. Donna says good morning. We haven't done the early bird. Elliot? Early bird. Here we go. Now, I've got a guest today, so you haven't got to put up with me sewing today. If you bought these three half metres of fabric, half metre of the red, half metre of the black, half metre of the white, you would pay £16.47. Wait till you see the price. Wait till you see the price. The whole hour, what is the whole hour? Everything under £10, right? This won't be under £10. Three lots of fabric, half a metre of each with French, we shall read in a minute, Le Perfection. Go on then, under £10. Oh no. We had this the other day, didn't we? Fixed price, fixed price. We pull all the time. 9 99 Now remember, they are already cut into half metre pieces. So you won't get, if you buy two of them, you won't get a metre of it. Oh, hang on a second. 
You're way too loud. You're shouting down your mouth. She's been all quiet during prep and she gets behind her microphone and she starts screaming and shouting. Oh, there you go. That's the red one. Take measure, take measure, take measure. Da, 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 da. You read it. 44 inches wide. La perfection, la collier, la glamour, vogue, la pâté, la flirt. So they're saying parties are female and flirts are boys. Anyway, that's the red one. Here's the white one. What are you going to make out of this? They're not fat quarters. They are half metres, look, of each one for 9 99 There's the white one. Hillary says, good morning. Oh, Hillary, didn't Stuart's uh, mince pies look lovely yesterday? I don't normally like a mince pie, but they look delicious. I, li I like it when it's made with puff pastry and it's warm and you've got brandy butter to put over the top. That works out to £3.33 a half metre. Lintuit. It's really foggy here this morning. So please, I've not got to go out. Do you know what, Lintuit? Lintuit. It was so foggy. And when, I, when you come through my village, my village is flat like that. And then to get to the next village, there's a hill that people cycle up. I don't know how they do it. Like that to get to the next village. And I got to stop it. And it was thick, thick fog. Came down the other side into Welford. Couldn't see a thing. Couldn't see a thing. But what was lovely is everybody shows off their Christmas lights. They're all on at five o'clock in the morning. I don't put mine on because it wakes the neighbours up. But I will do this week, I think. <clears throat> but anyway, all the lights all twinkling through the thick fog. But I didn't pass a car until I got to the main road. Anyway, look, three half metres you get there for £9.99. Louise says, morning, love your shirt. I'll tell you about my shirt in a minute. Patricia says, love you from Blackpool. Uh, Wendy says, good morning, looking forward to a great morning. Claire says, good morning. Oh, Claire, Claire, I got a parcel from you yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. I'll save it till Christmas. Thank, but thank you very much indeed. Uh, uh, Anne says, hello. Donna says, hello. Paula says, hello. D says hello, hope you're feeling better today. I wasn't ill yesterday, I just had funny pains. And I've just realised this morning, I've got them here today, not, not major. When I had my tick bite fever in South Africa, that's where my pains were then as well. So I think I might be a bit run down, that's all. 9 99 And the shirt, oh it's Christmas, sorry, the shirt's Christmas. It's a Claudio Lugly Christmas shirt, look. Less, well, a week today, it's all over. We today I'll be taking my Christmas decorations down. Well, no, I won't. I won't because I won't. Well, what about the news last night, right? That, uh, uh, did you? Uh, uh, look, there's the shirt. Classy, isn't it? Shame about the big belly inside. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, what's all this about? I read last night on Yahoo about them doing the Christmas like they did last year. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go and see my family. Uh, anyway, and then I didn't watch Strictly because I was in bed, right? Oh, now, turn your thingy off if you've not watched it yet, right? So I thought, I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to say to everyone at the beginning of the show, don't mention Strictly because I haven't seen it yet. It was only on the news who'd won as I was driving in. I was like, I pulled into the car park here with the six o'clock news on. It was like, and, and I won't say it, what they said. And I was like, oh, thanks. It was a bit obvious though, wasn't it? This should work out at 5.49 and a half metre. You're paying 3.33. Right. Remember, there are people buying multiples. They do come pre-cut, remember. Helen says, good morning. Louise says, good morning. Oh, lots of people love <laughs> loving my shirt. Another Louise says, good morning. Louise, uh, well, I've said two Louises. Andy Lynn says, morning, John. Looking forward to today's show. Good morning to all the viewers. There's lots of you there today, early on a Sunday. Morning, John and team. Love this shirt. That's from Laurie. Uh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Your lights in the window are battery. They're always on. Why are they always on? Why the batteries run out? And they're on all the time. Yeah, you see, my outdoor... My outdoor lights, right, are on a timer, but they are bright LED. They're re when you put them on, they light up the whole road. So um, I think it'd be a bit unfair because my bedroom's on the back. I wouldn't be able to see them, but everyone else on the front would. But then Sally at number five, all of her lights are on this morning. Matt from number uh, five, seven, nine, his were all on this morning. Geraldine, John, morning, John, love the shirt. I cried at the dancing last night. Oh, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it now, I've been told. You still must watch Strictly. I have a box of tissues ready, says Lynn to it. Karen says, good morning, John team. Looking forward to another great day. Is it very emotional? 
Yeah. Nine ninety nine. Well, yes, because my favourite had to drop out, didn't she? She did something to her ankle. And a few of the celebrities weren't there, I believe, as well. A few of the celebrities didn't go back for the thing. How would you send in a Christmas message? This says, I was going to tell you now, but I'll show... Oh, ah, ah, ah. That's Elliot, everybody. Here you go. Send your Christmas messages to studio at sewingstreet.com. That's on Christmas Day. Hannah and I will be here and we're going to be reading out your Christmas messages. So what you need to do is send the Christmas message in to studio at sewingstreet.com. But in the top bit there... Subject line, write Christmas message so that Kat knows where... I was saying, if you sent it in while Paul was on the other day, he was ignoring it, I hate to tell you. But we'll find them, we'll find them. Send them again if you've already not sent them already. Uh, and we'll read them out on Christmas morning. I know. Just think a week today's Boxing Day. How frightening yeah. is that? Oh, you'll be in that day, will you? Who's on with you then? Uh, it's Stuart on Boxing Day. It's Stuart, it's Kat... And Elliot. What day of the week is it then? Sunday. Keep going through. Michelle says, good morning, John. What are you demoing today? Michelle? Michelle? Nothing. Oh, I might do, actually. What have I got later on? Oh, yeah, I might do some uh, Seams hand cream. I might do some of that for you. Uh, Marie's been up since five in Islington. I share your pain. Marie, on my days off, I wake up at five. I met a friend for coffee the other day. And he went, oh, you look tired. And I said, I've been up for six and a half hours. He just literally got up, rolled out of bed and drove in in his Mercedes, whatever it is he drives. Uh, anyway, uh, quickly, quickly. Uh, where do we send our Christmas show? I've done that, Anne. Good morning, John. It was nice to see you around the studio yesterday, says Jacqueline. Uh, Gerardine says, it's beautiful. You must watch it. Good morning, John. What? I've done that one, sorry. Uh, right, now... Um, I watched, um, uh, what's that one where Davina and Nikki find the long lost family? So I sob at that every time. Yesterday there was one and I wasn't even crying. Right? I was just sitting watching it and I suddenly felt this tear just run down my cheek like that. It was very moving. Oh, she cat did it with Harry Potter. Right, this is much cheaper than it's meant to be. It's only cats taking it to 9 99 because the first hour is everything under £10. Right, I've t oh, we're not saying it that many times. Cat price going back up at midnight because it's crashed down. It's not coming. Well, come join together. She's only had one coffee. She's she's had one coffee and a bit of water. No Red Bull. No nothing yet. She's just excited for life. That's what it is. So, do you think he'll propose? No, because he's not going. Oh, oh! Look at the fabrics while I've just fixed this. My earpiece is broken. I'll be with you in a minute. I've got a new one on order. In fact, it should be ready this week, I suppose. There we go. Oh. Okay, Kat's not getting her hopes up, but she said to her boyfriend yesterday, which of my presents did you most enjoy wrapping? And he said, the one that's in your stocking. She immediately thought, oh, an engagement ring will fit in a stocking. But he's always said, hasn't he, that he won't... No, no, you've said to him... It shouldn't be on a birthday, Christmas, or a Valentine's Day. Everything like that should be a su surprise the other day. Uh, Cousin Susan says, John, your shirt really suits you. Mark says, morning, John, Captain Elliot. Light fog here. Uh, Alan says, um, can I send in some patchwork cushions for you? Well, you can, but I don't know where they'd go, Alan, because they'd get lost in the mess. But that's very sweet of you if you want to. I tell you what, Alan, we'll send them in and maybe we'll, we'll give them to charity or something like that because I'm worried they'd get lost, get lost in here. But I don't want you to spend your money. Uh, two weeks today, I'll be 70. Lint to it. You're never that. God, you look good for that. Is that right? Two weeks today, I'll be 70. I guess my birthday will put on hold. Oh, you look brilliant. Oh, Lynn to it. Jenny says, I'll get on with it in a minute. Jenny says, oh, now positive. Oh, hang on. Morning. Other half now positive. Looks like Christmas with the family may be cancelled. Oh, no. Oh, I don't understand that. Unless I go without him. Oh, I see what you mean. I said, not positive mind. He may be positive COVID wise. Quite fancy keeping you company on Christmas Day. Oh, Jenny. Fiona, morning, John team. Such a brilliant show yesterday. Misty here in Surrey. I'm in bed with a cup of tea. Oh, how lovely. Uh, Margaret said, did Elliot... Elliot, why have you put the elf there, says Margaret. Elliot, so rude. 
So rude, Elliot. Right, shall we have a look at the menu? Coming up today, 8 o'clock, that's, that's now. It's under £10 fabric bundles, some brand new, some you've never seen before, some with money off, oh, all sorts going on there. Oh, they've all got money off. They've all got money off, apparently. <laughs> then we've got nine o'clock, we've got EPP. Now we've got the machine cover and the pen roll. Let's have a look. There's the machine cover. That's over the big jukey and pen roll. Then at 10 o'clock, that's with Jenny Jackson, obviously. 10 o'clock, we've got sewing room tools. And the launch of the new mode collection, which Jenny uses in the hour before. 11 o'clock, we've got EPP cushion and bucket. Bouquet, there's the cushion. And there's the bucket. Obviously, don't put water in it. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got bag making supplies. There are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is email studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, the other one, next way, is by Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. Um, what have I got here? Um, Jill says, morning, John. Missy and Miserable here in Melton Mowbray. I'm going to stay in bed and watch you. Aww. Uh, anyway, uh, or you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. There you go. Uh, click on Watch the Show Live under £10 Fabrics, John Scott. You'll see a little white box on the right-hand side there. Click right in there and send it through, and there are the white boxes that come up across the bottom of my screen. Scroll down the page. There's the early bird. It's our bestseller. It's the only thing we've had so far. Then here are the fabric bundles. Caif, under £10. Look at the prices. Under £9 even, taking £2 off those. Oh, okay, that's nice, isn't it? So Kat's doing a lateral flow while I'm on, on air to you now. What happens if it comes back positive now, Kat? Well, we're all off. We're all off to go. I've been double jabbed and boosted, and I did mine last night. My, I'm fine. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All of the... Look, stop, 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 stop. Look at that. Now, that's not a bundle, but Kat puts it in because she just loves it. Now, remember, these are already cut. These, they don't come by the half metre. They're already cut. Oh, that one does come by the half metre. Are you sure? Are you absolutely positive? Okay, that one does come by the half metre. Okay, carry on. So this is all eight o'clock. Then Jenny Jackson with her new kits there. Beautiful, aren't they? That's the first hour with all the bits and bobs that you might need to do those with. There's the second, the patterns on their own. Hang on, I'm a bit confused now. Then we've got the fabrics in the next hour by the half metre. Already limited, already limited. Beautiful though, aren't they? Look at them, they're joyous. Ladybirds, beautiful. They're by Crystal, aren't they? Crystal Manning, Crystal Manning. Now I was taught by Christine Manning, pattern cutting. Moving on. There's the seams, which I will be demonstrating later today. Cat's favourite tool, the meter stick, always sells out when she brings it to air. Uh, then, bag making. Bag making. It's gone in a funny order because Jenny Jackson's second hour hasn't come up yet. There's bag making stuff there. And then... Oh, crikey, that's locked to get through, isn't it? Then there you go. There's Jenny Jackson's second uh, hour. Right down at the bottom there. And then just we got a couple of the, last time she was in, she had that cushion and the um, blue bag. I can't see the blue bag. Anyway, they were there already. Right. Should we get on? So everything this hour, under £10. So if you see something like, on pre-order, loads. Is, can I just tell you, this is flying out on pre-order. I'm going to start with this, right? We love this, right? Oh! Oh, I see... I see now the picture. The picture on the website is just that, isn't it? So I thought the whole half metre was that. It's even better. Yeah, look, that is gorgeous. Now that is by the half metre. Patsy says, good morning, John and team. Loved your saying demos yesterday. Thank you. Uh, the other Jans, they already been in early this morning. Say good morning, John and all. What's she talking about? If you buy a meter, it just keeps going that way, doesn't it? So you get four, you'll get four 
stripes going down as, as much as you buy. Yeah. I wonder what, yeah, I wonder what repeats when you go that way. Well, hang on, I've got little green. We are, look, because that doesn't look the same as that there. Anyway, £7.49 for half a metre. There's uh, 11 and a half metres left. 11 and a half metres left, that's all. I do my Rafi COVID test every day to make sure. Uh, yeah, I do as well, Alan. Yeah. You done one this morning, Elliot? No, see, Elliot was out drinking last night. He played tabletop golf, um, crazy tennis. No, what else did you do yesterday? Pool. Didn't take his mask off once, he said. Well, he doesn't want to frighten the girls, does he? And all his friends were calling him weirdo. Right. Next. Which is that side? That side or that side? This side. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, hot tomato. Or is it orange? Hot tomato and that lovely floral there, isn't it? This is a uh, wild beauty packed floral with hot tomato. Half a metre of each. Remember, they're already cut. Straight down to nine. Well, no, we're not crashing. The price is already there. 9 99 9.99. What's the saving on that then? Sue says, good morning, John and team. Good morning, says Elliot. So does Kat. She's not called Susie Q, she's called Sue P. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. They're lovely, aren't they? Under £10, treat yourself. Now, what date is it today? Right, so today is the last official day that we're saying you'll get it before Christmas. Right, but obviously, yeah, yeah, don't shoot the messenger. But also, uh, it's really weird, right? So I sent my Christmas cards out on Monday. Some people messaged me on Tuesday. I put second class stamps on them. Some people messaged me on the Tuesday saying, got your card, got your card. But other people only got it yesterday. So who knows? Who knows? Anyway, look, 20 left, 20 left. It's going to be busy this hour. Well, all day I think it's going to be busy, but... Morning, John. So good to see you this morning. I'm glad you're on the weekend because I work weekdays. You're a... Oh, you always put a smile on a face. Is the fluorographic a cotton fabric? Yeah. Which one's the fluorographic? The f of course, they're all cotton. They're all cotton. Look. Fluorographic, Jason, you enter in the beginning. Yeah, it's 100% cotton. Uh, you have not left it long enough yet. Right, that's it. Cat's negative. That's good. We've just got to test Elliot now. Nine ninety nine. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Keep going through for that. Next one. This one. Oh, this is nice. Might not have teamed it with that personally, but there you go. Look. Look, 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 look. Mannequins, mannequins. Teamed with Battleship Grey. Grey is lovely. I might have done black, I think. Might not use it together, might you? So you get a half metre of this, half metre of this, 9 99 Made with love, mannequins and dark grey. Oh, now, look, the, um, that thing that Elliot's just put in now, that shop, over 100 people have tested it out. If you put your phone up to it now, oh, I haven't brought my phone with me. Who told you to use it more? Oh, Hayley Bryant said we've got to use it more. Basically, at the moment, if you, if you click on there, it takes you to the Watch Live page. Then you can buy, you see. Uh, Elliot, hopefully, will be like QVC, where it go takes you to the actual item. That is the plan. But it could take a while. Stick with us till 2023, and it might be all right. 
100% cotton, 100% cotton, core fabric, beautiful fabric. $9.99? It's because the grey. There you go. That's lovely, isn't it? Do we sell that by the half metre on the website, that one? Now, see that one? That's available. Go on the website and buy that one. Next one is uh, knitting. Now, this is a lovely bundle. There you go. Chartreuse. Yes, yeah, it's lovely, this one. Chartreuse and knitting. Well, it's knitting and stitching, look. Yarn spools and shutters. Oh, they all yarn. $9.99. Judith says, good morning. Good morning, Judith. Judith. Remember, if you buy multiples, they do come pre-cut. So if you buy two of these, you'll get two of those and two of those. Under £10. Lots of people buying on pre-order this morning, just so you know. Right, moving on. Oh, this next one's lovely. I oh, know. Look at this one. Now, Vicks launched this range, and we had it again the other day. Just floral fascination. This is a lovely bundle, that one. Look, half a metre of each. I tell you what came up on my YouTube last night as I was going to bed. I always have a quick flick through my phone before I say, which I know is wrong, 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 wrong. But I was say, anyway, YMCA by the Village People came up for some reason, and I watched it, and I watched it right, and it 1978 it was. I was 18. I was so full of life and joie de vivre and exuberance, and everything, and I just so then I watched, then I clicked on it and then went down and I watched um, what in the Navy. Um, Go West, and what was the other one they did? Uh, anyway, what Macho Man. Macho, Macho Man, I'm gonna be a Macho Man. It was brilliant, and then I went to sleep, and I had weird dreams. 9.99. Come on, Elliot, over the overhead, thank you. Oh, we see. Oh, he's not doing lateral, he's just blowing his nose. Loads, he got this one on pre-order, half metre and half metre, they're already cut, remember. Morning, John. Love the shirt, says Ancelata. How are you, my lovely? Week today, Boxing Day. It's frightening, isn't it? It feels like it was only summer a minute ago, doesn't it? Well, hang on. So it's the 19th today. So in two days' time, summer's on its way. Because it's the solstice shortest day on the 21st. So then it's dark, days start getting longer. Don't look at me. Look at the fabric. The what? Ab above, head, head, overhead. Elliot, what's the matter, Cat? Okay, the pad in Cat's brassiere is inside out. I don't know how that's happened. Moving on. Elliot's got no idea what he's talking about. What? I've got what? Low teens of that one now. Tim Holtz. This is nice, isn't it, this one? Very busy on pre-order. There you go. No. Uh, Tim Holtz abandoned duh in dyed stripe with slate fabric. I'm, look at it. I'm just going to have a slurp of my water. Crazy Lorraine's just woken up. She says it's freezing there. Well, I suppose it does get cold in a caravan, doesn't it? Beautiful. Now, Crazy Lorraine, Crazy Lorraine, did you get a new car this week? I saw you with a bunch of flowers and a car and a man from Vauxhall or something. $9.99, $9.99. Keep going through. Oh, the other Jan's up. Jan, good morning, gorgeous. So soon, Boxing Day. I'll have to sew and crochet faster. Yeah, you haven't got long now till Christmas. Message from Mandy. Good morning, John. Watch me with a cup of tea with Maisie the dog. It's my birthday on Christmas Eve, so I might treat myself. Treat yourself today. Yeah, treat yourself today. Mandy. Why not, friend of £10? The season of self-gifting, that's what it's all about. 
Oh, look, Sue sent me a whole list of areas where the post is disrupted, look. Let's have a look. Oh, no, you see? Oh, oh yeah, there's one. There's one near. Yeah, yeah, right, moving on. Oops. <laughs> Come on, John. <laughs> Come on, John. I've got this. Right, now I've got this lovely pink tiled fabric now. This one's got a real big saving on it, this one. So you get half a metre of the tiles, Riley Blake, and half... Oh, now! Look at the width of this. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can't even hold it. I think I need to go home. I think I'm tired. Is it one o'clock yet? Not that we go home at one o'clock. Somebody messaging you yesterday going, Yesterday you did presenting, you did entertaining, you did sewing. You did. So do you sweep up afterwards? I was like, yeah. Well, we don't actually. Elliot does the sweeping up. Yes, Crazy Rain said it's a new car from Honda. And as it was the first one, they gave me a beautiful blue cake. No, not, no, no, because it was Steve's birthday present. Christmas present. Ah. Oh. Anyway, look. 999, yep, Riley Blake. And this, what's this one? John, will you be going to the Sitch Festival in 2022 if it goes ahead? That is, n no. Now, is, can I just say, is that the one in Islington you're talking about, uh, Tara? The one in Islington, uh, they did book me to go on the stage again, but it clashes with our birthday week. And I'm on here every single day for a week. Oh, no, every single day apart from the Friday. I mean, every day that week. So for the whole of the birthday week, I mean, every single day. I know. Anyway, back to this. So I won't be there. I won't be there if that's the one you mean. Overhead, Elliot. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. It's lovely, isn't it? Love that tile there. Yep, perfect matching there from Cat. Cat the match, they say. What are you eating? What are you opening? Oh, he's, do he's doing a lateral flow as well now. Oh, he's done it. I didn't hear you gagging. We used to have a... Oh, no, I won't talk, tell you that story. <laughs> well, it's about Kieran we used to work with, but I can't be bothered. Right, this is lovely, isn't it? Butterflies and leaves. Yeah. 9.99, it's Henry Glass. Red butterflies. I know it's brand new, this. And claret. Isn't it lovely? 9.99, look. Yep, half a metre of this. Half a metre of this. 9.99. Kat says, please hurry up and buy them and check them out because she's put the whole hour... Well, that's a fib. Yeah, Kat did all these on the right-hand side of the desk. Hayley did the ones on the left-hand side of the desk. Okay, Elliot's negative as well. Gorgeous. Can't you just... So, so I've got a laptop here and I'll just do the cameras myself. Yeah. Here we go. T with B, Riley Blake. We've got a slide for this. We've got a slide for T with B. Oh, we're not too busy to do slides, John. Oh, Tara. Yeah, that's the one I meant. That's a shame. I won't book tickets then. Oh, thank you for answering and Merry Christmas. Tara. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. If it goes ahead, of course. Oh, it's just... It does... No, stay in and watch us, Tara. It'll be brilliant. Birthday week. Absolutely brilliant. This what? Two years old, yeah. I haven't, I haven't been here for two years. October I joined, didn't I? So I've been here just a year and two months now. It does feel like a lifetime. Oh, a frozen. Facebook Live's frozen. Oh, there it gets moving again now. Bright yellow's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, that yellow with it. Sunshine is that one. Oh, no, corn. You want what? Yeah, bright colours to go with the fog today. 
Now stop singing those songs. But at 1978, it's just... Go west of the beach, go west. And then on the radio, going home yesterday, we were, weren't late going home yesterday, but on a Saturday, I like to listen to... Um, call, no, I don't switch off when Ryland comes on. Paul Gambaccini. Do I mean Paul Gambaccini? Gambaccini, anyway, doing the charts from like 20 years ago and 40 years ago and everything like that. And it was brilliant. I'm Tammy Wynette and... Um, What's it? Do, do. Whoa, oh, oh, sing, dang, tong. What was that? <laughs> what was that song? Whoa, oh, oh, sing, dang, tong. I don't know the words. Anyway, look. <laughs> this one is loads in, <laughs> loads in basket. Moo, moon, shine. Oh, 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 moo, moon, shine. That one, that one. It was brilliant. I had it full blast. I had it on full blast on the radio going home yesterday. And then they'd had Elton John and George Michael doing Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. No. Is there? I haven't seen... Oh, it's a... Lewis and Irene, it's different. They used to do one like this years ago, didn't they? There's little copper bits on the wings there, look. And then you've got the dark teal with it. That's what I said. The little scallops on the feathers. Oh, there, the tail feathers. Tail feathers, yeah. It, it doesn't sparkle. It doesn't sparkle. It's just a metallic dye. Look, you can see there. I think you will, Tim Elliot. And watch, they can. KLF. Moo song, it's called. I remember the streets of London. That was none. That was none, Alan. No, that's not even the song, Kat, that you're singing. Ralph McTurley say it, he's thinking of. Right, love this. Crazy Rain will like this one. Unusual mix, this one. Oh, quickly. Trying to find the dark floral panel that was on the show deals page earlier. Is it sold out? It's not a panel. It's not a panel, it's not a panel, it's um, fabric, here it is, I'll put the fabric in for it, it's by the half metre this, and you will, this one's not singular, singular, this one actually is by the half metre, but there's only four metres left, four metres or two metres, sorry, four metres left, June's overslept, very foggy here today, oh, it was horrible and foggy, do you want to pull out, Elliot, look, there you go, so that's half a metre. If you Now, this is the only one of the hour that if you buy more than one, it does come joined together. No, it won't. Oh, hang on then. Right, I'm confused, right? So if you scan that QR code, if you're on the telly now, it takes you to the shop now page. So you'll see that. But is it is it the same time as real life or is it the same time as Facebook Live? I'll test it. I'm going to test. I'm going to bring my phone out to the next down. I'm going to test it. Oh, there you go. That's it. Scan now. That's it. Scan now. There. It take you to that. So you be able to. Oh, so it does take you to the item that's for sale then. Oh, okay then. I thought it just took you to the. Okay. Okay. Let's do this then. Very nice. Well done, Elliot. It's always been that way. I just didn't realise. I just thought it took you to the show page thing. Anyway, so if you're on the computer, if you're already watching it, you don't need to do that. It's only if you're on the telly. Electric Dreams. Is that what it's called? Da, 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 moo, moo, shine. Oh, Electric Dreams. What's that one then? We'll play it then. We'll see. No, it's not that one, Kat. You were just living in a living in the material world. That's what you were singing then. Oh, together in electric dreams, human league. I used to have um, a, a Phil Oakey hairdo. It was short on this side, really long on that side. And I, went, I had it done, and then went on my first teaching practice. And the headmaster said, "We don't like trendy people at our school." 
So I had to go back and Barry, who's my flatmate, no, not Barry the book buyer, Barry, who was a dancer. Uh, uh, anyway, he cut it all. He's not a hairdresser, but he cut it all off for me. He's, he's in heaven now. Nine ninety. It was really sad because there were three of us that hung around together at college. Me, Wendy and Barry. And Wendy and Barry are both in heaven now. I know. Anyway, 9.99. Kira, Kira, Collie on. Oh, no, hang on. Kira, Kira, Koi on red. She went with the navy. It's nice, isn't it? Very contrasting. Loads of these in baskets. Make sure you check out. Can I be really um, honest with you, Elliot? I don't like the threads and the things round the... Oh, it's there. Shop now thing there. That, no, that's my own, but that's just my personal opinion. Morning, John. Me and hubby are going to spend the afternoon in the sewing room. Before the room... Hang on. Morning, John. Me and hubby are going to spend the afternoon in the sewing room before the my room today. That doesn't make sense. We're going to spend the afternoon in the sewing room. Got that bit. Before the my room today. Lovely singing from Sam and Mark. What do you mean? Is it you near Louth? You near Louth? We used to live in Louth when I was a child. In fact, my brother went to the grammar school in Louth. He stayed there on, as a boarder after we went off and did our, you know, moved around. Right. Oh, deal, Balieu. Lots of this gone on pre-order already. <laughs> there you go. That's very like the quilt we've just been watching uh, uh, um, Delphine doing. Julie says, morning, John, loving the shirt. Kirsty Sound says, it sounds like Justified and Ancient by KLF and Tammy Winnett. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. So anyway, this is half metre, half metre, 9.99. Nine If you want to know all about Odile Bellier, watch uh, Delphine and Vix's show, 11 o'clock on Friday, last Friday. Nine ninety nine. Odile Odile Magic Country, Mini Plumettes and Emerald. That means little, uh, little feathers. Little feathers. That means... Under £10 for designer fabric, half metre. Oh! Elliot likes to the print, there you go. It looks like a mouse in a ballet dress. Oh, you're right, it does, Jan. I can see that now. Yes, you can. There's its tutu. Arms. It's got big feet. Very big feet, yeah. Oh, where, where was I pointing? You were nowhere near me. There. Tutu, mouse, arms, big feet. Moving on. Alice and Marion. Alice and Marion's up, everyone. That's a new Sunday morning, 29. Blimey, she must be busy. Alice, I bet she... Oh, do you know what? She, she's in on Christmas Day. She'll be prepping Christmas Day shows, won't she? Um, or rabbit with big feet, says Jan. I moved to London in 1979 when I was 18. Village people on the radio as we drove there. My flatmate did a curly perm for me and I made myself a lovely heather-covered two-piece suit for interviews. Oh, <gasps> Alice and Marion. So hang on, in 1979, you were 18. So I'm a year, old, I'm a year older than you. Does that make you right? Yeah, because I was 18 in 78. Oh. What? I was born in 1960 and she was born in 1961. Oh, happy days, eh? Weren't they happy, carefree days, Alice and Marion? Unlike now, bitter and twisted. And What's the matter? She's going on about Brexit in there now for some reason. It's too early for that. Handmade with love. Magenta fabric bundle, 9 99 What's the matter, Cap? Lovely bundle. Now, this goes with the Made With Love from earlier, doesn't it? Very popular on pre-order. Hi, John. The song sounds like Montego Bay by Bobby Bloom. That was... Um, 
Come on down to Montego Bay. Da -da 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 -da. Montego Bay. No, I wasn't, I wasn't singing that. I was singing Tammy Wynette, Moonshine and Moonshine, whatever it was called. Cardua, that's a different song again, isn't it? You're singing Too Shy now. Padua, Too Shy High. To Padua. Cave bundles, uh, chips. <sighs> chips and dips on Christmas Eve, how lovely. Oh, I might do myself a, a Christmas Eve party at home on my own. <laughs> oh, I can't believe they can't bring in any rules. Please don't let them bring any rules. Oh, this one's only 8 98 Taking two pounds off this one. Chips with pine, this one. Do you know what? Um, the Heston Blumenthal mince pies have pine-flavoured salt on them. Or icing sugar on them. Not salt. Sugar. Sugar on them. Delicious. They're delicious. Well, they were. I don't know if he does them still. I haven't seen. These, these aren't like mince pies. They don't look like mince pies, but they were delicious. Warm with brandy butter and pine sugar. Eight, band 98, these are already cut. Remember, so if you buy two of them, you won't get a metre of each. Well, you will, but you'll get two half metres and two half metres if you buy two. Special saving there, two pounds off. Next one. Lots of these been going on pre-order. Yeah, we'll do garlands next. Garlands. God, they go. I went dancing there years later in the um, 80s. I went to garlands in Liverpool. That one's not at cave, obviously. This one is. We call it Hannah's hair as well. Curly girl hair. Now, has our new director, because Emma's left now, see? Emma director. We've got a new director starting in January. No. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they don't, they're not travelling to Devon until um, January the 7th or something like that. They've got to be out of their flat today. Yeah, they've had to take all the stuff to parents, houses and everything. I know. No, no, she's not going today. Cave Fancic Collective, garlands in green with jade. Again, Hayley's taken two pounds off that one for you. Another message. Morning, John. Join the show. The song is Moo Moon Land by KLF featuring Tammy. Now, is it Winnette or Wynette? That's from Lynn. I also say Tammy Winnette, but other people go Tammy Wynette. But then, I don't know. That's a, single figures. Single figures on that bundle. Right, now, Banana Plantation. This is incredible, isn't it? There you go, half a metre of the plantation and then the pink. Banana tree in red with fuchsia. You see, I don't call that fuchsia, would you? Pine sugar be like me eating mince pies with disinfectant sauce, says Jan. Jan. Now, where's all the romance gone? Christmassy pine, it's nice. <laughs> but I agree with you. <laughs> We have lavender in our toilets here because I buy the air fresheners for here. Oh, apparently something Christmassy in the girls' toilet. I've not been in there. I've been cleaning the girls' toilet. That beautiful. Uh, 8 dollars you're saving two pounds. Uh, uh, yeah, saving two pounds on that. Single figures. Single figures. Look. Single figures. I oh, know, meet your fabric for 8 98 no, you're not allowed to use that word. No. Right. Oranges. With orange, believe it or not. Hayley put these together for you and she knocks extra money off. Keep looking at that while I have a slurp of my water. I think Kat should have some more water, don't you? Eight ninety eight. Well, that's hard. That's two mouthfuls. She's halfway through a small bottle of water. 
Oh, no. Then we've got the oranges in monochrome with purple. Purple. Look. Oh, Elliot. Come on. Elliot's peaked, everyone. Yeah. I had to put a purple with this one, personally. Are Gerald and Rachel are travelling again in January? Guess whose loft is going to be full? They're renting out their house. I hope they can go or be living here for the next six months. Oh, Geraldine, I know. Well, as long as they aren't going to France and Germany, they'll be all right at the moment, won't they? Anyway, look. Oh, well, Elliot's best friend was supposed to be going to France for Christmas. That won't happen. If you've got a good enough reason, they'll let you in, apparently. We have to do a two-week um, two quarantine when you get there. So that'd be a Christmas in a hotel room, wouldn't it? Grey oranges with silver, this one. Single figures on that. People might remember when you buy multiples, you get them already cut. They're already cut, these. Right, yo. Then we've got big fishes on zigzag. I haven't seen this one for ages. No, exactly. They go with the orange. Eight ninety eight, saving two pounds. Life will never be the same, John. Oh no, cousin Susan, it won't, will it? You'd put this with raspberry, would you? I don't think we've got any raspberry though, have we? No. In fact, I haven't had raspberries for a while. I might get some from Waitrose on my way home today. I've got to stop and get my dinner before I get home. Eh? I'm not having a ham, egg and chips because I don't eat meat, do I? I'm not having egg and chips because this rate, I'm going to be having that on Christmas Day, aren't I? Here we go. <laughs> no, we're all, we've all tested negative, the three of us. This is pretty. What's this one? Philip Jacobs climbing geraniums. I don't remember this one. Oh, we've called it floral stems, right? But look, lovely. That's a nice bundle, Hayley. She knocked two pounds off this one as well. Yes, she has. Yes, she, she could have knocked 99p off it, couldn't she, really? No, no, she couldn't have gone 49 because that would have still made it over £10, you see. So to make it, so 8 98 so this bundle should be 10 98 right? So she could take a 99p off and made it 9 99 but no, she had to take £2 off. Perfect, 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 perfect. It's a lovely colour. What's that then? Amethyst. Amethyst. Oh, I got home yesterday and I turned on our sister channel, Gems TV, and my friend Cherry was presenting. That's who I'm getting my cats from, because I was about to text saying, what's the name of the cat, so I can tell the ladies and gents tomorrow. Uh, well, I didn't know, I, but then there was a mistake on the screen, in the bug, you see, because their guest was Toby, her brother, Toby Cavill. And they spelt Cavill wrong in the bug. They'd spelt it Tobel, Toby Cavill. They spelled her name, right? And then, and then what happened was, I, so I took a picture of it, sent it to her, thinking she'll get that after the show, and she went, oh, John's just messaged me, so she'll be at the phone next to her on the desk. Yeah, and she, um, she, was, she was selling a £22,000 bracelet at the time. They didn't put the number up. They didn't put the number up. I couldn't text in the studio, they didn't put the number up. So now look at this fabric here. Where? I can't, there. Where can you see it? On the edge. There. Up. There. But you get black with this as well. Oops. Limited single figures on all of these now. Say that again. What do you mean someone's moved a trolley? Oh, are they? Is there somebody in there, Jenny Jackson? Yeah. Who is it? Warehouse man, maybe? On a Sunday? What, I don't, what, what are you talking about? They're what, sorry? Okay. 
Oh, these, these, these are plain fabrics, right? So let's do jade first. They're not backing bundles because they're 44 inches wide, right? So you get one and a half meters for 9.99. What? Now they're already cut to one and a half meters. Lo says morning. She's in her motor home in Scotland. Oh, have you got to come back? She's gonna have to come back. Oh. 9.99 for a meter and a half. Yeah, you can come back. It's not a problem coming back. It's going there. They have the issue. Nine ninety nine. At the moment, it's just France. It's just France and Germany at the moment. In Luxembourg. <laughs> right. Okay. What? How many of these do you have got left? Oh, six left. Four in baskets now. Four in baskets. Make sure you check out. Check out. Check out. Check out. Then I've got this purpley colour. Royal blue, royal blue. I, I don't know why they've called it linen look, because it's not linen look at all. It's just, it's our Rose and Hubble royal blue. So I don't know where the linen look came from. Royal blue, 9.99. Oh, she's still in Chatsworth, on her way to Castle Howard. And that's where they filmed um, the original Brideshead Revisited, wasn't it? When they did that shot from the top with the black and white floor in the hall. Um, on our way to Castle Howard to Scotland on Monday. Oh. Now, remember, if you buy more than one of these, they are cut already. So you'll get three metres, but it will be two one and a half metres if you buy two. Beautiful. And then I've got two more to show you of these. I've got paprika. There you go. Actually, is the person where I'm still here. We can tell them about the grey. Oh. Is it the is it the health and safety one? The little ginger, a little grey one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brian, Brian's here from the warehouse. Big Christmas shout out to Brian. And what's the name of the other one that comes in the shorts? There's one man from the warehouse. He does the delivery right. No matter what the weather is, he's got the tiniest little shorts on, but not like tailored shorts, like gym shorts, right? Oh what? Well. No, like gym shorts, you know, like the polyester gym shorts. And he, then he wears the yellow, um, health, not health and safety, what's it? Anyway, he's in first aid, right? And when I cut my hand, I went, oh, what? He said, we'll chop that off. Anyway, here you go. Paprika, 9 99 There's only eight of those left. Now, when you buy this grey one, you will get a metre and a half, won't they, cat? And they've only sent me half a metre today for some reason, but you will get a metre and a half this. Like Greg, one and a half metres. Margaret says, looking dapper today, John. Thanks for cheering me up. It's one of those days. Oh, Margaret, don't be sad. Just think your life could be like Jenny Jackson's. Then how, where would you be? Oh, she's got no idea what I'm talking about now. She's got uh, pineapples all over her jumper today. Oh, they're Christmas baubles. <laughs> they look like pineapples from here. Right, okay, quickly, I've got loads to do still. Uh, these are, well, they're not really bundles, but they're gorgeous. Lovely as presents, these. So I've got Alice Caroline NGA667, two and a half inch squares in the pink. There's only nine left, Louise. My son and his fiance are in Paris. I'm wide awake as DPD woke me up with their lateral with my lateral flow tests. Merry Christmas, says Louise. Well, no, I think they must already be engaged if she's the fiance. Right, okay, so that's the pink one. Then I've got the uh, this one here, which is the blue one, uh, ending six seven six. Chica -chica. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, look, it's really, <laughs> it's really weird because I've got um, what they called subtitles on Facebook. So I don't, I don't know where they've arrived from right now. Well, I've, I've just got like that, chicka 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 chicka, and it comes up like chicka 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 chicka. Right, tap the screen, and there's a what in the corner? In which corner? No, I haven't got that. I've got an angry face in the bottom. Or oh, share. I'll stand step away while you do it. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, the cat's just getting rid of my subtitles for me. Oh. No, I'm not, you see. Hang on. She's got her Christmas nails done and everything. Chicka chicka. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. She can't change it, so it doesn't matter. Then I've got these here, which are very cute. I think these will be called Rainbow 652. 652. Rainbow, this one's called. Well, I wonder where it's supposed to be then. Save, unfollow, turn off live notifications. Something went wrong. No, you see, I haven't got subtitles on mine. Final packet. Oh, I've lost. Oh, no. I've lost it completely now. Final packet there. I've got, now, look at the first one here. That's the shirt I've got. That's the shirt I've got. There we go. Straight down. Touch the screen. Press setting CC. It's not there, though. It's, I haven't got that one on mine, uh, Margaret. I haven't got it. Message from Nurse Julie, then we've got to go for a break. Morning, John. Nurse Julie here. Just got home from work. Oh, you must be exhausted. Now going to sleep. Lovely to see you. Have a lovely sleep. You know what? When I used to, when I used to work nights on films, I think, I used to love getting home, getting into bed, and putting the duvet in. The sun was up outside, but you knew everyone else had to get up and go and do things, and you could just roll over and go to sleep. <gasps> in the next uh, hour, Jenny Jackson's here with two brand new projects. We are doing a machine cover. And a pen roll. We'll see you in three from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew, to the presenters, to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye! Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. It's Emma from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew to the presenters to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just pop by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye. we chatting because they can't count, they can't hear the countdown, can they? Um, uh, first of all, Claire said uh, you must watch Emma Bradford's thing. Is it she's got wine on ITV? You're not allowed to show wine before 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's lemonade, is it? Yeah, it's lemonade, of course it is. And where's Jenny Jackson's, Elliot? Why isn't that included? Oh, it is in the next break. Oh, is it? It's in the, so stop moaning. Anyway, everyone, Jenny Jackson's here. Wave. Hi. Hang on, you're not Hi. on shot yet. Wave, there you go. Hi. Now you can see why I thought they were pineapples from a distance, can't you? Kind of. That's nice. They're from Sainsbury's. Uh, no. It's lovely. It's not actually. It's a new look. Oh, it's nice. I was on a mission to find, because everyone knows I love leopard print. I was yeah. like, I want a Christmas-based leopard print. How funny. And there it so is. I found one. Close up. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Lovely. So we're going to be doing some EPP. We are. EPP. Right. So two new projects. The first project is a machine cover. Uh, we've got three kits to show you. I'll just show you the finished thing. There's one of them, right? Brand new fabric, brand new fabric, brand new fabric. Hang on, where's all this come from? Right, so, comes in three different colourways. We'll start with that colourway that you've just seen there. This is brand spanking new. Right, so you get here a metre. That's half a metre. Oh, it says a metre in the thing. 
Hang on, we're just checking now. You only get I've, You get five fat quarters. Brand new look. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you don't buy this bundle, I've got these fabrics coming up in the next hour, but they're very limited. You get a meter. You get a meter. I've only got half meter. You will get a meter of that fabric. Uh, plus, you get the instructions. Plus, you get the paper pieces. All of that there. $39.99, and that creates this. Lovely, isn't it? Now that's got the big dukey underneath it, so if your machine isn't that big, Jenny will explain later on how you make it smaller. If you, well, you'll have bits left over, wouldn't you? Okay, so that's the blue one there. The one that Jenny's going to be working with is the mustardy one. So let's put that to one side. Then this is the mustardy one here. So again, you get a metre. I've only been sent half a metre. You get a metre of the mustard. Then you get... Oh, these are lovely, aren't they? We love, love, love this new collection. Look, look at the birds on it. Aren't they lovely? And the flowers. So you get instructions, papers, a metre, and then five fat quarters, 39 99 Susan loves your jumper. Pam Minihani says, good morning. Sue says, uh, good morning, Jenny. Lovely jumper. Some new look if you want one. Right, $39.99. Then the final bundle for the machine cover is we've called it green. Well, it's jade. I'd call it jade, this one. Again, you get the instructions. You get the papers. Then you get your metre of jade. We need to send them a note to make sure they're different. Okay, then you get all of these. Same fact. Oh, look it in the silhouette. Isn't it lovely? The bird one. They're gorgeous, aren't they? How are you going to choose which colour? How are you going to choose which colour? Now, I have got these fabrics by the half metre later on. But if you just want the fat quarters, they're lovely. And we've got the 10-inch uh, layer cake as well. So there are your three colourways. Now, if you would just like the pattern and the papers on their own. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, only three left. There's only three of these left if you want the pattern and the papers on their own. At six in baskets, right? You get 72 paper pieces. I was going to show you with the inside, but I don't need to now, do I? You get the kit anyway. You get, the kit, you get them in the kit anyway. Right, OK. So I'll, I'll give those back to Jenny so she takes those home. Make sure you check out on those. Now, if you want the pattern on its own, can do that on its own. Okay, we've got less than 20. Oh, no, just over 10 of these left now. Just over 10 of those left now. That's the pattern on its own. They're 9.99. And there's so much goes into this pattern. I'm trying not to rip it. Look. Well, Jenny, is this good for an EPP beginner? Yeah, it's really easy. Yeah. Because it's just one shape. Now, do you know what? I know I don't like machine covers, right? Because yeah. mine never sits down. That would be nice as a wall hanging yeah. or on the table, wouldn't it? Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so all you need to do is not put, put the, the ties, ties in on. and it looks gorgeous on the wall. Exactly. Or oh, on the table. Just yeah. on the table, wouldn't it? But look at all those paid. Oh, look, you even get. Now, are they your templates for the papers or are they your templates for the fabric? For the papers. For the papers. Yeah. But you, get the, you get the papers in anyway. Oh, not in the 999 one. Sorry, no, of course, this is the pattern on its own. Sorry, that's my bad. And then this one here, you could just colour them in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, yeah. So that's everything for the machine. Now, I'm going to overwhelm you a little bit because we were going to sell the machine. But let's go and do, because there's so many of you coming in and getting it. Let's go straight on now to this, which is the pen roll. Here you go, this is lovely, isn't it? Now, I also think you could use this, you know, with for makeup brushes and things like that, couldn't you? Yeah, it's the perfect, uh, perfect size makeup brushes. And what you just need to do is when you're putting, I'll show you in the demo, yeah, yeah. but with the um, elastic, you can make the um, gaps just larger or smaller. Yes, yeah, so, so there you, you see there's room it. for a rotary cutter in that yeah. one we just showed, room for a rotary cutter. But if you wanted to, you could just make it for like biros and pens, things like that, all like Jenny's done, rotary cutters and things, or, 
if you're an artist, maybe your crayons and things like that. Yeah. If you've got a, a, like a, a child, well, it doesn't have to be a child, somebody who loves doing crayoning, just make each of those big enough for a crayon. Anyway, we've got that bundle in the same colourways. Oh, let's do the yellow one first, actually. Uh, just so you know, there's only eight of these left now. There's only eight of these left. So in this bundle, you get the instructions, you get the papers, and you get your five fat quarters in the yellow range, which is the same as the range for, that, that we've done in the um, machine cover, right? So that's the, all from the same collection, $34.99 now. Obviously, you don't need to meet the meter of fabric in this one, you see. So that's $34.99. Then I've got the blue one, where you get the papers, the, the instructions, and the blue fat quarters. Oh, that one sold out. Oh! Okay, no, no, it's it, it, not that one sold out yet. No, sorry. That was uh, uh, Kat forgetting she's got a microphone with me on the end of it. She's, you could hear that really clearly. Right, okay, and then here we've got the jade. So we've got the instructions, the um, papers, and the jade. Well, you called it green, I think, haven't we? $34.99. All this fabric's brand new in the next hour as well. You want it by the half metre. Now, would you like the pattern and the papers on their own? Yes, please. You want to make it in a different colourway? If you're, say if your sewing room or your whatever room is a different colourway, you just want to make it out your own fabrics. You get 40 paper pieces in this one. Yeah, poor old Jenny's mum and dad have been sitting, putting these in the bag especially for you. Right, okay, so the machine cover, that's what she was saying, the machine cover, pattern and uh, paper piecing sold out, right? So be careful if you've got this one in your basket, because that could sell out now. So in this one, you get the instruction. Of course, the stock has gone already. So look, that and that. Now, do you want the pattern on its own, which you can have, I'm presuming? Quarter of the stock's gone. So that's just the pattern on its own, that one, $9.99. Loads of messages coming in for you, Jenny Jackson. <laughs> Do some of them before you start sewing. <coughs> right, okay. Let's get on. In, in, if you look at the, um, if you look underneath in pre-order, we've got the glue pens, the friction pens, the add a quarter rulers, which you can just get from down there. And as Jenny used them, I might show them, but we'll just get on with the thing. So what are we doing first? We're doing the, the, um, the oh, let's do some cover. Jenny messages first, very <laughs> quickly. Put in a graphic and then we can do that for you. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Right, here you go. Love Jenny's patterns. I finished piecing one of her quilts last night. So excited to get it ready for a present for my daughter. <gasps> Thank you, Jenny, for Oh, she Bryony. finished it, yeah. Did you know? <laughs> no, I didn't know she was, I knew she was trying to finish it before Christmas, Aww. but it was debatable whether or not it was going to happen. Oh, let's hope her daughter's not watching. That's her Oh, she's only morning. tiny. Morning, beautiful Jenny Jackson. Lovely to see you, John. Hope oh. you and yours have a great Christmas. Lots of love from Laurie. Love your jumper. Hey, oh, Laurie. big old Laurie. She's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I don't no. mean big. I don't mean big, Laurie. I mean Laurie's full of oh. big of love, you know what I mean. Right, so... Um, this, All of it, this yeah. sewing machine cover. So the machine cover fits perfectly on the Juki because yeah. that's what I designed it for. Yeah. So it would cover my machine without the table. Um, if you have a smaller machine, yeah. I'm just going to take it off, untie it. Yeah, okay. There we go. So the only difference is you can just leave the outside layers off. Hang on, let's have a look at that then, Elliot. So just leave what? Just leave the outside ones off. All so... Right. You know, you can measure as you go. So as you oh, go okay, along, yeah, 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 yeah. when you get to here, let's say, you can stop on that. So you yes. won't have these extra ones or the extra ones around the edge. Yeah. So you could even make really cute little uh, placemats. Yeah, no, no, but look how <laughs> you gorgeous You have enough that fabric too. I know. You could actually make placemats with the same pattern. Yeah. Just go this far and then just do it again because you'll have enough fabric. Yeah. But yeah, isn't it cute? These Beautiful. fabrics just did all the work. They are gorgeous. This one almost looks denim-y. Yeah. From afar. So pretty. Lovely. Now, I've got those fabrics coming up in the next hour by the half metre, but they are li some of them are very, very limited already because you've been busy on pre-order. So if you do want them, go on, put them in your basket now. Right, so you're going to start from the beginning on this one. Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of EPP for this because it's the same shape as the pen roll. Right. 
but the um the pen rolls just laid out in um stripes stripes just along instead of going out yeah if so that instead makes of sense. starburst they go uh, yeah they just direction. go along yeah. yeah yeah right so if you cut your strips for your epp pieces so you have your um salvage closest to you and then could have picked this up before but didn't you just want to make sure i find it easier to cut in strips so don't I'm just don't time. just grab your um your paper piece and just cut yeah because then you might just you'll just waste fabric yeah so what i tend to do is i think this will be a two and a half inch is perfect for this yeah so you just want to cut a few two and a half inch yeah. strips in the pattern it says how many to cut just name your fabrics one two three four yeah and then you, you know. cut the same amount out of each one no oh, okay no so if you just name your fabrics i always just put a little sticky note on them so mm. then i can remember Okay, I've just got to quickly tell oh, you on, okay. that there's been a mistake in the pricing of this one. Because I remember I said, oh, I've only got half a metre, only got half a metre. Don't worry, you're still paying 39.99, But that means you're getting half a metre of fabric for free because they haven't put the price up to accommodate the metre of the fabric. So you're, you're getting 39 99 you're getting all of that. Plus you're getting half a metre for free. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't us doing the clever marketing thing. It was a mistake, but we've done it now, so you'll get it. It should be $43.99, I think, this one, shouldn't it, or something? $43.70 is what it should be. $43.70 is what it should be, and you're getting it for $39.99. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. That's all right. Has there been a glitter explosion here? <laughs> no, Joan! I've got... Oh, John! Now all the fabric's glittery, as am I. Thank you. Well, you've loved it on the floor now. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> Why is everywhere? Just blow Oh, my brother glitter. would be having an absolute attack right now. Why would he hate he it? He hates glitter. I often get his daughter cards with glitter on just on oh. purpose. Because <laughs> I know it annoys him so oh. much. You need to do that thing where, I, this is one thing I hate, is when you open a Christmas card or a birthday card, they put all confetti inside the card. You open it up and it all goes all over the floor and everywhere. Anyway, that's by the by. <laughs> I cut this a little bit wonky. I went off on par. But oh. Anyway. It's fine. So then you want to cut a quarter of an inch around the other two sides, the length of it. I think I've even, I might even have in the instructions how how big to make your rectangles. Uh huh. So uh, Margaret says, "What couple. amazing fabrics, John! I love Jenny's exuberance." Uh, uh, Lo says, "Hello, gorgeous Jenny, scrummy hugs." Oh, hello, um, lovely Jenny lady. chose all these fabrics for you. We haven't done this for you. Jenny chose all these fabrics for you. Yeah. I chose the collections yeah, first, yeah. Like Hayley sent me the collections, and then I just bundled them up because as soon as I saw them, I knew exactly what, what would look go. so lovely together. Yeah, yeah but I've, I've just put two, cut two rectangles. Oh, my hands are just full of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, yeah, I've cut two rectangles. I've put them on top, I'll do it separately. That's just what I do when I'm yeah. trying to be quick. Right, so you just want quarter of an inch around the whole shape. This might look slightly less because I went wonky. Right. So I just use the um, add a quarter ruler. Add a quarter ruler. Now, have we got the kit or have we just got the one today? We've only got the 12 inch today, 17.99. Jenny's using the six inch, we've only got the 12 inch today. No, um, use... Jan Hill says, hello, Jenny girl. Wave, wave. Hi, lovely lady. Oh, Kerry's message in. Morning, Jenny and John. Promised myself I'd not buy anything, but that's gone out the window. Just finished my chevron cushion, and it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It was here earlier. Oh, it's on one of the trolleys Oh, it's down on the trolley. There. Yeah, it's on the trolley. So you just want to add a quarter of an inch round yep. your shape, yep. like this, and then you're just going to cut those lines. Right. So you only actually need to draw four lines around the uh, pointy bits of uh -huh. the honeycomb. I'm just going to cut those. Okay. I tend to... Um, put a few, three pieces of fabric on top of each other and just cut all three at once, because yeah. it's just quicker. Exactly. Now, guess which colour for the machine cover is the most popular? I, I don't know, I've got something about the green. It's That's it? Really? It's the jade, is way in uh, the lead. So I'm demoing the pen roll in the jade. Oh, OK. Because um, I've not actually made one of the final things in the jade, but it was so hard. If I'd had more time, I wanted to make a final sample of all of them. Oh, There just wasn't time, time, because it's just so gorgeous. And also with EPP, it's not like, oh, I'll just run it up quickly on yeah. the machine. It's literally, you've <laughs> exactly. got to hand stitch whole thing. My favourite print is the bird print that you said. 
The bird. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Isn't something it? liberty esque about it. Mm, very, yeah, very. It's right. What, what are you trying to say, Cat? Cat's trying to interrupt. But in the pen roll, the most popular. Guess what the most popular colour is in the pen roll? Yellow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Morning, you lovely people, says Sue. Good morning, Sue. Oh, the pen roll, Jane's just caught up with the yellow. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Anyway, keep going through. Right, so we're just going to do, place the uh, template back on. So you yeah. can use these templates over again, over and over. What's the matter, Elliot? <laughs> Elliot hates the glitter. I know, it's driving me nuts too. It's all over my hands. <laughs> Do you want a wet one? No, it's fine. I'll, sure? After this hour, I'll, yeah, I'll go wash okay. my hands. Glue pen. Times. I've got a glue pen. Now, the glue pen itself comes with... Watch, watch how Jenny does it first. That's more important. Watch how Jenny right, does I'm it and stopped. then I'll do the pen. <laughs> so you don't need to use much. You're just going to go on one side of the fabric, fold it over, the next side along and fold it over. You can hand baste these if you're used to hand basting when you're EPPing, it's uh -huh. fine. I just love my glue because it's nice and quick. Yeah, and please only use a glue, like the one I'm gonna show you in a minute, that is uh, formulated for fabric. Don't go to Smith's, I'm not saying anything against Smith's, but don't go to a stationer's and buy a print stick because that won't go. work. So it's as quick as that and it's nice. But the gorgeous. thing about when you use a pen is you get it taut over the card. Don't you it? definitely do. You have When you're hand basting, you, you have the worry of bending your card mm -hmm. while you're doing it. Yeah, either bending it or doing it too loosely and so it's a bit flat. Yeah, on yeah, because the then you'll yourself. have troubles when you come to quilt it. it might over, the seams might start overlapping slightly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Geraldine says, hello, Jenny. You look fabulous. Hello. Your nails are brilliant. Oh, yeah. That's courtesy of my best friend again. She's hang on, we're Christmas. just coming on the nails. Oh, oh hang on. A bit further forward. There we go. All the Christmas. Definitely Christmas. Uh, be careful you don't get the glitter in your eyes. Don't touch your face, says Sue. And Lorraine says, great to see you back, Jenny. Merry Christmas. Oh, Amanda says, morning, everyone. You. I'm having such a lazy morning. Then I'm going to do my Christmas cards and wrapping. I love the present nails. Don't know how you keep your nails so neat. I destroy them in a week. They're not my nails. <laughs> <laughs> what, they're plastic nails? Well, yeah, they're extensions, fake nails. Oh, are they, oh so they haven't oh, painted your nails? No, no. My nails just snap. They're so weak, probably from years of having fake ones. On. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I went three days this week without them because they'd come off before I had them redone. Yeah. I couldn't sew. Oh. I, I couldn't do it without them. Uh, can I just say the pen, like, the pen that Jenny's using, the glue pen, this is it for five ninety nine. So you get the pen and you get the refill in there. I've got a pack of two refills if you want to buy those. Now, ignore the colours on the outside. The glues may be different colours, but they all dry clear and they're all the same length, uh, same strength. But you get two packs in there for £13.98. Message from Julie very quickly. Morning. Wasn't buying today, but bought some of each kit. Just <sighs> Molly the... Hang on. One of each kit. Just Molly the Siamese with me. She'll keep like my secret. <gasps> Julie, I would never trust a Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with them. I know. Right. Uh, Bryony, morning, you two gorgeous grammy people. I absolutely love Jenny's patterns. I hit go since the message we had earlier. I finished piecing my daughter's Christmas quilt from one of her patterns last night. Loads of time left for quilting and binding, right? Thanks so much for your inspiration, Jenny. You're a doll. Happy Christmas to you both. Oh, it's lovely. She's made a gorgeous dinosaur cushion as well for her son. Oh, yeah. It's not Just spoil English it in case he's watching. They're only little. Okay. They're tiny and she keeps, ah, oh, so good. Okay. She's so, been taking her EPP to, you know, um, like soft play centres that yeah, you take yeah. kids to. Well, she'll take them, she'll have a coffee and she'll EPP at the table and while the they're playing. And the kids jump in and out the balls. Yeah, That's yeah, and do their thing. All the smell yeah. of wee and everything. <laughs> Not the children, the balls. I only know because I was, when my nieces and nephews used to go, I used to get in with them. Oh, Yeah. I not allowed, but you're not allowed. Yeah, big kids. Oh, see, we've got a place near us called Jumpin', and the adults are allowed to go. And oh, are they? Yeah, it's massive. It's just a whole warehouse that's just blown up with slides and everything. Oh, or climbing exciting. walls that blow up. It's like an assault course. Yeah, almost, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but inflatable. But nice that they know you're not going to get I hurt. I mean, yeah, you know? we haven't visited there since since COVID because oh, no, it just then. it's open. But no, thanks. Who, who knows next me. week? Uh, I need to warn you: every single bundle is limited. Every single bundle is limited now. Right, so. Right, we're we'll going to do some sewing. Okay. I'm trying not to touch my face. <laughs> yeah, don't touch your face. Right, so I've just um, basted these three. So it's 
the usual EPP technique. So you yeah. want it to look like this to start with. And then another oh, one. Oh, so you here. start in the centre and work out. Then. Yes, you do for this yeah. one. And that's what makes it great if you're deciding on what size you want, because once you've added a few, you can then measure it and you can stop and just. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. You do trim it down anyway slightly because I haven't done half shapes, I've just done the full shape. Okay, oh, so you course, square yeah. it off, but it's all in the pattern mm -hmm. of how to do that. So it's the normal technique, right sides together. Mm hmm. I haven't got a little clip at all this one. Oh yeah. Oh, I was going to add one on my belt yesterday. It should be there. Yeah. I usually uh, have one on my jumper. Or the, this part of my oh sleeves, yeah, the cuff, always. Yeah. yeah. Karen says, morning, Jenny and John. Uh, happy Christmas, lots of love from sunny Camden Town. Oh, oh hello. London. Oh, Karen, what? are you going to Stitch Fest in February? Because I don't think I'm... Is it February? I think it's March it's this year, isn't March, it? March, March, March the 3rd to the 6th. March the 3rd to the 6th. I'm so going. Oh, are because you? Because it's only down the road, really, isn't yeah. it? It's only one train. And I um, I was supposed to be. They booked me. Because that's where... Yeah. I, that was the last festival I did. Yeah. Because you all came <laughs> to see me. It was you, Lisa Lamb... Be Becky Alexander Frost, yeah. uh, Ellen, everybody, right? Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to be doing it. I uh, was in negotiation with them to do talks on the stage and everything. But it's also our birthday week. So I'm yeah. here every single day, so I can't go now. I might be go I might be there all four days with Juki. Third, fourth, fifth. Is it four days? Three, four, It's four, four days. Oh, yes, four yeah, days. Yeah, so I might be there all four days with Juki. Oh, wow. Fingers crossed. But if I'm not there, I'll, I'll go for a yeah. day. Right, so I've knotted the end of my cotton. And yep. you're just going to go through the corner... Don't go through the card. I want, I'd love to know how many times people have actually watched me do this. I know. Boring, <laughs> isn't it? Thanks, love. <laughs> <laughs> At least you've got glitter on it this time, so it exactly. makes it a bit Christmassy. Oh, she'll be there, she says. Yeah. So if I've got the Friday off, I'm in here every day, yeah. but I'm off on the Friday, so I might have a day trip to London oh, for the Friday, come it. and see on the Friday. Do as it. A, as not as to talk. As no, a, no, just go. Yeah, just to walk around and yeah, shout. Yeah, it is a nice one, that. Because Louisa Galt's always there as well, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, because yeah, I went and helped her with her stall one day oh. last time because hubby couldn't go. Yeah. So I went so she could have the odd toilet break and Aww. go and have a sandwich or something. Right, so you're just going to go straight along here, yep. giving a small whip stitch. I'm going to do it slightly larger, like I always do when I'm here, just to get across the shape quicker. What colour thread would you use? Kat's just saying, if you're doing the blue kit, the green kit, or the yellow kit, what colour thread do so, you use? So, um, because there's quite a bit of white in the background of the fabric, uh -huh. you could go white, or you could use a, a blue to match. Right. But when you're sewing the two white bits, I'm going to see where I am. I yeah, 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 yeah. These white lines, I would use white. Right. So you can change colour. You don't have to use the same thread all the way through. But, so if you're putting a, a white, white one and a blue one together, yeah. what would you use? White and blue. I think I'd probably use white all the way through. I, I use white for all, all of this. All the way through. Okay. I say I. Did you not make that? No, my mum did it. Oh, <laughs> well, like, we, if I hadn't asked that, she wouldn't have got any credit then at all. Yeah, my mum placed this one together. I, I cut the fabrics, figured out the layout. And then she sewed then, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's your mum's name? Rush, Chris. 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 <laughs> You've done a fabulous thing. She You've has. done it fabulously. She is so good. She loves English paper piecing as oh. much as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but didn't you get it from your mum or your auntie or someone? Um, quilting, oh, I learned quilting. from my auntie, but hand sewing I always did with my mum, even though it wasn't EPP. We used to cross stitch together oh, okay. for years. Mm -hmm. uh, Sue says, my new puppy's finally asleep. I had to sleep on the sofa, so I'd keep an eye on her while she settled in. Worse than first night after I bring in a baby home. <laughs> off for a quick shower now. Karen says, you've got to come, John. Yeah, we'll do it, because I've got the Friday off. Maybe I will come on the Friday. Drive down. There's a car park next door, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's a Costa Coffee just round the corner. There's a. We went for. We went for lunch outside. Oh no! Well, it's it here in Islington. There's everything yeah, outside, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And my friend Claire came for one yes, of the days yes, as well because yes. we went out the night before. <laughs> So okay. now, uh, how, how big do the stitches have to be? So I'm doing slightly larger ones, but mm -hmm. I'll show you. I'm just going to add the next shape. So don't knot it off. Right. Because if you open it out now, you're going to add this one. So you can right. sew to the end of here. So I always start on the outer so that I can carry on so there's less knotting off. Uh -huh. I sew as, as much as I possibly can before knotting off. So I just clip these so I don't hold it too tight. Right, there's only five green ones left. And six yellow ones left. What about the blue? 
Oh, Blue were all right. Blue, oh, that's that gang. You do surprise me. There's only 10 instructions left on their own. Remember, the instructions and the papers have sold out already. Uh, Karen said, I know you did, Jenny. Were you hung over when you saw Karen? Obviously, that's about that you've gone out. <laughs> Don't think I'd reach that hungover point oh, yet. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, keep going through, though, for these. Please keep going through, because I don't want anyone to miss out. Remember, last day today, last official day of you getting things in time for Christmas. There we go. So I would do, it's really hard to describe how far apart and it's really hard to see as well. Yeah. What I'll try and do over this week is I'll take an up close photo of two pieces st uh, stitched together with the stitch that I usually okay, do when brilliant. I'm not yeah, on yeah. TV. But yeah, you don't want them to be too far apart, but you don't need them to be touching. Yeah. Margaret says use a single or double thread for EPP. Single. Single thread, Margaret. Yeah. So you only pick up a few bits, uh, a few what threads do you, do of you the use, fabric. What, fabri what thread do you use? The Aurifil. What weight is it? Do That's you know, a thin the one, 80. isn't it? The 80. The 80. Yeah. They specifically designed this with EPP in yeah. mind, and it's my go-to. The 80 one's also very good for needle tone applique, isn't yeah, it? When yeah, you do that, yeah, yeah. Hand stitching it's yeah. brilliant for when it's just using quilting cotton. Yeah. So remember, uh, with Aurifil threads, that, or all threads, the higher the number, the thinner the thread. I think 80 is the highest that Aurifil do, isn't it? I the, think it might yeah, be, Yeah, it's the finest they do, yeah. But it's yeah, still if really use, strong. If it's strong, but it, you'll, you wouldn't think it was because it's very fine. But <coughs> it does mean, I don't mind seeing a bit of stitches when you do EPP, but if you use a thinner thread, then you're just going to see the tiniest glimpse of it. If you use a big thick thread, like a 50 or 40, yeah. you can still do it, you can still do it, but there's more chance that you're going to see it from the other side. There we go. So when you get to the end here, you're just going to go through like you do. And I wrap my cotton around my needle a couple of times. Is this a friend of yours? Pull it. Baby Jessie is watching. Oh, baby girl. She's watching in her cute panda baby grow. Loving the fabrics. Merry Christmas from Claire Louise. That's Claire, my nails. Best oh. friend. My everything. The one that came to Stitch Fest with me. Karen met her. Everyone met her. Laurie met her. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and she's just had a baby. Oh. She's, what, four and a half, five months old? And I bought her a panda baby oh. grow for Christmas and made her open it early because I wanted to see her in it. Yeah, so. of course. And she'll have grown out of it by Christmas. Yeah, probably. She's very long. Yeah. There yeah, that's, like, that's like uh, Rue, Cherry's uh, little boy. He's only little, but he's really, really yeah. long. So you can't buy him the right age for him because even yeah. though his body's small, he's, he's really well, long. Well, Claire's a couple of inches taller than me oh, and I'm not sure. And then her, her partner is a good six foot. So, oh, and they're wow. both all legs. Oh, right. So she's just going to be so long. Be a dancer. Get her to classes straight away. Yes. Get her to Bonnie Langford's dance classes. <laughs> there we right. go. So that's three pieces stitched together. Let's look at those, yeah, lovely. And then you would add the fourth here. So with this one, you'll need to reuse your paper pieces. Right, so you get, you get 70 in the you pack. Get? You get 70 in the pack, but and I think more it's 150 seven. something. Okay, so you, But all you need to do, because as soon as one shape's sewn around, you just take it out. You wouldn't take those out until the next round. Until the on. next round yeah. around it, because then, it's easier to handle yeah. to start Stop it. So then, oh, I know, with my eyes itching. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then you can just reuse them, baste more, reuse, yeah. and now that one's covered in glitter as well. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> right, I'm uh, going to... Also, the thing I need to say is Jenny supplied all the papers, right? They're really good quality. Yeah. They're not like, sometimes you can buy them, can't they? They're flimsy old bits of, um, like, photocopy paper. Yours is decent weight, They've isn't it? got, a, if you take them out, once you've sewn around the shape, so you're not ending up having to fold them constantly, you can get at least a good six... To uses eight out. uses out yeah, of them. Brilliant. Even when you fold them, they won't distort. Yeah. Obviously, they get tatty eventually, but, well, yeah, but you can re yeah. you can use them for way more than just one project. Brilliant. Message from Margaret. Lovely to see you two together again. Loving the. I'm staying over here so she doesn't stab me. Don't worry. Love the <laughs> jumper. Loving your jumper. Thank you. You are wonderful as ever, Jen. Hope to get down to see oh. you next year. From oh, Auntie Neat. She's the one that taught me how to cook. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, isn't that lovely? It is. Very quick question now. Uh, morning, great show. Sorry, missed what's on in March in Camden Town. Please explain from Andrea. It's in Islington. It's not in Camden Town. It's at the Design Business Design Centre in Islington. It's called the Stitch Festival. Is that what it's called? Stitch yeah, Festival? Yeah, Stitch Festival. Um, it's on their website now, so you can have a look at it. So uh, run by a media, media live sort of thing. Um, basically, it's like a mini festival of quilts, but it's, there's people, they have a stage, they have um, people on stage, so it's like, I'm, I can't do it this year, but they have me. Last time they had uh, 
uh, the lady from um, Great British Sewing Bee. There are all sorts of people giving talks and demonstrations, everything. The stands galore for you to go and buy, like Louisa Galt's there, Mandy Shaw's normally there. Uh, um, um, Seams, they always have a stand there. Karen from Seams has a stand there. And it's a real social event, isn't it? Oh, like so you walk for two meters, you meet somebody else, you know, you walk two meters. You... And the last one was literally the weekend before lockdown. It was, yeah. So we all met and we were all like, I wonder if we're supposed to be this close to each other and everything. And then literally a week later, boom, we were all sent home and everything. But it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show to go to. And it's in the middle of Islington, so easy to get to. You can get on the tube. Literally, you get to Islington Tube and it, you come out the tube and it's just over there. I mean, it's it's fantastic. It is a really, really good one to go to, and I know tickets are a sale now. And, and I'm not paid for them. I'm not. I'm not advertising it, but it is a lovely one. No, to go it's to. so good as well because places like that, the food halls always get really, really busy because you're in the centre of it, isn't it? Yes. You just pop out the door, and, you can, and you, there's loads of different places you can. You go get to. an armband, or you yes. get stamped on your hand, so you can go out, go and have a coffee, go and get something to eat in Islington, and then come back in again and carry on going round. It's a real. And there's a car park next door, but if you are driving there, I would suggest that you book your ticket in for your car park beforehand because it gets very busy and for those of you going in buses there is a place where buses can pull in let you all off and uh, out again because it looks like it's in the center of islington very quickly cheryl says morning john and jenny oh. i've been sport by hannah this year in each of our homemade advent calendars i'll be given an orifel 80 and 50 in each color oh, oh fantastic amazing uh Cal amanda says i've just treated myself to the blue machine cover so Yay. i can do it during the evenings <laughs> debbie says morning john and jenny and team loving the show this morning right Right, okay, let's get on. Recap, recap, recap. I'll be with you in a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, of course, we've got two, 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 two. We've got two to do, haven't we? Let's just re recover this one then. Which one first? Blue first. Sorry, I'm forgetting that we've got two projects to do. Yeah, sorry, Jenny. I'm That's busy right. chattering away. Right, okay, so here you go. This is the blue one. You get a metre of fabric, right? You're only paying for half a metre. There's been a mix up in the Haley department, right? Then you get a fat quarter. This is all brand new, right? Brand spanking new. I've got it available by the half metre in the next hour, but it's flying out on pre-order. It's beautiful. It's Mo um, Moda, Moda Ladybird. And we've got all the slides and everything to show you. You get the, the instructions and you get the paper pieces. 39.99 should be £43.70. Right, green. Green one is exactly the same. You get the um, instructions, the papers. There's only three of the green ones left. Now you are getting, oh, and there's more than three in baskets, right? So if you want this, you do need to check out. You're only paying, you're getting a metre of fabric, you're only paying for half a metre. Then you get these beautiful, look at that. That is very Essence of Liberty, that one, isn't it? That, and they feel, oh, isn't the quality it of this It is so gorgeous. Beautiful. It's lovely to EPP with, because yeah. it's not too thick, not, but it's yeah. not flimsy. 39.99 for that, should be £43.70, mistake by Hayley. Right, people have bought multiples of the green one, so please check out, because there's more of you got that in your basket than we've actually got of. And then the yellow one, there's only five left of these and seven in baskets, right? So again, you get the instructions, you get the papers. Should be 43.70, remember, because you are getting a metre of yellow. You're only paying for half a metre. Then the same um, designs, but in a different colourway. Look, aren't they lovely? £39.99. Right, now instructions and cardboards have sold out. Papers have sold out. Instructions on their own. There's only eight left, 9.99. And you've got everything you need there. And if you're thinking, oh, I haven't got the papers, the last page, and I'm not going to take it out, is the template for your papers. So you can make your own. You can make your own there. £9.99. Sorry, I completely forgot we had another project to get to. So uh, do you want to just... Oh, no, we're moving on to this one. So yeah. this one here is the pen holder, pen roll. This is how Elton John keeps all his jewellery. Yellow's in the lead. Yellow's in the lead. So I'll do that one first. <laughs> That's only, oh, it's very busy. Five left, five left, right? So with this one, you get the instructions, you get the papers, you get, uh, and then you get five fat quarters on this one. That's all you need. And you can do this side and this side from the fat quarters. So you don't need anything else. You don't need to buy any other fabric. £34.99. Okay? That one's in the lead. The yellow one's in the lead. But green is very, very slightly just behind it. So again, you get the instructions, the papers, and you get the five fat quarters, $34.99. Brilliant price. And then the blue here. So again, you get the pattern, the papers, and the blue fat quarters. We say blue, right? You've got that solid, blue, not solid, blue pattern, blue pattern. But then you've also got lovely light, the creams in there and all the other colours as well. 
34 99. These bundles all put together by Jenny, her very self, for you. Right, what's the... Have we got the pattern and the papers? Pattern and the papers are here. Now, had we had the normal amount, we would have sold out by now, but we've got Jenny to do more of these for us. So we've got a few of those left. And then the pattern on its own, 9.99. Right, 10 of those. Only got 10 of those left. Only got 10 of those left. Right. What are you going to show us now? Sorry, I'll just shut oh. up now and we'll get more <laughs> sewing and things done. All this time I've been standing here still and now I've dropped my pattern on the floor. <laughs> and it's just gone everywhere. Never mind. Oh, no. We're just going to blag this. It. No. Wow. Well. Okay. I write so shatter. many, I forget the instructions. So I've already done the English paper piecing for this in the green. Doesn't it look nice? Okay, so now, yeah, it looks gorgeous. So the last one, you start in the middle with the kind of fan yep. going out. These aren't in, these are just in lines, yep. aren't they? Yeah, so these? you just sew these ones together. Mm -hmm. And then you add this row and then this row and so on. Really, really easy. Uh -huh. And then all I've done is I have put it on some wadding, basted it, and I've just done straight line quilting. Right. I did that on the actual pen roll as well, and I uh -huh. thought the straight line quilting just looked lovely. Doesn't it? So I was because like, I'm not going to change it. No, no. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that you can no. get the binding out of the fat quarters as well. So uh, you don't need any, anything else Just at some all. wadding, some um, oh, ribbon, yes. and some elastic. Yeah, of course. So. But for the actual EPP stuff, yeah, you don't no, need you don't need anything. Yeah. No. Fab. So what all you need to do once you've um, quilted it, you need to cut it so it's nine by seventeen and three quarters. Right. So I am going to estimate this. Why? Because uh, do you know you know when you're so used to your own ruler, yeah, and then you don't bring it with you. Oh no. One of those. So yeah. it's fine. I'm pretty sure it. You only cut these bits off on this one, and yeah. that should be uh, nine inches. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thought so. Thought I remembered that. That's why I didn't make it any bigger. Good. There we go. Get rid of that all. There we go. And then I'll just trim here, just where those points are. Mm -hmm. And then what did I say? 17 and three quarters. So right, 17 and three quarters. There we go. What are you looking for, Ruth? Just going to mark it quickly here, just so. Friction pens are on pre order. I've got pink, blue, and black. There we go. Hopefully, I've done that all right. I'm gonna rush. Yes, so at home, measure more. yours properly. So yeah, 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 don't wing it. It's just, you know, when you just want to get loads done, so you're just. Eh. Yeah. So that's the outside of the pen roll cover, uh -huh. completely finished. So it's quite a quick project. She says, but you have to hand stitch all those together beforehand. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a quick one to stitch though, yeah. so it's not very big. So I have pre-cut the inside here. Okay. Just give it a quick press because it's gone all funny. It's all done at the fat anyway. quarters. You don't need to buy anything extra for it. You can make the whole of this. Yeah. All you need extra is a bit of ribbon and some elastic. But all the fabric bits are all yeah. done. For, look, so this and this, the binding and all that has come out of your fat quarter. Yeah, bundle. you just join the binding. I mean, you could use a plain colour for the binding. I joined a few strips, cut the length of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. length of the fat quarter and just join them. Mm -hmm. So if you want to choose which, if you if there's a pattern you really love that you want on the inside, cut the large piece first and the pocket. Yeah. And then you can see how much fabric you have left over for the hexagon. Of um, course. Hexagons, her honeycombs. Yeah, right. yeah, they're not hexes, are they? No, they're e like elongated hexes yeah, almost. Yeah. Right, so the pocket, I have a pocket at the bottom so that your bits don't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at a party now, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just split that pocket into a few different sizes. Yes, yeah. Because you could also put like a rubber in the pocket as well. An eraser. Yeah. I don't <laughs> She's like, look, you gave me this. No, no, it's because Elliot was laughing. That was what I couldn't figure out why. Can you? He said, can you? Can you? Right, so you're just going to fold your pocket. <laughs> I'm gone now. Come on, come on, come just on. Just going to fold your girl. pocket in yeah. half lengthways. Yeah. Just give it a press. Don't, it's making me laugh. <laughs> Elliot, shush. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know, I found out today that I would have been at uni, Brighton Uni, at the same time as Elliot. No. Yeah. Because he graduated two years after me, but Did I was there Did he go as a before... mature student then? Because he's 40 this year. <laughs> go on. Yeah. So, I so found... what, what course were you doing? I was doing fashion and textiles and, and business that... study. And what was he doing? I don't know. What were you doing, Elliot? Oh, that didn't work well, did it? Broadcast media, he did. Oh, we would have been at a different campus, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... So Hannah was there as well then, but aren't you the same age as Hannah? 35. Oh, no, Hannah's I'm older than Hannah. <laughs> No, don't say that. If Hannah's watching, she'll go mad now. Right, OK. So, you've right, so I pocket. folded this in half yep. and you just want to top stitch right. along the fold. Okay. It's not a necessity, but it does look nice yeah. just to top stitch. I love top stitching things. Did you watch yesterday? I had to do sewing yesterday. Hey? Janice was poorly yesterday and couldn't come in. Yes. So I had to do both of her shows yesterday. I'd do top stitching and everything. And I had bright green. I thought it was, for some reason, I thought I was sewing bright green. So I threaded a bright green bobbin, but bright green. And then Kat went, here's your thing. And it was like cream and apricot. Oh, honestly. I often have random colours in yeah. here when I'm demoing. Sometimes on purpose so it shows up better. Yeah, that's what we kept saying yesterday. This happened to be cream in here, so yeah. it's perfect today. Yeah, but I didn't have the fancy nails, you see, and I've had this Wicklow on my finger, which is just, I've had to burst it with a needle and everything. Oh, lush. Right, there we go. So yeah. you want to check what side your birds will be facing the right way up if you're using the bird fabric. Uh-huh. There we go. So you're just going to place this like this, and then you can pin it. I do some stay stitching, just a scant quarter edge in. Uh, edge? No. Yeah. A in, scant in, quarter inch in. in. That's the one. Yeah. Just to keep What's it in place. What's your seam allowance then? Quarter, quarter of an inch. Quarter so of an inch. Inside inside. Quarter yeah, inch. so it's going to yeah. just be inside and it holds it. Yeah. And then you can, I don't add the pockets just yet. Yeah. Um, now, there's only five greens left and three yellows left, just so you know. So because of timing, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pin this on. Yeah. In real life, so you, you would, you would just, at this point, yeah. just, just catch the ends. Don't, only, don't sew the pocket. And only in. the two side ends. You yeah. don't need to do anything with the bottom, bottom. end because that's going to go into the binding right. completely. Even yeah. though this side will, this edge will. Yeah. It's just, it's nice to keep it a little bit yeah, in place. Yeah, shifting, do you? Yeah. So I'm just going to pin those and keep those there. Okay. And then the next stage is, I think I've, <laughs> my pattern oh, is no, all over the place now. I think it is... So you're going to add your, did that fall away too? Oh no, it's there. You're going to add your um, elastic. Right. You want to measure four inches down from the top, I believe. Okay. We're going follow the instructions, yeah. don't follow what she's necessarily saying there. Yeah. That looks a bit wonky. It probably is. <laughs> so I'm just going to do some little marks, just as... Um, With your friction pen. Yeah, right? just as a little guideline. You won't really see this anyway, because I'm going to sew. But I like to use a guideline because, uh, well, I'm always wonky, so... Pam Minnie Harley says, Husband just walked past the TV and said, That's the lady from your sewing room wall. The sweary print. <laughs> yeah. Don't we? won't mention it. <laughs> no. You don't want to know what we're talking about. Go to the So Crazy Girls yeah. web. But no, it's our pictures from, um, do you remember when we did loads together in um, the festival that year? Oh, we yes. We did the live shows. We we had our, like, photos with oh, our yeah. little autographs that yeah. we were giving out. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I've got my table on here now because I'm so used to using it when I'm sewing. Right. <laughs> I struggle without it now. <laughs> right, so what you're going to do is you're going to sew, again, a scant quarter inch in, just to hold the um, the elastic down. Uh huh. I'm just gonna go. That is just gonna hold it in place to start with. Then, don't start your loop for another inch. So you're gonna do another like because you're gonna have your uh, binding. Yep, yep. In. It's mm -hmm. nice to have start an inch away. So what so I do... So keeping it all flat. Yeah. And make sure... Keep, yeah, keep it completely flat. Make sure that you backstitch at the start and the end of each line. Yeah. Because it will just come undone if not. I use the... I um, don't know what it's called. You know where it stitches on the spot, isn't it? B block, locking stitch. Yep. That's the one. Da -da 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 Such a professional. Yeah, I always use the locking stitch on my machine uh -huh. for this. Just find it easier to handle, really. Yeah. There we go. So, oh, the wire's stuck in it. There we go. So you've got your first inch. Now, depending on what size 
pens Loop, you've got, yeah. you can always just pop what you're looking for in. Yeah. Make sure the fabric underneath it is flat. Hold mm -hmm. it with your finger, pull it out. And then keep your finger where you're going to sew. Because you don't need to keep pinning this because that would just be a pain. Yeah. Just keep your finger and then push this to the side. Yeah. And you're just going to... This is where the juke is brilliant. The your foot goes down automatically, so you don't have to oh. worry about letting go to let your foot exactly. down. Exactly. Just want to go down here. There we Lock go. Locking stitch. Oh, no, we've come on, on, um, we've come on threaded. Oh, right, so, well, Jane, that's like, just do, are you all right? So yeah, just no, recap, fine. Just do a quick recap. So I've got the yellow, the green, and the blue in this. Start with the yellow. There's only two left. Two of the yellow ones left. So remember, you get the pattern, you get the papers, and you get five fat quarters for $34.99. You don't need any more fabric. You can do the whole thing, including the binding and everything, and then pockets inside the lining and everything with that. We have got this fabric coming up in the next hour. Buy the half meter, should you love it, and you want to get some of it, but it is flying out on pre-order. Messy Patricia, that's it. I've never done EPP before. Such a fabulous demonstration, Jenny. I've bought the pen roll kit to try it out. Trisha in Warwickshire. Trisha, oh, lovely. I'll be round to check up on that when you've done it. <laughs> and if you need any help, feel free to message me on How Facebook. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, so you can, on my Facebook, Jenny Jackson, look for the picture that's just me. That's my sewing one. Oh, okay. Because you might see one with a picture of me and Dylan. Dylan's her son. Yeah. And we said, so Dylan. Hiya. Hopefully he's watching. He's oh. enjoying. He's ready. He's got his Christmas holidays now. Oh, well, so he's yeah, at mum's house today. Yeah, with grandma and granddad this morning. I can't believe it because a, a thing came up on my Facebook, like a memory. And I oh, must have when... met Dylan about this time of year, I think. Or something. No, it was think summer holidays. Oh, summer holidays. But it came up for some reason. Yeah. And he was like, this big. And then you put a picture up of him last week or whatever. And he's like, this lovely, gorgeous, strapping lad. Yeah, now, he's, he? he comes to about here on me. And now. how old is he now? 11. Oh, 11. What's he going <laughs> to be? Right, sorry. Uh, there was a question there and I missed it. Judith, sorry, Judith, we're oh, too busy Judith. chatting. Happy Christmas, John and Jenny, lovely show. How do I buy Aurifil 80 weight for EPP? Have you got any in stock from Judith? There's some in kits, apparently. We haven't got any on its own. Um, but you can go to, directly to Aurifil, the Aurifil website. I shouldn't be saying that, really, should I? But well, I'm going to be having my own box that we're going to have here, but it's not going to be till May. Oh, OK. And that's okay. going to have e the... It's so going to be an EPP box. Oh, OK, so thread. Judith... Maybe buy a couple now, and then in May, come and get Jenny's special box, because that's to go with the... What? The book. The yeah. book, launch the book. I can't remember if we were allowed to say anything yeah. the launch of the book. <laughs> right, okay, so that was the yellow one, 34.99. Do some more sewing, and yep. then I'll do the other so two So I've kits. just um, gone back to where we were before it unthreaded. I've locked my stitch, and I'm just going across. So I like to be able to put my... Um, a mixture of different things in, so all my loops are different, whether different it be sizes. my pens, my glue pen, and again, with your... With this one, just want to make sure because obviously it's elastic so it can stretch a bit. And just any loop that you do, just push to the side. Obviously, you can do little ones. I'm going to do a big one now and then I'll do a smaller one and show you. So you're just going to carry this on all the way along. Yeah. And um, d stop an inch before the other end. Yeah. And do a line and then keep it flat and do your stay stitch. Okay. Right, while you carry on doing that, I'll just show you the green bundle. <clears throat> so that there's only four of these left, that's why I'm interrupting slightly. So you, in this one, you get your papers, you get your instructions, you get your five fat quarters. Ta da There you go. Oh, morning. Love your shirt today, John. Is it new? Fab to see Jenny. Her work is precise and relaxing to watch. I'll try the pen roll pattern from Katie. Miller said, the, the shirt isn't new. The shirt was bought for me by my older brother when we went home before lockdown and he bought his older Christmas shirt to wear for Christmas dinner. And this was mine, you see. And I put it in the Christmas section on my rail. That sounds really grand, doesn't it? In my dressing room. <laughs> and I've completely forgot it was there. And then I saw it yesterday. I thought, oh, I'll just, it's a bit snug, but you know, it's nice and it's lovely. Anyway, anyway, thank you very much indeed. And then I've just got the blue one very quickly. Sorry, Jenny. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, by the way, I need to also warn you, in the next hour, I've got this fabric by the half metre. We've got a mega bundle, which Kat kept putting up there. There's only three. Was it three or four left? Three left. There's, there. The mega bundle, right? Seven and a half metres. Get a half metre for free. There's only three of those left. I just thought I'd warn you, that's the next hour. Uh, so that's the blue one there. Pattern, papers, and your blue fat quarters. 
There's nine of these left. Isn't it funny? Now, I don't want to say it's the most unpopular because loads have gone. Absolutely shed loads have gone. But I thought the blue one would have flown out quicker than the other two colours. But you like the yellow and the green. I love you? the yellow and the green. I think it's just because it's a bit, I don't know. Anyway. I mean, I love them all. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> when I got them, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, if Jenny has time, how do you take the card out? Oh, no problem. Where is that card that I did? I'm going to be showing you loads of EPP on the next show. Yeah, because we've got a whole it, out, another hour. Yeah, we're going to do up. loads. So it's going to be a very chilled, relaxing show. So once, remember, don't remove until all sides have been sewn around. Yeah. And then this glue is not permanent glue. It's not going to leave sticky residue or anything. It's as easy as just peeling them off. Whether you leave it in five minutes or five years, it's still going to yeah. peel off. If you have left it for a long, 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 long time and you think, oh, it feels a little bit, just iron it and the warmth of your iron will um, warm the glue and then you can get it off quite easily. Yeah. Always have quarter of an inch seam allowance, sometimes have slightly bigger. You don't well, want smaller than quarter of an inch. No, you don't want smaller than quarter of an inch, but you also don't want too much more, because the first you, one I ever did, it wasn't one of yours, it was a Louisa Galt one, right? And I thought, oh, I'm going to have big seam allowances because I'm frightened, right? Yeah, oh, it gets You can have too, too much, um, yeah, too you much, can, and you yeah. go too much. Isn't there it? you go, so I've just taken it out. Obviously, that would be sewn around, yes. but it's as easy as taking it out like Brilliant. that. Brilliant. Okay. Right. So very quickly, keep yep. going, keep going. Right. So I've added a few loops, as yeah. you can see, different sizes. Mm -hmm. And you will just carry that along. Stop an inch. You don't get the elastic in the that. kit. You do have to buy your elastic. We've got that elastic in stock, though, if you go to yeah. the website. So you're just going to stop an inch before, do mm -hmm. one, another line, and then again, just before to keep it in place. Right. So with the pockets, what I tend to do is... I will line them up with one of my lines sewn. Oh, which is why you don't sew it before yes. now. Yes. So now I can see one here. Mm -hmm. So you can just mark it or do it by eye. But it's just so that if you have a pen here, you're not going to push it down. It's not going to hit a line. It's yeah, going to exactly. fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. And again, you've stay stitched here. This is an open seam. So you might want to pin along there just to make sure it doesn't move down. Yeah. So Got three minutes left. Make then. sure you um she didn't hear me. Yeah, I did three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you back stitch or stay stitch here, lock stitch, and just go all the way down and off the bottom. Like so. And you can do as few or as little as many pockets as you want. Mm -hmm. And you've got a little pocket there. So it's nice and easy like that. The last stage. I'm going to just snip this off because okay, it's going to get, gonna get in that. the way. If, you, if you've not done EPP before, it's your first kit, make sure you get your glue and your glue pens as well. Um, the uh, add a quarter inch ruler is, you don't necessarily, oh, it's sold out. It's sold out, but it's not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily. No, you can just use um, the yeah, marks the room, on yeah. there. It's okay, fine. so. Right, so that's your outer. Uh -huh. so you're going to put that right side down and you are going to put, this is where I've probably cut it slightly wrong and you're just going to line oh so oh, like you're I making did. a quilt sandwich yeah, like you would do with a normal completely quilt, yeah. so this is your inside right side up mm -hmm. and you can baste it to here using 505, 505 if you want to you can pin it next hour yeah and if you really want to make sure it doesn't move stay stitch a scant quarter edge all the way around uh -huh. just so that's not necessary if you've got confident you can just add your yeah. binding now mm -hmm. but it's nice for if you're a beginner and you just don't want it moving okay but when you're doing your binding yep yes so before you add your binding yeah this will be stay this is another reason for stay stitching you will get your here it is measure your ribbon it's mm -hmm. got the measurements and the pattern it tells you where to place them. You want to place one underneath the other. I would say pin here. Yes, yes. Just to, or, or use some tape, something. Just so it doesn't move. Just so it doesn't get out. And again, stay stitch. Would there be enough fabric left over from the fat quarters to make your own ribbon to go there? If you, didn't, yeah. if you hadn't got any ribbon in stock, yeah. you could use like one of those ribbons, like the bird ribbon, to make your yeah, own ties. Yeah, you could. To yeah. Make, yeah, to make some ties with mm -hmm. your turning tool. <laughs> They'll be quite thin, you'll yes, need a turning yeah, tool. Be, yeah. There we go. And the next stage would be to add your binding as you would a quilt. Yeah. Um, so sew it on by machine to the front. Well, you can sew it. If you way. like to machine both sides, just do it how you would. Mm -hmm. But if not, sew to the front, hand sew 
Are there instructions in the instructions of how to bind it? Um, yeah, I think it might say bind of the quilt, but I've got a video on YouTube that's specifically okay, for binding. That, Just type in my name and binding. So Jenny Jackson and quilt binding. Uh, uh, not on so and not the same street one, it's no, a Jenny no, Jackson. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from quite a while ago. <coughs> okay. But it does show you exactly how to make the binding add and do the corners. So just go to YouTube, put in Jenny Jackson and yeah, put binding. What I'll try and do is I'll try and find it and pop it on my Facebook Brilliant. so there's a quicker link. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now you're back Pleasure. in an hour. I am. And you're doing a bucket. Oh, we haven't got them. We're doing They're a bucket. The <laughs> I'll, on show the you the, I'll show you the pictures. We're doing a bucket. It's not a bucket to put water in. It's a bucket bag there. And we're doing a cushion. Yes. That's lovely. I love that cushion there. Right, okay. So before I go for a break, I've got to do what, Kat? The, oh, the Mega Bundle, which is in the next hour, which is all these lovely fabrics. It's half a metre of all these lovely fabrics. That, there it is, right? There's only three left. Oh, right, there are three left, but two in baskets. I haven't even shown you the fabric yet, by the half metre. But it's all of this fabric. We'll do it as soon as we come back. It's all of that fabric. We've got it all by the half metre as well, unless, of course, it's sold out. But you do get £7.49 off at half a metre off. What's she say? Oh, stay around, because your Christmas message is going straight out now. Oh, gosh. We'll see you in four <laughs> minutes from now. Merry Christmas everyone! I hope you have a fab time and get loads of sewing done. Hi everyone! I'm sending you best wishes for the festive season and would like to thank you for all your wonderful support over the last 12 months. Who could believe there's another new year just around the corner? I'm looking forward to spending more sewing time with you in the new year and looking forward to seeing all your fantastic makes. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas. Lots of love. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the Sewing Street fans. Thank you for watching over the year. I um, hope you have a wonderful time. And remember, keep sewing. Merry Christmas. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. 
so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Was that really three minutes? Oh, I've only got one mega bundle left. So I'll show you that straight away. So this is brand spanking new today, right? It's, the, it's what Jenny's just been using, right? There's only one mega bundle left now. On, in a minute, right, I'm going to explain. I've got the mega bundle, but there's only one left. I've got this as a bundle. I've got this as a bundle. And I've got this as a bundle. Then I've got them by the half metre. However, that one has sold out on its own, just so you know. And the bundle of blue, there's only one of those left. So how funny, because in the kits, they were the most popular, but in the bundles, the blue one's the most popular. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's Moda. Now, uh, there's only one mega bundle left, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, the designer, Ladybird. It's Moda Ladybird by Crystal... I won't say Carrington, but that's what's the name of Dynasty, isn't it? Crystal Manning, right? Crystal grew up in the northern Missouri where she discovered a passion for art in her younger years. She received a Bachelor of Science. This is what I don't understand, right? She got a Bachelor of Science, but it was in marketing. But then um, Kat said that Jeremy's was a Bachelor of Science and his was in filmmaking and everything. So uh, she's got that from Missouri State University and minored in art design. Oh, so art design was her secondary subject. That's interesting, isn't it? After working as a graphic designer for 10 years, she began using her art and design skills great surface and textile patterns uh, that means she did tiles wallpaper anything that, it, that will go on a surface in 2015 now look at this right she only bought her first sewing machine in 2015 so six years ago six years ago she bought her first sewing machine back, began teaching herself how to sew with her designs printed on now spoon flower fabric is a make of cotton fabric it's a really beautiful uh, weight of fabric which i'm presuming these are because they're such beautiful fabric despite, despite stepping on pins and befriending the seam ripper as we all do sewing and fabric design quickly became her new passion crystal currently lives in kansas city i got a kansas city on a friday by Saturday, I learned a thing or two. That's from Oklahoma, Missouri, where she continues to create new designs for licensing. Nature is a favourite source of inspiration and she loves leaves. No, not leaves. It doesn't say leaves. She loves flowers, birds and cheerful colours colours with a vintage vibe. Next slide, please. Uh, this is her words, right? These are her words. I'm excited to finally introduce Lady Bird to you. Think of the birds bouncing Think of the birds bouncing, trees budding, nature is awakening. The Ladybird Collection represents the harmony of spring and summer, which we all want now, don't we? With landscapes painted in florals and birds singing their song. I always get excited for the rebirth of a new year. I do too. And enjoy walks in town to smell the new blooms. Well, I don't have to go to town. I live in the countryside. The collection works wonderfully for scrappy quilts or EPP with a vintage vibe. The lovely pops of aqua look like bits of sea glass, which is Emma, what Emma will be doing now. My hope was to design a collection that provoked this same excitement so you can create something that brightens hearts and homes. This is what I love. As Lady Bird Johnson said herself, ex-first lady of America, where flowers bloom, so does hope. Isn't that a lovely saying? Lovely saying. Right, have a quick look. Remoda also did a get to know page. We haven't put it all on here, so don't worry, I'm not going to go. I've just picked the questions that I, my favourite questions. So here you go. Uh, what are your top five must-have items? A seam ripper, check. Now, two salt cellar pin cushions that were gifted to me. We always have something, don't we, that's gifted to us. A friction, erasable pen, an Alpha rotary cutter and wonder clips. So we can supply four of those five. What's your favourite season and why? Summer, I love the sunshine, long days, dresses, swimming, picnics and barbecues with family and friends. Favourite actor, actress, Catherine O'Hara, mama, baby. I know, she's brilliant at that. Isn't there one, wasn't there one other question we chose? No, there was another question we chose, wasn't there? That was funny. Anyway, never mind, never mind. Um, I've only got one bundle left. Right, there's one there. Are there any in baskets? Okay, right. Now I've got one left available, but two people have got it in their basket. So only one of you will get it if you check out. Unless, of course, someone else comes in right now and gets it, because having it just sitting in your basket does not mean it's yours. Now, oh, yes, that, that was the other thing we wanted to point out. One of my favourite, favourite, favourite ever designs, right? I'd have forgot the name of it now. Cascada. You know how I went. Well, she designed that. She, look, didn't we do a picture of it? You, didn't you drag a picture across of Cascada? 
Yes, you did. You put it right in the middle of the screen. You went, don't worry, I'll put other pictures on with it. Oh, yes, never mind, never mind. Anyway, she designed Cascada as well, which is very different to this, isn't it? So let me just take you through it, right, first of all. Uh, Sheila Sears in Australia, how lovely. Right, you get the blue, all the fabrics that you just saw Jenny using. You get half a metre of all these now. If you, well, you can't multiply because there's only one left. But they're already cut, they're ready to go like that. Aren't they stunning? absolutely beautiful you get all of those you get seven and a half meters of fabric but you get one of those for free so it's 104 pounds and 86 pence right there are three people on the phone lines are you coming in for this is it about to go are we about to have a sellout of a mega bundle two minutes into the show embrace the mess are her words to live by well somebody said when they sh when we showed around the studio yesterday it was very messy there it's a creative hub i say Oh, that's right. Her favourite holiday is all-inclusive in Mexico. And we love these getting to know, don't we? Right, now, I've, has it checked out yet? How weird. There's three people on the phone line. Two people got it in their baskets and it's still there. Right, we'll move on. <coughs> we'll move on. It will go. Cat will let us know when it's sold. Right, let's do the blue one first. Blue sold out. Of course it has. Let's do the jade one next. Well, no. We've called it, I've called it jade, we've called it green, I think. Oh, they've called it aqua, this one. But no, what she says is the aqua flashes. Oh, look at that lovely clover in there. Oh, sorry. Ignore the image on the web. You do get five fabrics, not four. I love that. That's essence of liberty, isn't it? Then you've got your wild flowers. Then you've got your lovely ditzy flowers there. Then, you see, doesn't that one, that one's the like essence of Riley Blake, isn't it? You've got all sorts, and then that's gorgeous, isn't it? That's like one of those um, cave drawings from Australia from many, many moons ago. And I don't know, the indigenous people of Australia would have drawn on their cave walls. So, you get five fabrics. They, the quality is exquisite. I can't tell you. I think this must be that, um, what did she call it on a, on a slide? Um, the cotton. Spoon flower. I think this must be that spoon flower because it, it's just beautiful. Every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Look. That's by Gerard de Naval. Oh, sorry. I'll show you there. Beautiful, isn't it? Ladybird by Crystal Manning. Right, now, oh yes, we'll do a lot of these by the half metre in a minute. So, that's your green bundle, aqua bundle. There's eight of those left, that's it. That's it. It's only launched this morning. Then we've got, now, what have they called this one? I'm not going to say yellow, because it'll be wrong. Saffron. Saffron, they've called this one. Helen says, what gorgeous fabrics again. Aren't they, Helen? Look. So, you get half a metre, half a metre of the yellow. Is the picture on the website right for this one? Half a metre of the Riley Blake inspired, this is what I'm calling it. Half a metre of, that's almost cave, isn't it, that one? Then that's beautiful, isn't it, that hand drawn. And then look at the birds in there, because this one with lots of colour. The other two are done as silhouette, aren't they? That's the only one with coloured in bits and everything. <clears throat> There's only nine of those left. Nine of those bundles left. So popular, this range. Well, I think we'll have to ask for more from Crystal. Right, before I go to onto the half metres, right, can I go here first? Because uh, this is already going, right? This is your 10-inch uh, layer cake charm pack, when you want to call it. This is where you get 10-inch squares. F oh, now for some reason, it's 47 99 These are normally 49 99 now. 47 99 So you get 40... Oh! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, well, that's not any of the collections, is it? Don't look at me. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, so now I'd maybe buy one of these bundles and then get the 10 inch tumpack because you're going to get extra because that goes beautifully with that. So we've seen that one and we've seen that one and we've seen that one. Oh, maybe it's, just, oh, look, maybe there's just a, the odd blender then. I can't grab hold of these with my fingers. There you go. There you go. What's the matter, cat? Look at now, now, that there. That one wasn't in any of the bundles, was it? She must have another, like, oh, she must have an extra colourway because look. Look. She, there must be like an apricot colourway as well, mustn't there? That is glorious. 
Look at that. Now, oh, oh, yeah, look, there must be a whole other colorway that we've not got. Oh, I love it. Oh, look. No, no, I think it's all that terracotta-y, apricot-y colour, isn't there? Oh, he says that. Oh, aren't these beautiful? Mm. Mm. Seen these? See, they're all in the bundles, they ones there. Oh! Uh! Oh, my word, that's just glorious, isn't it? These are stunning. Whose message? John, I love your passion and enthusiasm. Oh, thank you. The thing is, I do make it a bit obvious, don't I? Because if I didn't like them, I'd be like, that's nice, that's nice. That, like Mrs. Brown, that's nice. Whereas when I love something, you can really tell, can't you? Oh, look at these. Um, um, um. Yeah, Elliot, you're right. There are two other colourways. He's not, he's not often right, Elliot, but today he is. Yes. Um, Jenny Jackson said to Elliot this morning, what have you done in the past to upset John so much that he keeps picking on you? It's love, that's what it is. And Elliot won't go that far. <laughs> it's love for Elliot. Anyway, look, beautiful. Uh, okay, 47.99, £47.99. pence. Right, be careful. There got loads of those going in baskets. Loads going in baskets. Right, now there's still one mega bundle left. It's weird, isn't it? All those people came in, but there's still one. Right, there's only one mega bundle left. I'll show you that quickly before I do them by the half metre. Oh, there you go. June says, that's what we love about you, your honesty and your enthusiasm. Well, I'm, that's it, you see. That's why I'm not a very good salesman, because I'm too honest, don't I? If I was in a car, imagine if I was a car salesman, I'd be like, oh, don't buy that one. The seats aren't very comfortable. Uh, 10486. On split pay, two payments of 52.43. No interest. You don't have to take split pay if you don't want to. If you're on the telly, if you're watching on the telly, put your, Q, put your phone up against that QR code now and you'll take, be taken straight through to this. Right, when, with the 7.49 off, it makes it 6.99 a half a metre when it's done like that. For designer fabrics. I mean, these should be 8.50, shouldn't they, really? Let's, to be on, let's be honest, these should be 8.50 for half a metre. Yeah, we had an email, didn't we? And, well, so did Stuart, our friend Stuart, who's got a shop, right? A fabric and wool shop. He got an email from all the suppliers saying, prices are going up, we can't guarantee delivery dates or anything like that. We're still at 7 49 And then we knock £7.49 off, so you're then paying 6 99 for half a metre if you buy that. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, if you buy one of her cushions, she sells cushions in America on her website, $26 a cushion. Right, there you go, oh, look, there you go, we'll show you, right? I also need to tell you as well that she has got a, fr oh, there, there's a cascade, there's a cascade, look. I like her vagabond range as well. So look, they're just two, no, no offence to her, but they're just two squares sewn together. So that's half a metre, that's half a metre of fabric. Anyway, I'll shut up. Um, there is a free pattern on her website. Don't, I, I, I can show a website. I mean, you can go and buy a fabric from there, but you'll pay duty on it when it comes in. So just be careful because that's in America, right? But on our website, right? Look, oh, mugs and drinkware. Oh, I bought a flask yesterday. Oh, it's a water bottle, that one. Oh, how cute are they? Right, but you, you don't want to be buying those because you pay duty on them. Right, here you go. Free projects. Make a stylish kimono. Charming placemat. Oh, they're very like the ones we just done with Jenny, aren't they? Beautiful, aren't they? So they're there, free, free. There you go. Right, okay, let's move on. Uh, is it still here? How weird. Has something happened? Right, let's do the fabrics by the half metre. Very Now, this will be a very, very, <coughs> excuse me, a very, very quick romp. Because look at everything else I've got to do this hour as well. And I've got more somewhere else. Oh, right, before we do that, I'm going to do this. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. Kat's done your... Coordinating, let's hope they called it coordinating. Oh, there you go, summer nights. Summer nights, 100% cotton, one, two, three, four, five, six. The only one I would, I love that as a bundle. I love that as a bundle, right? The only one I wouldn't put with this um, new range is that red, because it's slightly, the tone is slightly stronger than all the tones within the fabric. And 
And I'm not picking, I promise I'm not picking on cat, but that one, this is a gorgeous bundle for your stash, right? 19.99, right? But that red, that red is slightly bolder or stronger, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Intensity than the red in the, in the bundles. And no, but it stands on its own. So if we do this in three weeks' time and we've sold out of the, um, the fabric, you know, the, the, the Lady B Bird fabric, then at least that'll stand on its own as a... Um, and it's named by Cat's boyfriend. He called it Summer Nights. We have no idea why. Summer Nights. Oh, a cocktail. There you go. That's a bit worrying, Elliot, if you see this is the changing light from daylight to night time. <laughs> Remember, it's already cut. They're already cut. So they, if you buy more than one, they'll come, you'll get two, two of those bundles. Right, right, come on. Buy the half metre. Blues first. Right, this one, sold out. This one at 102, finishes 102. Do you want the big code as well? Yeah. Right, look at this. Look, 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 look. Isn't that, imagine a summer dress made out of that. Now it is quilting weight, dressmaking weight, shirt making weight. Ladybird, wildflowers, floral on porcelain. Oh, that's nice. This is your chance to buy it now by the half meter. So we'll cut it off the bolt for you. It's Moda fabric, remember? Isn't it lovely? I love those clovers. There's something about a clover that's just so... Oh, now I wonder what that is there. I wonder what plant that is there. Cattle, no, because she's very good at gardening. Not. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, that's that one. No, that's not honesty, no. <laughs> yesterday we had fab... Was it yesterday for with the fab... The Liberty fabric with the honesty, and she kept calling it hope. She says, oh, there's that lovely hope fabric. Right, this is pretty now as well. Look, I'm going to show all of the... <gasps> Wait till you get this home, right? This is going to be one of those fabrics that you don't want to cut. I'm telling you now. But you, you must, you must, you must. Never, ever, ever just leave it in your cupboard, right? They've been very random with their stickers today, haven't they? Let me put that in the corner there. There you go. So that's that one. Beautiful, isn't it? 44 inches wide, machine wash, cascade, floral on porcelain. Oh, she does nice words as well. I wonder if they how have they got the right words? Or we've, have we got somebody romantic working in our naming department now? They cannot be from our naming department. We will not have called that Cascade, would we? 749, remember you're buying it off the bolt? So if you want three metres, you can have three metres. Now this one's lovely. This is the hand, what I'd call the hand-drawn one. You ready? One, two, three. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, I'm thinking little girls' dresses now on that one. Boxer shorts. Oh, Elliot likes that idea. Loose fitted boxer shorts with a button fly, he says. This is a uh, full bloom floral, this one's called. They're what, say? Oh, no, that's made me feel ill now. 749. Seven pounds and 49 pence. From what, sorry, from the last hour or the last hour? Okay, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, look at this one. Now this is Essence of Liberty, this one, isn't it? Look, very popular on pre-order. I'll pop it straight down. Now the blue bundle is sold out. You, you, can't, you can recreate it, you can recreate it. Oh, no, you can't, because the blue swirl sold out, isn't it? Oh, it's upside down. Look at that. So you cannot recreate the blue bundle. Sorry, my bad. Oh, that in a blouse or a shirt or a summer dress or anything like that. Vintage, a vintage style dress would look lovely. Birdie Toile, this one's called. Birdie Toile. They're not bouncing. I think they're chirruping. 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 Isn't it the same word? Chirping is what Kat's saying. I'm saying chirruping. They were very noisy here this morning, the birds. When I arrived this morning, I got out of the car, they welcomed you. We're in the middle of an industrial estate, but there's trees and a river down here. It's not, not romantic, it's like a ditch, but, um, but it's really, and there's a, I didn't know there was a walkway around there. And when I first started working, I could hear people, and I was like, there's people in the river. 
but there's a walkway around the outside of the industrial estate. Right, lemon, bu the yellow bundle, didn't call it yellow, did they? <coughs> right, there's seven yellow bundles left, but if you want it by, oh, look at that one. If you want it by the half metre, this is your moment now, there you go, that's your half a metre of your uh, tail feather geometric dot stripes blender. <laughs> Okay, I think we might have made these names up, maybe. <laughs> so it's Mode a Ladybird Tail Feather Geometric Dot Stripes Blender on saffron. There you go. Now ring the call centre and ask for that one. Anyway, it's lovely though, isn't it? It's really nice. £7.49. I've said it enough now. Um, remember, if you want a message read out on Christmas Day, all you have to do is email in here, studio at sewingstreet.com. Make sure you put your Chris, um, Christmas message on your um, it, uh, subject line. Anyway, here we go. This is lovely. Look at this one. Wildflowers floral on saffron. £7.49 for half a metre. That's a brilliant price. Gorgeous, isn't it? Moving on. Then we've got the Cascade. You know what? This is going to be one of those, uh, I learn all the words, all the names, and then, and then it'll be sold out next time I'm in. I'm not in again now till Thursday, after today, just so you know. Seven forty nine half meter. Remember, you're buying off the bolt. Beautiful. Then we've got the hand drawn one. I think they call it full floral, don't they? This one, full bloom. Seven forty nine. Yeah, you know why that is now, don't you? Yeah. Good boy, Elliot. Congratulations. Right, here we go. There you go. This is now, this is the only, you see now, this isn't really toile, is it? Because it's all coloured in. Birdie toile. Or toil. That, that, it's that toil because toile's got a U in it, hasn't it? Toil, maybe. I love that. That is just stunning. Yeah, it's in the yellow bundle. Jenny's put that in the yellow bundle for you. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, I'm imagining a really lovely summer frock or a skirt, button-through skirt, and you're wearing it to go to a barbecue in the summer with your lovely flip-flops. Oh, oh, okay, Kat will put a white T-shirt with it. But Kat's young and frivolous like that. Right, now let's move on to the greens. That's the, uh, the, the bundle of the yellows, if you want the bundle of yellows. Right, of uh, saffron, sorry, saffrons. Right, here's the greens now. So, are there any of those bundles left, first of all? Five of the green bundle left, that's all now. That's there, £37.45. Oh, but there are three in baskets. All this is, will have gone by the end of tonight, by the end of Sunday, all of this will have gone, I think. Please check on the website if you're watching the repeat. Well... I don't know, because on my telly the other day, at a certain time it goes to one of our sister channels, doesn't it? Somebody sitting in a cupboard, a boy or a girl sitting in a cupboard. But then I was up late the other night when I was having time off. It was about 11 o'clock and I was on. So that, not in the cupboard, I was, on here, I was here. But there was a repeat like late at night, so I don't know how it works anymore. But you can always watch us on, on the website or on YouTube or whatever. No, not at seven, it doesn't. No, 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 it's still them after. It goes to films after seven. It goes to, like, the boy off the gemstone doing in interviews with people. Mode, uh, ladybird, tail feather, geometric dot stripe blender on teal. Oh, they called it teal. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you're all right coming back from Germany and places like that, but it's going in if you're having issues. So what have I got to look forward to on the telly then? If the dancing's finished, the cooking's finished. 
Oh, I don't really, I've gone off the ice dancing. Anyway, when does that, there's another cookery show. I think it's called Great British Menu that's um, presented by Andy somebody. She's gorgeous, lovely, oof, kind of, oh, I love Portrait Arts of the Year. Oh, no, and I loved, I'm not going to say in case you haven't watched it, right? But normally there's one on a week, and this week I went to watch it on my catch-up, on my Skybox, everything. There's two, because there's the one, the final, and then the person, that, well, I can say he, because it was three finalists, wasn't it? Three boys. The one who won, it was then him painting the lady, like that, right? And I've, it's really weird how you make assumptions, isn't it? When you, Each week you used to see her, and the prize is a £10,000, what's it, for, to, for Victoria Penedetti, whatever she was called. She was adorable. I loved her. I absolutely, she was so, you know when somebody's genuine and you can tell that they're, and she was so moved when she saw the, I'm not surprised. It was amazing. It was amazing, the finished picture, but she was, she was such a lovely lady. Anyway, uh, they've, now for some reason, this one's called Aqua. The last one was called Teal. This one's called Aqua. Andy Oliver, Andy Oliver. Right, she used to be a flatmate of my friend Amanda Meeling. When they were young students, they were flatmates. Amanda Meeling and Andy Oliver were flatmates. And then on Claudia's show last Saturday morning, they do this competition. She talked about what pudding she makes for Christmas pudding. Anyway, 7.49. Oh no, Great British Menu, no upcoming broadcasts. Andy Oliver's got a show on this week anyway. What, who's her daughter then, Claire? I didn't know, I didn't know she had a daughter. Who's the daughter? Anyway, I love that show. I find that really, really lovely, that show. Rightio, now I'm going on to Cascade. This is pretty... I don't know how you're choosing, right? I don't know how you're choosing, because these are all beautiful, aren't they? It's a one mega bundle still left. I am shocked. I am shocked. My... Flabber has never been so ghasted, as they say. There's still a mega bundle left. What's the matter, Elliot? Are we being taught how to produce now? Cascade floral on aqua. Gorgeous. Then two more, two more. Then you'll see everything that we've got by the half metre. That lovely 10-inch charm pack layer cake's beautiful, isn't it? Look, that's stunning, that one. I'm not normally a fan of teal or green as a background colour, but that one works so beautifully. Elliot loves little dots, but they don't mention the dots on this one, do they, look? This is just called Full Bloom. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, Karen, don't worry, I'm not going to talk about the Strictly, but I'm not going to say anything. Because I was going to say when I came on air this morning, don't mention it. And then it was on the news. Don't listen to the Radio 2 News because it tells you it's one of their headlines is the person who won. So I'm, we won't say anything else. We won't say anything else. Her daughter is on Steph's Pack Lunch. Oh, I hate that show. Oh, I can't bear that show. Steph's Pack Lunch. Oh. This is my own personal. This is my own personal. What, what's the matter, Elliot? No, no, I don't watch the whole show because you flick through, you get in, you sit down. So, okay, so I finish work, I get home about half past three, quarter past three, half past three. I've been to Waitrose to buy my tea, sit down, I make a cup of coffee and a cake and I, what, I flick through. No, I don't make a cake. I've bought the cake in Waitrose. And I just sit down for 10, 15 minutes and flick through all the channels and everything like that. Then I get on with what I've got to do, do my prep for the next day's show and buy my shirts and do anything that I've got to do in real life. Still haven't written my Christmas cards, but there you go. And then... Um, some of them. I've done the ones that go in the post. And then um, I sit down in the evening and just have a couple of hours watching telly. Should we look at this? Yeah, yeah, I don't watch live... I never watch live telly, apart from when I'm flicking through the shopping channels at night time. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it, that one? That is stunning. Elliot's coming in nice and tight because he likes the picture. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. That's the last one. Right, mega bundle. There's one. I can't believe it. There's one left. Right, if you buy, you've seen that all those fabrics, seven forty nine for half a metre. If you buy the mega bundle, we're giving you seven pound forty nine off, which means you're paying six ninety nine 
per half meter if you buy this mega bundle. Now, I know it's a bit messy. I do apologize. Now, this one here is completely sold out. In fact, I think a couple of them are sold out now. But that blue one's definitely sold out, so I cannot recreate this bundle. Oh, no, I can't recreate it because this, as this bundle, this is the mega bundle, right? I've got one left. That bundle is completely sold out, and that fabric is completely sold out as well. So there's your mega bundle. Uh, seven and a half metres of fabric. It's still there. There's one left. And how many people in baskets now? Okay, three in baskets. Three in baskets. Three in baskets. So we'll wait and see. Oh, somebody on the phone line now. New phone line caller now. Well, it would be if they're on the phone line caller. Right, okay, I'll move on. Yeah, yeah, 10 inch uh, layer cake charm pack. Hang on, let me just put that up all together there. Oh, I've got plenty of time. I was thinking I was running out of time. I had to check, have we not got this? Oh, well. 47.99, you get 42 pieces. You get different fabrics in there as well. Look, where's the one at the bottom? Look, there are a couple of different prints in there, about five or six different prints in there. So if you have got any of it and you want to team it up with something, Angela says, Merry Christmas from me and Bear. Thank you, Angela. 47.99, 42, 10 inch squares. Remember, if you cut it like that and like that, that gives you four five inch squares, right? So four times 42 is 168. That's the equivalent of getting 168 five inch squares. Imagine what you could do. Imagine what you could do with all those. Oh, actually, she's got a free pattern on her website. We've got patterns as well you can use, but you know what I mean. Beautiful. Right, okay, let's move off from that now for the time being. <gasps> oh, oh, I've got to do this very quickly. Lots of people want this. The Summer Nights Bundle. Single figures, single figures. Kat's put this together for you. Her boyfriend named it Summer Nights. But he's a bit weird like that. We're looking forward to our summer evenings already. Two days time, we'll be on our way to summer. 1999. Remember Crystal Manning's favourite time of year is the summer. The long summery evenings. Yeah, yeah, look at the look at these like like those quilts are all made. At, could you drop the drop the graphics out a second? Look, all those quilts are made out of this collection. Which one do you like? There's a log cabin down there. It looks like a mini log cabin, that one, doesn't it? I like either the top right or the bottom left if you're thinking of making me one. Cat. Ah, you see, I love a quilt with a dark background. Mind you, having said that. So having said that, the one that's on my bed is quite pale, and I love it. The Jane Alcott one, the log cabin, it's in blues, golds, and creams. It's beautiful, and a bit of lemon spattered in there. It's lovely. Right. Oh, here we go. Every time well, this comes back in stock, Cat brings it on air, and every time it sells out. When I was, when Dulcie and I were at Wimbledon School of Art, this was one of the first things, apart from a pair of scissors, that we had to buy, right? It's basically, in my day, it was a yardstick. So when I went to college, it was just this long. But it's this long now, because it's a metre stick. Still got the inches on this side. Still, so there's 36 inches, but then there's 100 centimetres on that side. You've then got markings here, eighth, quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, three quarters upside down. Seven eighths and one yard. Then on the other side, you've got your centimetres. Then here... You've got all your, you know, if you're working out and, and your pattern is in inches and you use centimetres, you've got all your conversion charts there. 4 99 Claire, 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 Claire. We can't. She works somewhere else. That's, we can't do that, I'm afraid. Derek says, good morning, Elliot, Cat and John. What happened to the amazing, talented, wonderful, handsome guest we had on yesterday? Hope he'll be back soon. No. We had a vote and we decided he wasn't coming back. He might come back with a project on the birthday week. Might possibly, might possibly be bringing an exclusive panel. No, we, we, no, no, because he was, he had a cup of tea. In, one lady message, oh, I love the fact that John went, go and have a cup of tea in the green room and sit down for an hour. 4 99 wooden meter stick. It's also a yard stick with a bit extra. Uh, 
Oh, that's a waste. Rebecca Reed's got one that she... Well, that's a funny picture, isn't it? Just this, this yardstick across the screen. Rebecca Reed's got one. She, oh, she uses hers to hang wall hangings off. I've got one of these in my workroom, and it's just led to get to the wall like that by the door. That's it. I got mine from at uh, Sand Quarter. Four ninety nine. Make sure you get yours. I don't, imagine that coming through your letterbox. <laughs> you love. You'd be like this in the kitchen. Go. Woo, what was that? That's presuming your front door's opposite your kitchen. That's all. Right. Where are we going next? Oh, just, right. Hang on. I, I can't go and get the real one from over there because Jenny Jackson's got it switched on. Okay. There's four left. There's four of these left. Now, have a look at this. This is how yours is going to arrive. Right? As seen on TV, not here. Look, it actually comes with a case, right? So you open it up. Look at the price, $29.99. Last day delivery. Now, right now, last day delivery before Christmas. Now, be careful who you're buying it for, unless you're self-gifting. My mum, when I was little, on the telly, I mean, it was in the caveman times wasn't it on the telly they used to have all the christmas ads the, the lego for the children the skate electrics and everything and then they'd have a lady in an apron doing some ironing going buy the lady in your life an iron and my mum said if any of you buy me an iron if any of you buy me an iron that's it right so i mean and we didn't do crafting in our house so it's different for crafters but just make sure they want an iron before you get it for them so it's 29.99 you get the hard case you get the little jug you get the meter and a half um well, it's 1.8 meters, I think, of, of cable. Then, in here, this is where you put your water, because, yes, it's a steam iron. That's where your water levels are. That's your steam on, steam off there. That's your lovely old-fashioned temperature gauge there. You've got a cable clip there for when it's cold. When you plug it in, that light will come on, but it'll go off when it's ready to go. You've got your steam holes under there, and you've got this lovely ergonomic handle look with lovely soft touch all around the edge there. Now, Hayley takes one of these on... Well, she doesn't go on holiday anymore. When she went on holiday, she used to take one of these uh, travel anchors. It's not too heavy. But also, it's strong enough... Like I could quite easily iron my shirt with this in the morning. Now, that's gorgeous. That all fits in there. Like that, of course. I've, there you go. But only four of these left in stock. Now, now, we had them back in, right? And they, they almost all flew out straight away. But it took us ages and ages and ages to get it in. So I don't know when we're going to get back in. The other thing is, if you're going to go a travel iron, make sure you go to the website. This doesn't come with it. But I'm... <coughs> Just wreck the set. This doesn't come with it, but if you buy one of these from the website, the mini one, right? Look how perfectly that fits in there. So you can always have, if you're in a hotel room, you've always got one of those to pop it down on. Uh, 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 say that again, Cap. Why not? Oh, okay, right. Okay, the three ninety nine those on the website. This is twenty nine ninety nine. Remember, you only pay one p and p. So get this, get something off your website. What? Well, well, I can't close it because I can't put the. I can't get the plug in there. I've put the plug in the wrong place. Here you go. I'll do it like this. Take that out of the bag. Put that in there like that. There you go. Is it going in there? It's going in there. And then that can slide in there like that, and then you zip it up like that. Right. That's the iron. How many have put in baskets? They're gonna go. Oh, yeah, there they go. They're going to go. They're going to go. They're going to go. They're going to go. Right. Right. Next. Four in one. Oh, have you got me an open one? Which one do you want to do first? The spots or the f f spots first? Emma Bradford swears by these. Oh, you, will you better reach, Cat? It's really, really high up. She absolutely swears by... Oh, you've got to lower down. Oh, what's that one up there, then? Right, yeah, that's the floor one, isn't it? So she swears by these. Look, so inside, first of all, use this as a pressing mat. Right, be careful. In here, this is like sandpaper on here. So what you do is if you put your fabric down, you're marking up. Uh, it helps it mark up more easily, but also it stops it from shifting around. Also, if you created a block with your half square triangles and everything like that, and you want to keep it in place, fold that over, and between the lint and the sandpaper, it's going to hold it in place. Cutting board. That's a cutting board. So you've got cutting board, um, marking, pressing. I thought there was a fourth thing. Hang on, there's a fourth thing, isn't there? Cutting mat, anti-skid, pattern marker, and ironing mat all together for £14.99. 
Whenever these come in, they fly out. Remember, you'll get in time for Christmas. If you've still got that one Christmas present to buy. New year, new you. No, that's fashion. Hang on. What? New year, new craft. I have just noticed that we're still, we'll still be plugging that at the end of January because I had to look at the show that I'm doing on the 30th of January and it still says new year, new craft. 14.99. Not supposed to tell you that, I don't think. Beautiful. Elliot's going to join the gym. Might not go, but he's going to join. That's popular. This one, this one is way more popular. There's only seven of these left. Really pretty. Again, pressing mat, sandpaper, lint, cutting mat, anti-skid, iron, cut. Woo! What more could you want? $14.99. If you're watching on the telly right now, use that QR code there. Take you straight to the page where we're selling it. Auction page. Thank you, Elliot. That's the right word for it. Auction page. Message from Mandy. I've got the quilt design and cutting mat. Brilliant and very handy Mandy. Handy Mandy just messaged in them. Anyway, let's just put this away. Keep going through for those. There you go, done. $14.99. There's only, f oh, five of these left. That's all, five of those left. One iron left, five of those left. Next. A 505 spray, because we talked about it in the last hour. 505 spray, this is where you want to put two pieces of fabric together, like you're batting. Oh, this is the trouble, isn't it? There's only four of these left. You've been buying these on pre-order. $7.99. Cat's coming out to do a demo for the next item. $7.99. 505 temporary. Now, if you spray something down, if you're using it for a big quilt, you can reposition. Don't worry if you spray it on. But if you're doing it for a quilt, make sure you spray on the wadding, not the fabric. And make sure you do it with the window open which we all should be doing at the moment, doors and windows open. I know they hate me in the office, right? Because I come in in the morning. I'm usually first... Oh! Who's that? Who was that, Elliot? Who are you showing then? Look, Elliot. Um, I wasn't first in this morning uh, because of the fog mainly. But I don't know what story... Oh, yes, I open the door and I wedge it open. And then people come in and let it close. I go, we have to keep it open. It's freezing in there. There's no windows to open, so we have to have the big door open, you see. So burglars, the, the door's open, there's no... <laughs> the thing is, you can't get in because you need a code to get through the security gate. Then we've got the security guard, and then we've got the building, so you won't make it in. Yeah. We haven't got any dogs, no, cat. You'll get... Cat, cat. Well, I've not seen the cat. Oh, do they open on Sunday? Oh, they go, there's do guard dogs apparently today. I didn't know. Well, we come in too early to see the guard dogs. Oh, they're the people who look after the alarm as well. Right, okay, last time these were on air, Kat came on and demonstrated. In fact, should we show it? No. So what day was that? I can't remember what day it was now. Oh, she remembers it, 19th of November. At? At what time? 10.08. Kat came on because she loves this. When she was working in theatre, doing the dressing and everything in the, before on um, the Tom Jones, it is, it's not unusual. No. What's new, Pussycat? Uh, she wants you to vote for it on the What's On Stage Award, so if it comes back, she'll have a job. Right, but anyway, what you do with this, you thread your needles. This is brilliant for EPP, right? This really should have been in Jenny's hour. What it is, you can thread up your needles, pop them in there, turn it so it keeps all the threads, and then every time you need a new needle, you take it out, use it, do your stitching, then you put your empty needle back in so that when you go home or back to your workroom, you can re-thread it up again. Alison said, does that mean I have to wear my thermals on Christmas Day, John? No, Alison Marion, Alison Marion, it's warm in here. It's only in the office because there's no air in here, is there? <laughs> We have the aircon on in here, but that's all. Uh, Christine says, hello. Wondering how Janice is doing today. I think she's all right. I've not heard from her, actually. I think she saw what a brilliant job I did and thought, oh, well, you know, got a bit worried. Anyway, 9.99, 9.99. Now, I've got to tell you, no, no, I've got to tell you. When Kat did this, she sold over 100. 9.99. She sold over 100 when she did it last time. Uh, Clover hand saying, remember it's the last day 
guaranteed delivery of shopping today. Now, I'm not saying that if you buy something tomorrow, you won't get it in time for Christmas. All we're saying is, because you can put some things in the post. Like I was saying, I sent out some parcels and some Christmas cards last Monday. The Christmas cards were all second class and loads of them got there the next day, but some of them didn't get there till yesterday. So it's up to, after today, it's up to our couriers, isn't it? But Jen was saying that her boyfriend works for one of the courier companies and this weekend is called Red Weekend or something and they all have to work from like six in the morning till 10 at night to get all the thingies done and everything. I know. Right. Clover roll press. Roll and press. Not roll and butter. Roll and press 15.99. Now, I need to tell a little story about this. When we were at Sewing Quarter and we introduced these, we had a guest on there, I won't say who it was, and she had this amazing roller, like, like a 1950s wooden roller, which looked fantastic. And I said, well, you can't use yours, you have to use this one, right? Now, to look at this, you're kind of going to look at this when you get at home and go, I've paid 15.99 for that, right? Wait till you use it. Uh, wait, it doesn't work here. Wait till you use it, right? This is brilliant. Well, you press your seams open. You know when designers uh, finger press open the seams? This is brilliant than her 1950s one, which was amazing. It looked gorgeous, but it, I just didn't think you could beat it. This is absolutely brilliant. I was, I was, um, like I say, a bit disappointed when I first got it out of the, uh, the packet, thinking, oh, I've spent 15, they, oh, wrong way. Uh, they are brilliant. Every time we bring them on, they're fantastic. You've got an ergonomically designed uh, shape here. It's open there. This is like they do, this is what some jewellers do with gold on the inside of a ring to make it, you know what I mean? It's sturdy, but you don't have the weight of gold or anything. But this is just brilliant. This is so precise. This little roller is fantastic for pressing open seams. Right, I've only got how many? Eight left. I've only got eight left and it always flies out. I remember last day... Hmm. Why? Oh, let's go that way. Winifred, what's the matter? Hi, John and crew. Got this item. It's brilliant. Use it all the time. Buy my sewing machine. Great price. Nice and portable. Ah, uh, this. I reckon that's this. I reckon that was that. Anyway, that's that one. Thank you, Winifred, for messaging in. Jenny Jackson. Oh, she is. The hour's nearly gone. Which, which? Right, now I've got a special deal on seams, haven't we? Right, let's do the two bottles of sanitizer first, because I know that's right then while I get the others ready. Two bottles of sanitizer, saving 99p. Now, you should have been doing it all along anyway. You should, I, I, I still do it every time I walk into a shop, every time I get in my car, every time I go home, I sanitize my hands straight away. Still wash my hands for 20, not 20 minutes, 20 seconds, sink. not 20 minutes, otherwise I'd never get any work done. Um, oh, Derek's gone. Roll and butter. Now I'm hungry. Bacon roll, please. I know somebody else had a bacon roll this morning. Anyway, eight ninety nine, saving nine ten p. You get both those. I've got this. I've got this. Now I've got it in my bag all at all times. I've got it in the dressing room. I don't have it out on the set here because we have to have the big bottles out on the set here. But there, two bottles for eight pound ninety nine. There's one in the gallery. Right. Okay. So, which one's next then? Hand cream on its own, last day for Christmas presents, remember? $13.99. Now, we introduced this when we were at Sewing Quarter. It's always been $13.99. Never, ever, ever gone up in price. It smells beautiful. It absorbs instantly into your hands. Brilliant for people who are doing sewing and EPP and all sorts of things like that. Jenny Jackson's nodding ahead. Last time, Ka what? So Karen... Karen's been on recently and we didn't have that because it had sold out beforehand. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? A bit embarrassing. Get the maker of it in and then go, oh, sorry, we've sold out. Thirteen ninety nine. Came back in stock two days ago. Right, and there's only a third of the stock left. I'll just show you very quickly. I said I'd do a demonstration, didn't I? Look, I'll just put it on the top of my hand. You literally need that much. You literally need that much and it absorbs, smells beautiful. If you want to know the ingredients, go to the website. You can find out on the website the ingredients and everything. That is just lovely. I've got the nail, we haven't got the nail oil today, but I've got the nail oil as well. But if Karen's watching, I'm about to run out. Yeah, which one's which, what, what number's that then? 
Yeah. Okay, so now this is one of her uh, Christmas kits. Last day to get it in time for Christmas, remember? I've got, th I've got these bags. They're brilliant for going away at the weekend and everything. So in this one, they're quilting gloves. Don't be thinking they're the gloves that you put moisturiser on and then put your soft gloves on, right? You've also got your uh, nail file. You've also got your sanitizer, and you get an awful lot in here. And you also get your seams hand cream in there. So, and this for 29, are you sure that's right? 29.99. Well, actually that's 14 pounds. That's five pounds. Anyway, moving on. Right, I'm, now hang on, I'm gonna put that back in the right bag because we'll get confused later on otherwise. The next one is WGVD04. Oh, okay. So this one, you get a hand sanitizer. You get the bag. You get the hand cream. Another sanitizer. And you get your face. Oh, your tape measure. That's a leather tape measure in that one. $29.99. This is free. This is for free. Gorgeous. Fantastic by that. And the, the, I've got these as well. The tape measures are fantastic. Retractable tape measure there. Oh, we haven't got a nail oil. I've run out of nail oil. <laughs> I've run out of nail oil. I was hoping it was going to be in the show today. And then if I demonstrated it, it'd have to be open, wouldn't it? Are we? I'm going for a break now. Jenny Jackson's up after the break. She's making a bucket. What's she going like that for? We do it every time, Ellie. Ellie's going, oh, John. Bucket. And we're doing a cushion. We've also got a couple of kits of last time Jenny was in. We had another cushion and a bag. We've also got a couple of those, but not many at all. And if you missed out on the sewing machine cover. Oh, yeah, I've got some news. I've got some news after the break about the sewing machine instructions. Is that right? Not sewing machine. The sewing machine cover, instructions and pattern pieces. I've got some of those available after the break. Anyway, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Sam from Adventures in Crafting, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics here. I can't believe that another year has just flown by. I just want to take the opportunity to wish you the happiest of Christmas and a really healthy 2022. So, happy Christmas from our Christmas room, which is here all year round. So, happy Christmas! Hi everyone, it's me, Jules My Youth, wishing you a fantastic, fun, festive season. Let's hope we'll have a raring good time this year Sending you lots of warm hugs from me and Lola. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, 
it's Emma from the Swift Quilting Company. I just wanted to wish everybody on Sewing Street, from the behind the scenes crew, to the presenters, to all the viewers, a very happy Christmas and a fabulous new year. Cheers. Hello everyone. Merry Christmas from Jane Greenoff. See you in the new year. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Cara. Just popped by to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas with your family and friends. Wishing you every happiness for 2022 and I look forward to seeing you on Sewing Street. Happy Christmas, bye. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learned lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Uh, Dulcie's watching. She says, good morning, everybody. My friend Dulcie. Um, our Sadie, our daughter Sadie's not been very well this week, so I hope she's all right. Uh, right, uh, Jenny Jackson's back. We're doing more EPP. Now, I need to warn you that the last hour that Jenny did was, so, was one of the busiest EPP hours we've ever, ever had. So, okay, it's going to continue, isn't it? It's going to continue. Now, Dulcie loves doing EPP. My friend Does Dulcie. She? she goes away on location to do film. She's a costume supervisor in the film industry. And she's got her native uh, lighting and she takes a little springy light and she takes her EPP and oh. she sits there doing it. She loves it. And she's got some, she had a big sort out during lockdown and she found some like Hexy's EPP that she was doing when she was a child. And she's, she's in her 40s like me now, you know what I mean? She's quite getting on a bit now. But she's found all these other ones that she did when she was little and all the old fabrics and everything. But she's got a cat called Harvey and she spreads it all out on the sitting room oh, floor. No. And Harvey, <laughs> Harvey's the most placid of cats like, and he kind of wanders in and kind of wants a lot of... When the hexes are out on the floor, he's like this. <laughs> it's just goes. She takes pictures of him throwing them all over I the place. I found a quilt my parents started to make when they first got married in the loft, but it's only the top. It's EPP. It's oh. so really, really old school retro fabric. So I keep meaning to get one yeah. and finish it. But it's the trouble is, Dulcie's now an accomplished sewer. She was a good sewer when we first yeah. met at college, but so she's now going. Oh, don't pick that bit, or don't like that one fabric in there. So she's unpicking little bits like that. And one. Yeah. <coughs> she hadn't got enough fabric too, so she was like, we put, put a shout out on Facebook going, does anybody know this fabric? Because we need to... Anyway, let's get on. Starting with the cushion. Start... I've said all that, cat. don't worry. Uh, so here's the cushion. Here's the cushion we're going to be doing. There it is on Jenny's... Uh, is that your sofa? Yeah. On Jenny's sofa. So we've got it. That's the mint version that you're seeing there. I've got the real one here, so I'll just show it in real life. There you go. That's it in real life. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous fabrics again. So let me just pop that over there. So we've got it in the mint. So in this bundle, you get the instructions. You get the papers. You get half a metre of your grey. And you get four lovely, beautiful uh, mint fat quarters. £34.99. Beautiful. So you get half a metre. Oh, uh, oh. Okay. Half a metre, four fat quarters, papers, and your instructions. £34.99. Okay. We're not going to sorry, ask any questions about the price because I think you're getting something for free there that you shouldn't be, but there you go. Then I've got, now that I love this one. They've got, that one's mint. <coughs> oh, <it's great. coughs> I've had a gluten free. Oat and um, what's it be? I don't try not to eat at all, and it's all. <clears throat> I'll be all right in a minute. I love this color. We've only called it green, but look, 
there's, right, I've got 15 of these. So you've got the chartreuse, half a metre. Then you get that gorgeous gingham. It's lovely, isn't it? The acorns. You get the... Are they meant to be hydrangeas, do we think? And the writing. Black oak, silver maple. maple, Black tupelo, willow, chestnut, sugar maple, red oak. Is it a brand... These brand new fabrics. I've not seen these before. Anyway, so you get all of that for £34.99. pence. <coughs> Fabulous. What shape are these, actually? I've got these open somewhere. Uh, they're a crown. Pardon? A crown. Crown? Yeah. Oh, they see they here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're kind of... No, look, they're very oddly shaped. The crown. Where's the crown? Where does the head go? There. The flat bit, yeah. There, the head goes there. It's more like, what does a pope wear? What's a hat the pope wears? <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. It'll come to me. Hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, okay. Then we've also got it in the grey. These are very subtle, these colour ranges, aren't they? So this one here, <clears throat> you get half a metre of the grey. You get half a metre of the grey. You get the instructions, you get the papers. Then, these are, di these are different again, aren't they? Oh, there's that one. You recognise that one. I recognise that one, the gingham. Oh, is it? Uh, I got gingham. Oh, you don't get the acorns in this one. Oh, no, you don't get the acorns in this one. You get the writing in this one instead of the acorns. $34.99. Okay, please be careful. That one's the most popular so far. Right, now, if you'd like the pattern and the papers on their own. Now, how many pa papers do I get in this one? Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. <laughs> do you want the pattern on its own? Can do that now. It, don't worry because the, the, there you go. There's your crowns there. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? When you look at it that way, it looks completely abstract. But you turn it up that way, and it suddenly becomes symmetrical. Anyway, don't worry because you do get your templates for your papers in there. Nine ninety nine. So if you've got your own colourway that you want to do this in, you'll need half a meter of plain fabric and four fat quarters. Message from Trisha. It's a mitre. It's not funny. I was thinking meter, meter, and I kept thinking that's not right. That's not right. Mitre. It's not a cravat. That goes at the neck there. Or a jabbo goes there, and it's not a tiara, Elliot. That's just the parties you go to. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm also going to introduce this straight away from the beginning. How gorgeous is this, right? I think this would look nice next to your fireplace with logs in it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Now it's they called it pink. Jenny Jackson. It's a coral. It's nowhere near pink. It's more of a coral, isn't it's it? It's nowhere near pink. Coral. Yeah. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? There it is. Oh, it looks darker in the picture. Right, so this bundle is this one here to make that one there. So what you get here is you get your instructions. You get your papers. You get a lot of papers in there. Then you get half a metre of your coral. Then you get your coral gingham, your coral flowers. I think they're verging towards terracotta. Then you get, I'm not going to give it a, fired earth, I'm going to call it. <laughs> then you get your, oh, look at loads in this. So one, two, three, four, five fat quarters, half a metre of fabric, papers and instructions, 39.99. 39.99. .99. Beautiful, been very popular on pre-order this bag. This bucket, bouquet. Right, so that's your um, pink one. Shall we have a look at the, uh, I don't know what, what went on the floor then. They called it yellow. They've called it yellow. So this one, you get the instructions. You get the papers. You get half a metre of your yellow. Mustard, gold. And then five, fat. oh, that's lovely. All modes of fabrics. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, I thought something fell on the floor, but there's nothing there. Never mind. Right. Uh, 39 99 These are Moda Cozy Up fabrics. Brand new today. Gorgeous. Right. Then I've also got the green. Oh, it's not called green. 
I might as well just go home, mightn't I? Yeah. Hang on, how long? Oh no, I've still got two hours. The show will go on. The show, um, nobody's irreplaceable. No. Anyway, you get the instructions. You get the papers. You get white or ivory with this one. Then you get one green one. One pink one, which is terracotta. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely mix of colours in that one. $39.99. Lovely. Right, would you like the pattern and the papers on their own? Yep, we can, we can, we can. Papers and uh, pattern on its own. $19.99. The pink fabric looks more orange peach. Jan, Jan, <laughs> that's because it is. That's not your telly or our cameras today. That's because somebody's called it pink and it's definitely terracotta pink peach. Third, the stock of these have gone. Now, would you like the pattern on its own? Yes, please. Half the stock of the pattern's gone already. We haven't even started it yet. Oh, okay. Now, from the last hour, I can't find it. What am I looking for? Honeycomb. Right. This sold out in the last hour, right? Haley's managed to find some more. What it is, it's your honeycomb uh, cover plus your cardboard, so your papers. Seventeen ninety nine. that one. There's only four left of the new stock, though. Okay, moving on. Right, what are you going to demonstrate for... Oh, now, well, last time Jenny was in, we did a cushion and we did a rosette tote bag. Oh, it's gone from me. It's on that side now. We have got... They're on the website at the moment. If I get time, I'll recap them later. Come on, then. Cushion first, is it? Cushion first. Cushion yeah. first. Yeah. Thought right. I'd have some fun in use all the colourways because I did the same as the last hour when Hayley sent me everything. I split it up. Oh, you, yeah, okay. Yeah, just to try and make loads okay. of Okay. Did you not miss just saying this isn't pink? Do you know what? I actually think I might have, when Called I've it. emailed her, I think I've just said pink, green. Oh, and okay. Not That's really your fault. It's probably me. Yeah, okay. Most likely. Right, so the abstract crown cushion is so easy so beginners can. Perfect. Oh, so no, because I thought it'd be more difficult with it, it being an odd shape. It looks so more confusing than it is. Yeah. It really isn't at all. So I thought I'd go through EPP again. Yeah. I've got some old templates here, I think. Oh, no, they look quite... Oh, dear, they look quite new. Probably shouldn't be using those. Oh, no. I tend to use my old ones. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've already cut some um, rectangles from the fat quarters. I right. cut it in strips like I showed on the last show. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to grab three random ones so this green one is really really nice Catherine's mentioning saying how often could would you advise using the cardboard papers um so if they're my cardboard yeah 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 um you could use them I, t I use them about eight times so it all depends on how you sew Rough with you are. them yeah, yeah yeah and if you take um if you take the shapes out after they've all been sewn around it means there's less bending of the shapes they last longer uh -huh. but yeah, I'm, I use a really, really nice quality card so yep. that they are reusable. Right, so it's the same process as, as I showed earlier, just with a different shape. Okay. So with EPP, that's the thing, it's just the same with a different shape. Um, Elliot's very concerned that you sit at home with the rotary cutter cutting all the cardboard papers out. No, I don't. No. no. He was very worried about your nails. <laughs> No, my dad is in charge. He is the paper maker and he does not use a rotary cutter. <laughs> he works very, very hard. So he much cuts for a quiet out. um so much so much for a quiet retirement. No. He yeah, he uses a machine. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he yeah, he does it's he manual, does it all. It's a it takes machine, yep. Yeah. <gasps> he puts a lot of hours oh, in. God bless love him. Your I know, they're so good. There we go. So I'm just drawing quarter of an inch. Mm-hmm round the shape and then I'm just to be quicker I'm just going to pile these on top of each other and like cut them so. out yeah and just cut them out with scissors okay 
I tend to use scissors when I'm cutting out because once I... So you, you cut rotary cutters for your strips, but then you cut the actual shapes out with scissors. Yeah, usually because then I've moved on to the sofa, so I'm sitting down. Oh, okay. So. Oh, you can't use rotary cutter while you're sitting on the sofa, no. can you? So is your flat covered with lots and lots of little triangles of fabric? Honestly, yes. <laughs> Bolts of fabric, scraps of fabric, paper pieces everywhere, thread. Oh. And Lego. <laughs> and what? And Lego. And Lego. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Right. So I'm going to show you how to, if, if you see, if I bend this one here, when you sew three shapes together, it oh, actually makes the hexagon. Yes. So that's how the whole quilt is made, other than the edge pieces, right, which are okay. in the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, you can see how you do those. Yeah. So I'm just going to baste three okay, shapes then. nice and quick, same as last time. Start with one edge. It doesn't matter which edge you do uh -huh. first. Just go all the way around, folding it over. I tend to go in the same direction whenever I'm basting shapes. It doesn't matter if you're not going to end up with dog ears, yep. but if you are going to end up with dog ears, so this shape doesn't produce them. Okay. But if you are, if you baste all in the same way, then if those shapes are going together, then they will... Um, the seams will all fit okay. nicely. So we're just going to base these three. Could have done it before the show, but it's Yeah, neat. it's all right. It's nice to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, now don't forget we've got nice two projects to Sunday get through morning. as well. I know. Unlike me in the last hour. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll end up on the machine today but I, uh, for this show, but I set it up just in case. Yeah. So I'm just going, as you can oh. see, when you're basting with uh, glue as well, yeah. it's really quick. Yeah. Message and pictures from Laurie. Two of Jenny's bags. Love making it from Laurie. Oh, she put a ah. full name. Mrs. Laurie Goldsmith. Right. So kiss, hug, kiss, hug. That is a similar bucket, yeah. but with non-EPP. Oh, yeah. It's slightly smaller than this one. Yeah. But, yeah, it's non-EPP. It's, so it's just non -EPP. straightforward bag, that one, without EPP. You just yeah, it. yeah. It's like a fat quarter bag. Perfect Lovely. Perfect for fat quarters. It is so nice. Does she use cork on the bottom? Uh, no, look, is it cork? Is yes, it looks cork, like cork. cork. I've got cork coming up in the next hour, actually. And then she's quilted it. Very nice. You could use PU for the bottom as well, which I've got the next hour, too. Okay, I've got one of my hairs caught. Right, okay, so. There we go. I've nearly done the third. When you do a project like this, would you, do, would you stick all of your cards, all of your papers and your fabric to begin with before you start sewing? Or do you do a few and then sew and then I a few? usually do a few because I like to break it up. Yeah. And then rest my fingers if I've been doing a lot of sewing. Yeah. Um, it also depends if I've got enough paper pieces oh, of to course. not have to reuse yes, them. This yes, one, yeah. I'm pretty sure, my dad can message in, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get um, all that you need for the cushion. You okay. don't have to reuse. Brilliant. Right. I haven't got a, uh, a knot in this one, that's fine. So I'm just going to do a quick knot. I'll sew these three together and then I just wanted to show you how you sew the rows together that you're going to make. Right, okay, brilliant. So you put a knot in your thread? Yeah, just at the bottom. So it doesn't matter which, um, which go where. It so as long as you have three different ones? Yeah, I've put a little colouring image thing in the pattern. Uh -huh. I usually do so then people can play before they of course, commit yeah. to cutting the fabric. There we go. So I'm just going to grab these two. Sew from the outside so I don't have to break my thread. thread. Loving the show, Jenny and John. Jenny, what needle do you use? For oh, yeah, good. Shout out. Sorry, I'm getting very comfortable on Jenny's <laughs> cushion here. What, this, this, one, the, this one here has got, is this, from, is this your pillow in here? Yeah. It's lovely and spongy, <laughs> this one. So this will be going at the end of the show. Which needles do you use? So I use Milliner's size 11. So they're really thin. Yeah. But they're just perfect for EPP. I love them. Milliner never size found Is one. that also sharp? It's it? really sharp. No, I think the basic. Can it be called a sharp? It's definitely mi called it's a milliner's, milliner's needle. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I don't know size if we've got 11, those. Size eleven, and they are just perfect. Brilliant. Cats just looking to see if we sell them on the website. Milliner's straw. That's what I meant. Not sharp. Short straw. So it's the same. How? And what size are they, cat? Five to ten. What size do you eleven. use? Eleven. Oh, eleven. Yeah, I've tried all different ones, but I've never found one perfect. I do have them. On so, my are the website. needles 
the same, they get higher the number, the thinner they are. I'm though, not actually sure so. how it works, but I just tried so many different ones. And when I found this one, I've never used a different needle. Okay, <laughs> 11, size 11 then. There we go. So you're just going to do exactly the same as I showed on the last show. Just going to do a whip stitch, okay. making sure you don't go through the paper. Ellis, just... can you move to your left a tiny bit, please? There you go. There, there we go. Perfect. So you're just going through a few fibres from the fabric. In the new studios, we're going to have cameras that move sideways as well, so we don't have to keep asking our guests doing that. There we go. Yeah, they've got them in Jewelry Maker, Elliot, in their new studio. <coughs> There we go. So we're just going along. I'm going to start doing some larger stitches than I would just uh -huh. so that we get to show more because it is, it is a slower process, yeah. obviously, than machine sewing, but it's also so relaxing. Of course. And you can do it, like you say, when you're sitting on your sofa <coughs> in front of your telly or like Dulcie does when she's yeah. in a hotel, when she's on location. I want to get things. Dylan doing this because he's just done his first... Um, obviously he's just started secondary school and he's done textiles as his first term of technology. Oh, brilliant. He's done so well. I'll post, take a photo when I get home. He yeah. needs to remind me. If you're watching Dylan, remind me. Yeah. Um, he he's Dylan. made a pencil case. Oh, wow. And he's sewn the zip in and everything. No. And he is so good. He's Where did really he get that good. from? I don't know. His nan, obviously. Yeah. His nan and his auntie. Exactly, right? <laughs> oh. But he's done so well. He's done it um, Roadrunner, the uh, yeah, character. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was so proud of him when oh, he brought I it bet. home. It was, oh, I bet. It's just beautiful. There we go. So you get to the end yep. and, and then open out. You don't need to um, to knot off because yep. we're just going to add this one here. Oh. Okay. Uh, Cat's overwhelmed that those funny shapes make a hexy. <laughs> Carol says good morning. Carol, it's 25 past 11. <laughs> <coughs> Hardly not morning anymore. It feels like the evening to me. I know. So what time did your alarm go off this uh, morning? My alarm went off, uh, my first alarm went off at quarter past three. Oh. I know. So because you drive in, drive up from... Yeah. I was out the door at just, just before four. Oh. But it was just so foggy. Yeah. I was really worried about missing the turnings because oh. even though... Um, Satnav would tell me, yeah. I was like, where's the turning? Where is the I can't yeah. see it. Yeah, I get like that. So when I drive home from here, I go through uh, kind of towns. And then when I'm going down the A46, my turning for my village is the tiniest turning ever. And if it's, there's no street light, so if it's pitch dark or foggy, you cannot see. And even though the sat nav saying, turn right now, turn right now, you're thinking, I can't Where? see a right turning. Yeah, so the motorway turnings weren't too bad, but it was the one coming off the last motorway to here because yeah. I've only driven there a few times so far. Yeah. So I wouldn't really, I, d I had no idea. Oh. <laughs> because it was dark as well. Yeah. Darker and foggy. <laughs> Uh, morning, Jenny. This could be my next project, doing the Baker Boy cap now. Oh, are you on Salata? That was, um, the Baker Boy was Adam yes. from Sewing Bee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you haven't done oh, it before. Oh, could you EPP the pieces for a Baker Boy hat? Yeah, of course you could. Of course you could. Can EPP anything? Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, for the summer? Yeah. Can you EPP with light, lightweight denim? Or gel denim? I mean, it's tough on your fingers. I've EPP'd with um, African wax print. Right. And <laughs> my fingers hurt after oh, that. Oh, okay. okay. But it looked beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you can EPP anything. Um, like I said, you might need a slightly, <laughs> slightly tougher needle for that. If, if you've got the, um, if you've got the Facebook, um, what those called, subtitles up, <laughs> it's not getting Jenny's words exactly. And it just said, I've peed <laughs> in plenty of places with plenty of fabrics. So I do apologise. <sighs> Where are my scissors? Oh, you lost scissors. There we go. So I've just knotted off at the end when I came to here. Yeah. And the next step would be to fold this over. So you do end up folding that card. Yeah. But, but don't you don't it need hard. to. Yeah, you don't need to crease it. Yeah. Because I'm just wondering if I'm going to have to knot another. I am. Sorry. He picks up your muttering on, on the subtitles. Does it? Yeah. Well, I'm mumbling. <laughs> Grey and there Mint are level pegging in the lead at the moment. There we go. So next, you want to just start in the middle I have, oh, and yes, go out. Yeah. So as you can see, I haven't fully bent 
this card, card yeah. at all. And what you'll do here is just go all the way to the end. I won't go all the way to the end, uh -huh. but when you open that out, you will have your um, your hexagon. Yeah. So the next stage, there you go, you can see the gist of it, Thanks is you'll look. be sewing, oh, yeah. you make all of them, all of these. Yeah. Then you sew them into rows of four, and then you have some edge pieces that you sew on after it. Are all the edge pieces in, in... Oh, it's the same shape, but oh, okay. it's just not sewn as a hexagon, so you would have two coming oh, here. It's oh, just okay. so before okay, you try. I can show it, it you on the the uh, full cushion front my mother made. This one? No. The No, she made a sample one. Hang on, did she say that as well? I can't remember. I've been so busy. Oh. <laughs> She's such a good one. Right, so to sew your strips together is exactly the same process right. of... So you would note that you want that one going to there. Yeah. And you just flip it over, match it. Clip to pin and clip in place just so it makes it easier. And you're just going to start again. Right. As simple as I've knotted my cotton. Am I in the right place? I am. Yeah, Elliot would have told us by now if you were. <laughs> Remember the there glue pens, the glue sticks, the glue. No, the glue pens and the refill sticks were in the. Uh, not the last hour, the hour before. <coughs> Jenny's last hour. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not in pre-order. They're in show deals, aren't they? Show deals. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to sew to the end of this little row, so then I can open it out and show you how you will do the next before I show you the next part. Okay. Have you noticed I've cleaned your tables? There's no glitter. Yeah. There. Thank you very much. You're I appreciate it. The first thing I did was go and wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be finding that glitter for days. You yeah. know that. Yeah. 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 Well, Elliot, well, <laughs> Elliot says it's still on him from the other day, but I think he daubs himself in it before the show. Yeah. Or wherever he went last night. Oh, of course he was out last yeah, night, wasn't he? Exactly. So he was out pool, playing pool and table, top golf and batting cages. And he <laughs> kept his mask on the whole time. Right? And Good all his friends that. were saying, you don't need to wait. He said, I do. I'm working with John Scott tomorrow. And he told me I've got to. <laughs> Right, so I'm nearly at the end of this one. I'm doing some rather large stitches right now. Uh -huh. So just to get across quicker. Okay. Oh, be careful if you've got anything in your basket, especially the grey and the green one. <coughs> when we say green, do we mean the chartreuse one? <coughs> Sorry, I'm very coffee after my biscuit. The mint green, not the chartreuse green. There we go. So I've opened that one out. Uh -huh. And the next stage would just be to go along there. You would sew, open out. And then once you've sewn to that end, you can actually take that piece out. Okay. Because that will be totally covered, which means you won't have to bend that next time. Mm -hmm. And then you'll go along and keep going. And whenever you know, so when I've sewn that line, this one can come out. So uh, as long as you're completely sewn all the way around yes. the outside, it's safe to put, take the yes. cardboard out. But don't, don't take it out. Don't take else. them out before, because like on here, you're going to add some more and yeah. you're going to add some more at the top. There we go. You're going to add some more at the top. Let me just cut that bit off before I end up losing it. Uh, now, Kat's saying, could you recreate secondary patterns by the placement of your fabrics? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And if, if you don't get the kit and you get the pattern on its own, you don't have to stick to four fat quarters. You no. could just use loads of scraps and add more oh, fabrics. That'd be lovely, yeah. wouldn't it? Like you a could rainbow just, one. Yeah, you could just add loads and loads of scraps. Yeah. Right, so this right. is what the cushion top will look like. Oh Pacing. my word, did yeah. your mum make that one? Then? Yeah, she definitely made this one. Oh. I think she made that cushion front because what she'll do is she'll do the EPP and then she'll give it back to me. So I'll finish it, I'll quilt it, I'll make the actual thing. Oh. Just for the, these projects. She, I've lost track how many of this she's made. She's oh. made, uh, for herself, she makes them for gifts for family and okay, stuff. Okay, this one that you've got there that you, you've just shown has just shot into the lead, single figures now. <laughs> it is really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Right, so um, once you've done this, it's up to you whether you baste it uh -huh. first, 
quilt it just onto a piece of while webbing. it's in that shape while it's in that shape it's whatever you prefer now right. whether or not you baste it quilt it and then trim it or you trim it off first right so with epp it depends what mood i'm in what i do it depends okay, how, so it how likely i think the stitches are to come undone on the epp it depends right. how much you're chopping into it yeah but it is just 16 inch square you're going to cut from here okay so how big's that ruler have we got that ruler in stock oh i love this ruler oh, it's 20 by 20 that one so you can just I would suggest when you're doing stuff like this, a square ruler makes so much sense because yeah. then you can actually see and try and just equal it out as much as possible. And then it is just a case of trimming off that excess. Oh, always seem to miss a bit. Don't worry if if your seam allowance. Uh -huh. See here, there's bits. Of, it might fold out while you're um, so, while you're quilting it, but you just trim it off again yeah, afterwards. Exactly, yeah. so this is the beauty of these big old rulers. <laughs> and then I don't. Ruler have to graphics do, coming in. Cats found it. Forty nine ninety nine. Don't have to do any measurements. Now I need to warn you as well. Uh, we've had a. a an email from Barry the book buyer, Barry the bald book buyer, <laughs> and uh, all prices of Creative Grids will be going up when we next order them. So when we the stock we've got, while well, we've got the stock, obviously will stay at this price, but we don't know how much they're going up, but there will be. Like everything, it's not Creative Grids fault. I don't want you to be thinking, mm, Creative Grids, it's the way of the world, the way of the world, it they is. will be going up in price. So if you want one of these, at that price, and I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. I'm just telling you the fact because I don't want you to come in in March or something. Oh, I'll get one of those big 20 and a half by 20 and a half inch rulers, and then it'd be 10 pounds more, whatever it's going to be. But yeah, everything's going up. You can still Ooh. cut a four inch square from a 20 Everything. and a half by 20 and a half because you've got every increment you need on there. But yeah, it's a big one. You need the space in your workroom for that one. Right. There we go. So the next stage would be just to baste it if you've cut it uh -huh. and quilt it in whatever pattern you want. You can have great fun quilting these. Uh -huh. yeah, so I just wanted to show you what it was like with that. Just get a scrap of Brilliant. wadding. These projects are all perfect for that. You know when you always have and a bit left quilt? over? Yeah, yeah. How did you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, how did I quilt that one? You've gone from I have oh, gone, oh, diagonal I've gone line. through here. Yeah, so I've followed a line. I've chosen a line this way. And I followed that, yeah. and then I've chosen the similar line and followed that. So it's quite wide. The They're quite wide they apart. They are quite wide apart. You can add uh, as much Kat, as little as you want. Cat says, "Do I have to? Does she have to quilt it? Does she have to quilt it? Do, no, not does she have to quilt it? If she's making this and she doesn't want to quilt it, she just wants to leave it like no, that. No, you don't have to. But just put it on some wadding. Yeah. Do baste it onto wadding. You might want to stay stitch then if yeah. you're not going to add the quilting the The only thing the about edge. not quilting it is it's going to be too far, because how wide is yeah, this Yeah, that's the thing. It, it won't really be washable then. No, because your, your inside wadding yeah. will come away if you don't quilt it. This would look really nice hand quilted. I was about to say, you can hand With tie, some beautiful you? Yeah. little stitches yeah. and stuff. That could look gorgeous. No, Kat, you do not put a middle button in the middle. And if you're, if you're going to hand quilt here, yeah. I would pick a colour from the prints. Oh. And use that if you're going to hand quilt. Yeah. Because you do less stitches as such. It looks like yeah. less stitches when you hand quilt. So I think you could pick a really nice colour and echo it. What do you use to hand quilt? What kind of, what weight of cotton? I don't tend to have time to hand quilt. No. What weight would you use? But I tend to use, I like using Aurifil uh, floss, but taking strands off. Yes. Using half of half the, it, half yeah. the strands, yeah. like three no, strands it's the floss. of it. The floss. It's the one next one down from 12. It's called floss. Yeah. Uh, um, or the one. So it's twelve. The next thickest. Yeah. The, or the twelve. Twelve is the thickest thread. Yeah. Thread, and then they go to floss. Twelve or the floss, that, yeah. depending on what look I want yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah, We've got a box of. It wouldn't work for this because they're bright, like bright green, really bright, bright yellow, yeah. but they're lovely of the floss on the website. Um, and then what's his name? Chris oh, English Chris has English? got two in his, doesn't he? He's got two of them in his as well. Found a photo on the printer of him before. Oh yeah, because we had uh, Neil did one of his. Oh, Neil did one of his things I can earlier. see your face. Um, Karen says, I'm supposed to be doing my house, but we can stop it to watch Jenny's demos. They are brilliant. <laughs> oh, Wishing Jenny and you. Dylan, Dylan, no. a very happy Christmas as we won't see her again before the big day. Well, it's like six days away. Of course she won't. 
<coughs> yeah, we are having a very relaxed time. Secondary school has been so busy. The homework they get. Oh, is it lots? So much. Oh. We on the last on the last past week, we keep checking the app because it all gets set onto an app these yeah. days. We keep checking it every day. Nom's been set, and also they didn't set any homework last week, which was just the first time since he started. Oh. Which was I knew we would have done it all on Friday night had they, yeah. because he wouldn't want it. No, over you, the oh, holiday. That's the worst thing. Is it on a holiday and you get yeah. to the last Sunday and think, well, oh, he wouldn't do it. that because it would oh. stress him out. He likes to get it done. Oh. He doesn't even like to have it over the weekend. He'll try and finish it all by Friday, Friday evening. Night. Unless it's art, yeah, yeah, or textile, something he's going to enjoy. Yeah, doing. some some creative homework. He wouldn't really mind poster making, anything like that. Yeah. But anything like math, science, English, that's done. Okay, let's just recap the abstract crown because we've now got to move on to the big hexy bucket. So I've got the mint one here. First of all, you get the pattern, you get the papers, you get half a meter of grey, and you get one, two, four fat quarters, four fat quarters, thirty-four pounds and ninety-seven pence, and that'll make this one. Oh, okay, it's the only way to get your pattern pieces now because the pattern pieces have sold out. Then I've got the one that Jenny was just showing you there that her mum made. So you get the patterns, the papers, you get the uh, half a metre of grey and your four fat quarters. This one's the most popular. Oh, honestly, we're going to have to draw a square on this desk, aren't we? Because it's just driving me mad. Okay. <laughs> right, and then chachers, which is my favourite. So you get the pattern, the papers, half a metre chachers, and then you get the four uh, fat quarters there for £34.99. Right, the pattern and the papers on its own have sold out. What about the pattern on its own? Okay, the pattern on its own is still available. But over half the stock has gone. Over half the stock has gone. Oh, sorry, that's that one there. <laughs> that was my bad. 9.99. Right, now we're going to move on to the big hexy bucket. Shall we do a recap of the bundles first? Yeah. So the one that this one here is made out of is this one, which they've called pink, they, i.e. Jenny. So you get half a metre of your fabric. You get and you get your one, two, three, four, five fat quarters and your papers for thirty nine ninety nine. Single figures on that one now, and that makes you this. Nice, righty ho. That's that one. Then I've got the yellow one. Pink is the most popular at the moment, even though it's not pink. Okay, oh, this is only one behind the pink anyway. So you get half a metre of fabric, the pattern, the papers, you get your five fat quarters, beautiful. I love that gingham. I hope we, well, we haven't got this by the half metre today, have we? I want to get some of that for a shirt. That would be lovely. And then you get your five fat quarters, 39.99. Lovely. And then uh, we've got it in the mint. Mix, sorry, not mint, mixed. They do love changing their names, don't they? So you get the pattern, the papers, you get ivory in this one as your fat plain fabric and your five fat quarters there and you're mixed. The, these, the, the ginghams. Oh no, I haven't got any of the ginghams by the half metre. There you go. Beautiful, right, that's 39.99. Do we have the pattern and the papers on its own? Yep, we do. Pattern and papers on their own. 19.99 half the stock has gone and the pattern on its own there's only five of those left though <coughs> excuse me i do apologize 20 minutes left let's get on let's get on let's get on so what's different about this one then oh what well, is you, so, you you're to. <laughs> i've done a full front of the um the yellow colorway right because i like using them all Mm -hmm. And this one is made from really big hexes. Oh, okay. And then half hexes and um, like part of the hexy, should right. we say. I d decided to give you half shapes yeah. instead of cutting 
uh, squaring it off like we did on the abstract crown cushion. Because uh -huh. For that one, the shapes are really tiny, like quite small, so uh -huh. you're not going to lose much fabric. But for the hexagons, because they're so big, I thought it's best to provide you with the half shape so you don't waste fabric. At okay. All. Um, so this is what it looks like before. This is the EPP panel. Right. A little bit creased. Lovely. Did your mum make that? No. Oh. I did these ones. All of them. <laughs> and to make the bottom piece, because just act like this is a piece of fabric. So yeah. when you've taken your um, paper pieces out, yeah. just to make sure when you, um, once you've taken them out, repress. Just make sure your um, seam allowance is at in, under. Uh -huh. But don't worry, do not cut off the um, dog, ears. dog ears, that's the word, because um, you could snip into the fabric for this. So all you're going to do is line up your bottom piece here, uh -huh. and you're going to sew... On the machine? On the machine, quarter of an inch. So you're just going to act like it's a normal piece of fabric. Uh -huh. And then when you open up, depending on what you use, so... This one, I've just used wadding. Right. So you're going to baste it onto a big piece of wadding and then uh, quilt, then trim. Right. Trim off the excess wadding. Then when you trim that, you can trim off the dog ears because right. you've already quilted it. Mm -hmm. It's not it's going anywhere. Sound, it's all yeah. safe. If you're going to use um, H640, yeah. that's the word I'm looking for, you're going to cut that so it is smaller than the front piece. Right. Why? So that so it doesn't make the seams too bulky. Okay, okay. So then um, you're not, but don't cut off the dog ears. Right. Don't cut off the dog ears until you are sewing the bag together. Right. So what would be obviously that would have their edges cut off. See, the dog ears are still on this piece. Yeah. So if you're using it with the H640 slightly smaller. Once you've sewn these two pieces together down the side, then just use your rotary cutter or some scissors and you can just snip off the dog ears yeah. then. But don't do it <laughs> until it's, all it's secure. sewn to secure. Yeah, just in case you do just snip. See oh, here? Yes, yeah. I'll wait until you zoom in. Oh, directing from the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's upset we haven't got that fabric in the gingham. There you go. As you can see there, those two are really right on the edge of that hexagon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So see. you just don't want to snip it off until <coughs> it's within a seam yeah. of something. Lovely. So it's just going to show you how to base these different shapes because we've got very, very used right. paper pieces here. Very used. <laughs> You've got your big hexi. Yeah. You have got... Your half hexi, right? Which is just this half, and then you have got your. So all of those come in. Is all that those a come third, in that bag. A quarter, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 There you go. So they go together like this. Okay. And then you'd get. I love playing with shapes. Could do this for hours. Right. There you go. So it just goes along like this. Perfect. And in the pattern, it shows you how. All my patterns show you how to put the pieces together. Excellent. So this one, we're going to work in rows. Right. So I was just going to show you how to base these ones that produce dog ears, because none of the ones I've done today have had dog ears. Have had dog ears. So sometimes, if you've never done EPP before, that's the kind of thing that you just might not be able to get okay, your head that's around. Brilliant. Yep. Now you got I'm a message. Move that this way. I think you'll know who this is from. Morning, Jenny and John. Love the show this morning, despite my hangover. Merry Christmas to everyone at Sewing Street. Chris English. Got a hangover, Chris. He has. It's been out. It's been out. Been out. Gonna get. Gonna get. <laughs> we just have this ongoing joke because I want to get another tattoo for Christmas with like any. If I get any Christmas money, I, was, I keep saying I'm gonna get his face tattooed. No. Big, I'm not actually. Gonna oh God! I was gonna say, why would you do that? Because <laughs> I've got so much love for him. But we, it's an ongoing joke. Yeah, now. But his beard gets bigger and bigger. Well, and that's bigger, the thing. It? I can just extend oh, it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> can add a little depending on what style, but you can't cut it off. No. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so you're going to cut the fabric in strips again? I'm going to cut the fabric in strips. Just for this oh, one. Will you, be at, will you be at Stitch Festival, do you think? Oh, we were talking about this the other day. I'm trying to tempt him to. Okay. But it's quite a long way for him to travel. Oh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. But he did say he's got some holiday from his other job, so... 
Okay. Got no excuses. Said, what's a weekend in London? I know. It's always worth it. There we go. So what you can do with this particular shape is if you've cut a strip, because the pattern is not um, directional. directional. You're such a genius, aren't you? Yeah. Always know what someone's got to think for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you can do to save is you're going to use your quarter of an inch. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you're worried about it moving, you can just put a dab of um, Soline, the glue pen, yeah. on there. It's not going to do anything. Then you just pop, okay. peel it off. So here you can rotate the shape so you will not lose any fabric in between shapes. Uh -huh. This is another reason why I tend to cut strips. Because often shapes will fit together, yeah. and you because because you don't want to lose. Oh no! You exactly. Don't want to waste if you just little... start plonking it down, cutting you. No, because so I love I mean. fussy cutting, but I find it quite painful yeah. because I just think, oh no. There we go. So I'm just going to cut one of these hexagons. I could use a rotary cutter for this. In fact, it would be quicker. But habits. Well, you do what you want. Habits. <laughs> there we go. So this uh -huh. one will produce dog ears. I'm in the right place. Right. Okay. Like. Yeah, you're in the right place. There we go. So I'm going to put my card template back on. Mm -hmm. I always tend to go for the longer line first. Not sure why. Just do. And we're going to fold that one. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, it went really, really quiet then. No, 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 it's because I'm listening to Kat uh, uh, telling Mary to story. So I was listening to them, not you, sorry. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. My bad. Adore you too. <laughs> Normally, you know, I'm hanging off every word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. So you right. can see here that you've got these dog ears here. Right. Don't worry about them. Don't cut them off. You've only used a quarter of an inch seam, so you shouldn't get bigger dog ears than that. Uh -huh. You'll find if you do, see, that's the thing about when you were saying that you used extra allowance. These would end up really Oh, they big. were all over the place. Yeah. And, and there was just too much fabric to, to go behind the card. You yeah. Know what I mean? Okay, so, so this is from the mixed, um, the mixed pack. Uh-huh. So always cut with your... Um, your bias either by you or away from you, but cut this way on a fat quarter instead of this way. You just tend to, because it's a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Than yeah. that, so you tend to get more uh, strips out of it. So this one is exactly the same. It's a little, it's a much smaller shape. Right. There's an edge piece, but you want quarter of an inch, so it's always handy just to place your, place your piece on there, and then you can work out quarter of an inch. There we go. This is cat where cat goes wrong. She doesn't cut strips. She just puts the hexy down and cuts it wherever. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you, I mean, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, you, you do waste just fabric. waste so much fabric. It's like on some um, foundation paper piecing patterns, they just say, take any piece of fabric and stitch over and cut it off afterwards. You're like, yeah. you end up with great big gouges out of piece of yeah. fabric. Then you want to know that it's just going to be enough just to cover it. <clears throat> Should we look at the sewing? So again, with this shape, you can rotate it. Again? Oh, I have to but You can, you can Yeah, you can, because it's not directional. Right. And to be fair, with a lot of directional prints, it doesn't matter only when it's patchwork. It doesn't need to be the right way but up. With something that like that, it wouldn't, like the writing, for example, yeah. that's directional. But it doesn't look odd no, 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 it no, being no, no, all no, upside no. down or on the side. There we go. So I've just... Cut this one out quick. It was like on, now was it British Sewing Bee this year? Um, a girl, one of the girls had made, not one of the finalists, it was before the final, she'd made a really lovely scuba evening gown, mm -hmm. but the back panel with a big floral print and the back panel she'd cut upside down. <laughs> so nobody mentioned it on the show. So all the flowers were going the right way and then she turned around to walk off the catwalk and the one, the back panel Oh was... no, see with that kind oh, of I thing. Oh, I put yeah. it in my magazine, yeah. There we go. So you're gonna, again, just, Make sure you check yeah. out on your baskets, please, Same on again. the big hexi storage bucket. These fabrics are gorgeous. They're kind mm. of, um, 
where you've got florals and acorns. I, I think my favourite print is the one that you mix, the florals and acorns, the one I'm using right now. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, I, I, like I really the like the acorns love, on there, right? Yeah. You like the gingham. Well, that's okay. So when I got it as well, I was thinking, how can I use this gingham? And I just thought it's perfect for the bottom of the bucket. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just perfect oh, so it's for not it. anywhere else. It's only no, at the bottom. No, so I haven't used that. You use, you need a fat quarter for the bottom. Yes. I do have a little bit left over, so oh, I could on, have incorporated uh, incorporate it a bit, but I did the handles in the gingham as well. Yeah. So I decided to pick one print and not use that for the hexes. Oh, look at that. Loose bit of thread. wonder what happened then. That's a standard me, that is. Just it's the it's, Oh, no, it's not the only one. <laughs> They're gorgeous fabrics for EPP or for, like, for the big... I, I love it when you use the big hexes because you really get to see the fabric itself yeah. as well, don't you? Yeah, so I... Oh, these hexagons are brilliant for that. Yeah. Because again, if you are buying your own, uh, just the pattern, you might find that you've got some big old prints that you want to showcase. Yeah. And with EPP, it's often quite hard to showcase larger prints. Yes. So, but with these big hexes. Yep. Well, yeah, like if you've got some Cave or some William Morris, then you're going to see the big print, aren't you? Yep. So, or, yes, some um, Crystal Manning, but I don't think there's any left here, so. Hmm. So, again, you're just going to do. The same for the hexagon. Question from Stephanie. How do you take the card out once it's sewn? We'll show you again in a minute for you, Stephanie. Yep. We did it in the last hour, but we'll show you again in a sec. Oh, crack look at the time. Oh, God. What time do we finish the You've demo? We've got another about three or four minutes. Oh, that's fine. I really am taking my time. Yeah, we're into bag today. making now, really, but never mind. Lisa Lamb won't mind. Yeah, I decided today, I just wanted to do, for this show, more EPP, because yeah. last show I was showing a lot of um, the construction of the, yeah. Um, yeah. what's it? Oh, no, it's absolutely And besides, fine. No, it's EPP only if you've got a yarn lane, if we've got a yarn lane show at 12 o'clock, you have to, we, we would be finished by now. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get changed and just get back in that car. Oh. Don't know if you're like me, probably not. I hate driving in jeans. Long distances. Oh, Elliot doesn't oh, like it either, does he? I hate driving in jeans, so I'll, I'll drive in leggings. Oh, yeah, Elliot wears his leggings as well. Does he? Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely and, beautiful. Or shorts, he says, on a, on a warmer <laughs> day. Yeah, he would like an, it would look like a sausage bursting out of his skin. <laughs> hey, Elliot said that, not me. It wasn't me saying that, that was Elliot. So we're just going around again. As you can see on this white fabric, you really do not need much glue. Yeah. At all. Don't cake it because it doesn't need it. Well, it's going to have bangers and mash for his lunch today or his dinner tonight. Is he? I think I'm going to be too tired. <laughs> you going to your mum's for, for yours, um, Kat? Okay. Oh, gosh, you got a carol service in her mum's church tonight. I oh, see. I thought ahead yesterday. I knew I'd be tired. Yeah. So I pre-cooked for my other half last night. Oh, yeah. you are good. Yesterday afternoon. Will it go, well, how will you warm it up when you get home then? Or is it cold? Uh, this one you can just pop in the microwave or you can just warm it up on the stove. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Oh, well, you always Elliot cook, wants to know what always it is. Always cooking batches. This one's called Ebe. It's a fish. It's a Gambian fish dish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. Well, I can't eat it. this one because it's got mussels in and I'm allergic to mussels. Oh, okay. So you've made it all for him? Yeah, I've made like can't three even portions. Yeah, I can't eat Ooh, this you're one. You're a good girlfriend. You are. Aren't I? Um. This is what I keep telling him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come on, come on, come on. There come we on. go. So this is how these ones fit together perfectly. Lovely. The next row will be hexagon. Obviously, you so when going. you're stitching it then, when you're stitching it, where do you push your dog ears to? You push so them. you don't need to push these ones because you're going to place those two together. Yeah. And the dog ears, let me just line it up nicely. The dog ears are facing away. They're oh, not, okay. They're fine. not going to be in the way. So you no. just want to start at the point, go all the way. Right. And then next time, this one doesn't even have a dog ear, but again, it's facing away because of the, the way I basted it. Yeah. And you're just going to place all those together. And you're was it Steph that just asked how, have you got, have you got one that you can I take? I can just do this oh, one okay, that do I've that just one. cut in. Right, well, you, remember, oh, la, la, la. remember Steph, you don't take the card out until it's sewn all the way around. With other cards all the way around. So this would be a, technically an edge piece, so it wouldn't be taken out until you've pressed it at the end. Yeah. But um, 
it's as simple as we said before it doesn't matter how long it's been on it you can leave it months and months and months it will still come off nicely yeah you might want to press it with an iron quickly before you take it off if it's been in there ages but yeah. it, i find ones from demos that i've done ages ago and i'm like oh need that card and i just <laughs> take it off there we go and if you haven't got nails and you struggle you can get your needle shovel naughty grab one of my needles you can just run your needle under there mm -hmm. and it will help lift it lovely i'll just take that out and as you can see it's not done anything to the card here no. even if i'd sewn around it you can see a little bit of residue on the card yeah. from the um from the glue but that is that will still be usable so yeah. it's got it on the other and side. also so when you're stitching you don't go through the card you just nope. go through the fabric not at all you just tiny bit of fabric you pick up Brilliant. and whip stitch along Okay, when are you back in next? Do you know yet? Uh, I think it's the 19th of January. Oh, crikey, that's not long. No, that's no. not long. Right, uh, my next door neighbour would make catfish for her husband's family. I tried it but didn't like all the bones. Catfish? This one doesn't have bones in it. No? No. I love the cat, the TV programme. Anyway, it's very really <laughs> lovely to see you. Have a fantastic you Christmas. You too. Um, let's just do a very, very quick recap of the big Hexi storage bucket. So I've got the mixed one first, which is where you get the pattern. You get the papers, oops, you get half a meter of ivory and you get your five fat quarters, 39.99. Beautiful. Then I've got the yellow one. I like this, it's very joyful, isn't it, this one? So you get the pattern, the hex, uh, the papers, half a meter of your, your yellow and then your four, five fat quarters. Five, not four. There's one of the pictures is wrong. One of the pictures only got four, and you do get five fat quarters there. And then last but not least, we've got the pink. Pink. Radio. So this one here, you get your <coughs> single figures for all of these different kits now. Oh, question. How do you sew them and not ruin the cards? You can talk about that very quickly. Oh, okay. So you don't sew through the card. You just pick up a tiny bit of the threads from the fabric. So the card will, st will not have any neat, uh, thread going through it. So and it's then, like when you're doing a hem on a pet on a skirt and then you're literally just catching threads. Yeah, just tiny bits of the thread. You yeah. can as you put your needle through, you can feel your paper piece, your card. You would know your needle would hit the card that yeah. you've gone too far. You just need to pick up a tiny bit and then um, like I said, once all sides of a shape have been sewn round, remove that card so you don't end up bending and manipulating it too much. Brilliant. Right, here's the pink one. Single figures on all of these now. There you go, all of that, £39.99. Now, have I can't remember, have I got the pattern on its own of this or not? Okay, pattern on its own. Yeah, two, I've got two, two left. £9.99. £9.99. Right, very, very quickly, I've just got to show you these. Jenny was in about a month ago. Well, it can't have been a month ago, was it? It was. A month ago, she did this cushion, the Chevron EPP cushion, which is this one here. What date was it, please? 18th of November. Oh, yeah, it was a month, exactly a month ago. There it is on Jenny's sofa. So to make that, you get the instructions, you get the pieces, the papers, you get half a metre of your sage, and then you get these gorgeous fat quarters to do that. Four fat quarters. Now, you can make two cushion cut fronts out of that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Two of the fronts you can make. Yeah, two of the fronts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of the fronts you can make, yeah. Um, but basically, what you have to do is you have to, like, see on that one, you've got four yellow ones and only two of the pale ones. You have to swap the... Swap the, the Colour it, and then you need to buy more, obviously, for your backing. But it's front, you can make two out of that bundle. £34.99. Um, now, that's all I've got. Have I got that on its own? Of Instructions on their own, there. Nine of those left. Sorry, I'm just looking on the floor because I've got Rosette tote bag on the floor as well. <laughs> I can't remember. I've got it all filed on the floor. There's the pattern for the EPP chevron cushion, nine ninety nine, and then the tote bag. I don't know what I've got left for the tote bag. Pattern with pieces. That's the tote bag there. It's on the mannequin behind Jenny. He's been there all day today. Pattern with the pieces, fourteen forty nine. Completely and utterly sold out last time. We got that back in stock. And have we got the pattern on its own? 
and we have the pattern on its own. And but again, you get the templates for the for the papers in that pattern there, so you don't need to worry about that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, don't forget, look back in the previous hour, there's very little left from the first hour, but if they go down and look underneath those, you'll see what we've had on the show deals bit. Don't go anywhere though, because straight up, by the way, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, straight after the break, we're doing bag making, bits and bobs and bundles and cork and PU and um, oh, some handles. Oh, she's done, um, she's done um, bundles of handles and things like that. We've got glue back in stock. See you in four. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page if you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer no matter how many times you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, I'm Lisa Lamb. I'm the quiet one from the Sewing Property Girls. I just wanted to wish you a safe, warm and wonderful Christmas with your loved ones. I hope Santa brings you loads and loads of crafty goodies and I look forward to being back on the show in 2022. Take care everyone, love you loads, bye! Mwah. Hello there, it's Mark Francis here and I've just popped up to wish a very Merry Christmas to all of you, our Sewing Street family. And uh, by the way, Happy Easter! Really long show this, really long. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In the new year, I'm going to insist on longer breaks, you know, because or get a floor manager in. Because literally, by the time we, we haven't even cleared that table, we cleared this table, said goodbye to Jenny, waved goodbye to Jenny, did virtual hugs for Christmas, and then got this out, and then now it's like you've got 40 seconds. I was like, I haven't had a biscuit, I haven't had a drink or anything. Anyway, bag making uh, supplies, I'm going to call it. I don't know what. A bonanza, bag making bonanza. It says, we have no Lisa Lamb here today, I'm afraid. We're starting with what? Glue. Back in stock. This always sells out every time we, do, uh, we bring it to you. Half of today's stock has already gone. It's always 4 99 Oh, did it? Now, for some reason, somebody's priced it up, Barry, at 4 99 It's normally 5 99 apparently. 
I always thought it was 4.99, but Barry's... I think, I think we're well and truly past Ryan's parting gifts, aren't we? At 4.99, solvent, this is the solvent glue, and we can send it to you. We had an issue when we were at Sewing Quarter about sending that out, but we can send it to you. It's the one that Lisa Lamb always uses. Uh, Becky Alexander Frost uses it. Oh, she messaged in earlier, actually. Uh, oh, Becky Alexander Frost loves the hand cream. That was when we were doing the hand cream. Uh, what happened to bag feet? Been out of stock for ages from Mary. We'll put it on our list of questions for them. Barry the book. Oh, you won't be watching. Barry the book. Because he's in charge of renewable stock. Do you know what I mean? Like when you, when you, when it runs out, he's in charge of reordering it. Replen, he's called. Barry the bald book buyer Replen. Who said, I'll never come on air. He's been on twice now. We can't keep him off. Loves it, he does. Loves it. Right, next. Bundles. Oh, PU, I thought you meant class bundles. Right, no, too late. I've reached across for it now. Right, Indigo on its own has sold out. So the only way you can get the Indigo today is by buying this bundle. This bundle is half a metre of each colour, but you're saving five pounds, right? You're saving five pounds. So that one there is black. That one there is, I'd call it elephant. That one there is bright red. It's not shiny red, it's not pillar blocks red, it's matte red. Then you've got your gorgeous soft gold. Then you've got your indigo, which is sold out in real life. Then you've got your chocolate brown, rich chocolate brown. Then you've got your flesh. What was it, nude? Nude, what is the real, do we know the real name? I always called it pink, have they? Anyway, look, so you get three and a half meters of PU, 43 pounds and 93 pence, should be 48 pounds and 93 pence, here's the picture. I was gonna say, that's weird, there's two white ones in there, but obviously there's no picture there. <laughs> Oops, time to go home, I feel. I haven't even got any boiled eggs today. No, no thank you. Uh, so last night, I was rushing around doing all my stuff, sat down to watch, not, I haven't watched Strictly, but um, Catfish, right, because I've got so many on, I love it, I love that show, and it's the same every single episode, exactly the same, but I love Cammy. I love Cammy. Anyway, 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 that's by the by. So then I got, started getting everything ready for bed and everything, and I thought, I haven't done my eggs, so I put my boiled egg, I put my raw eggs on my boiled egg boiler, got them to cook, shelled them, then did all the other things I have to do before you go to bed, thinking they'd be nice and cool. I left them in cold water. Um, anyway, they were, I put them in the fridge and it was still a bit warm. So when I got them out this morning, the bag was condensation. I thought, I can't risk that. I'm sure it'd be fine, because if you think back in, when I was little, we used to make egg sandwiches. They'd be in a Tupperware box for two days before you ate them. You know what I mean? Be fine. But I just thought, mm, I'm old and dodgy now. I'm not going to do that. So I haven't brought any eggs. I've brought some smoked, smoked cheese in instead. Anyway. Here you go, look. So I haven't got any boiled eggs. I might have some eggy for my tea then. I'm not having egg and chips, Elliot. No. Beautiful, you're saving five pounds. You get seven fabrics there. Lovely. What are you saying to me, Kat? 6.27 for half a metre, it makes it. Now I've got all of the, your computer's suddenly gone very loud. Has it got very hot, your computer, Elliot? I can hear the fan going on your computer. Anyway, 43.93 is that bundle. I do have all of these except the indigo by the half metre, which I'll do now. Black. So this is, how, this, this is lovely for you. Now, the, the, the oh, excuse me, the, uh, look how white it is. The things say leather. No, this is black indigo's here. Look, there's the indigo, look. Can you see the difference? That we can't do indigo, anyway. So, I love it when my producer goes, sure that's not the indigo. No trust. It does got, got a bluey tinge to it, isn't it? It's a blacky blue. It's like quink, that, isn't it? There is no leather anywhere near that fabric. So don't worry they put leather in the graphics. 30% viscose, 40% PEO, 30% polyester. Lovely for bag making. Don't use a leather needle with it. Do not use a leather. Just a good, fresh needle. Oof, 
There's something really going wrong with the talkbacks at the moment. Okay. No, no, I could hear you, but it was like... <laughs> really? It could have been your what? No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> We've all peaked, I think, already now. We're ready to go home now. I'm off now till Thursday. Are you, Kat? Oh, Kat's in Wednesday, Thursday. I'm in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Elliot's in Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Oh, so is Kat, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Question? Good morning, John. You showed a place map pattern earlier, but I'm able to find it on the website. Are you able to show it again, please, from Rosemary in Flincher? Right, so you need to go to Crystal Manning's website. Crystal spelt K-R. Oh, no, not Chris K-R. Here it is. Where's it? Crystal Manning. Go to her website, and that's what you'll see, and look under free projects. There it is, the kimono. Oh, there's the placemats. There's the placemats. They've used theirs out of five-inch charm squares, but you can make it out of whichever you want. Brand new collection today. What does it say? Oh, paper piecing friendly, it says at the bottom. Just as well, because we've done a whole show of it. Gorgeous, right. Hope that helped, Rosemary. This one here is grey. Now buy the half metre, you're buying it off the bolt. So if you want a metre, you want two metres, you want ten metres, that's what you can have. Now, we used to use this to make a, like a fake leather, like a pleather jacket, and it works beautifully. Yeah, yeah, back in Sewing Quarter, we had the um, Great British Sewing Bee book written by CL, and CL used to come on and demonstrate, and other people as well, used to come on, and loads of people. In fact, I think Julie Vaughan made one. I think, did you, Julie, did you make one? in the PU, and it was lovely, lovely. Right, this is the matte red. What's the matter? Oh, I don't think you do, I think it's your computer, because I can hear it as well. 6 99 for half a metre. Yeah. It's so loud, I can't tell you, Elliot. Say that again. I can't hear, I can't hear you, Kat, anymore. Oh, here you go. Hello. I don't eat fish, no. Why? Have one of her favourites. Here you go. Have one of my favourites for your tea. Fish finger butty. Da daughter, ca oh dear. daughter calls it toddler tea. Now, so I'm not scratching myself. I'm just sorting this out. It's all right. It'll be all right. There we go. Better. Right. First of all, I don't eat fish fingers. Don't eat any fish, Kate. Secondly, I don't... I don't really eat bread. I have some gluten-free bread, but not often. And it's really weird because if I don't eat, because I'm just on my own, if I don't eat the whole loaf, I'll put it out for the birds. The birds hate gluten-free bread. That we've, in the field behind, there's a family of five or six magpies, plus about 100 um, jackdaws, right? And they'll, you put anything out in the garden, they swoop down and get it like that. Put gluten-free bread. One comes over, looks at it and goes, nah. No, mate, we're not eating that. And they all go off and it's there for days. I think the rats might come and eat it at night time, but that's all. Anyway, look. Gold. Light gold. Always believe in your soul, says Kat. I was thinking gold finger. Light gold finger. That's lovely, isn't it? Can you imagine something made like that? Beautiful. I, no, gold finger was a little bit before my time, Elliot. This is our work on Goldfinger. The first Bond film I did was Golden Eye. That's where you're getting confused. Right. This is lovely. This is chocolate, rich chocolate brown, this one. There you go, look. Chocolate brown. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I've never seen the Austin Power film. Okay. I don't watch many films, I have to say, to be honest. I think my, my attention span is a bit... Because I haven't seen the new James Bond film yet. And I keep, don't want to go to the cinema set, but you can buy it on Sky now, can't you? And I was thinking, oh, well, I might not sit and watch it all the way through. Right, this is what colour we call this? Pink! Oh, Kat and I are going to see House of Gucci together, right? And um, Hannah's really upset that we're going out because she says I won't go anywhere with her. I've been to the theatre with her. It was a nightmare. I'm not going again. Uh, we went to see Janice's daughter, actually, in a play. A play about Marilyn Monroe, yeah. 
Um, now, there was another film I saw an advert for, Cat, and I thought we'll have to go and see that as well. Maybe I'll ask Hannah to go and see. Hannah's, Hannah will have her boyfriend moved in after Christmas. So sorry, she won't want to go on dates, will she? She's got homework to do. She's got prep to do. She's got slides to make. Right. Karen says, nothing better than a good fish finger sandwich on granary bread with baby gem lettuce and homemade tartar sauce. I don't have any of those in my house. Oh, Elliot had exactly the same last week. I like, I like a mid, I like a mid baby gem lettuce. I do like a baby gem lettuce. That I do like. Question from Welsh Mary. Love your shirt. Can you machine embroider on the PVC? <gasps> oh, I don't know if I would. I don't think I would because when you think about embroidery, if you think about how many times the needle goes through that, you'd most probably do a lovely butterfly and then take it out of the machine, the whole butterfly would come off, I imagine. I don't, if I'm talking rubbish, please let me know, but please get in touch if you think you can embroider on PU. My, my gut instinct is no, because the needle has to go through so often, it's going to um, serrate the edges, isn't it? But I could be wrong. I could be, t I could be talking through my hat, couldn't I? Right, that's that bun, that's the PU done. Quilted PU. Now, it's really weird, right? They call this quilted PU, but it's a completely and utterly different weight to that one. This one feels like a fabric. You know what I mean? This one drapes like a fabric. Is it a bundle? Oh, yeah. So you get half a metre of white, you get half a metre of champagne, you get half a metre of pink, half a metre of silver. There you go. Twelve. That's not right. No, but hang on. If it's seven. Oh. So you're getting half a metre of white, half a metre of pink, half a metre of champagne, half a metre of silver. Five pounds off, £12.96. That seems a bit weird. Oh, flying out. Absolutely flying out. Baffa will know. Yes, she will. She will indeed, Claire, but I don't think she's watching now. John, you will not be able to tear yourself away from the TV when you watch James Bond. It's brilliant. Best one yet. Well, Karen, I can't say it's the best one yet because I didn't work on it. So, Gold Knight, World's Not Enough, Tomorrow Never Dies. They're my three that I worked on. Credit at the front of the film. Thank you very much indeed. £12.96. They what? No. Oh, the Bond film. I bet they do. So, they, they, you do normally do about 12 or 15 minutes of story. Then they, they start doing the, you know, the singing. And then, and then that's right. Okay. By the half metre. Shall I do silver first as it's the one that's unravelled? Silver first. Now, this has got a lot of stretch to it, this one. Look. That's good if you space it or your hot pants. PU quilted fabric. 4.49 for half a metre. You know what? I could get a pair of shorts out of half a metre. Is that only... Is that half? They'd be very short, mind you, wouldn't they? I have seen Rocky Horror several times. Yes, and, and on stage and on the film. Gorgeous. Yeah, Magenta wears that out outfit made us that, didn't she? Yeah. Right, then we've got champagne. Champagne for everyone. Oh, hang on. Julie says... You could embroider onto calico and then sew it onto the PU across the outline. Oh, Julie, that's a good idea. Sew it onto calico and then stitch it on afterwards. Oh, oh, Jan, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? Jan's messaged in, you definitely can and it works a treat. I always use a stabiliser and I guess it depends on the quality or gauge. So yes, yes she can. Who was it? Oh, so Rosemary. Yes she can. Yes she can do it. June says not had fish finger in decades, but now I want a fish finger. Oh, was it Welsh Mary? What did I say? Oh, Rosemary. Sorry, Welsh Mary. Welsh Mary. Um, I didn't say the costumes were the best. <laughs> nothing wet your, No, nothing beats your Poirot costume. Miss Lemon was always impeccably dressed. Do you know why that is? Miss Lemon's costume, 99% of them were original 1936 dresses because she was so petite. Most of what she wore, we had very, very little made for her at all. They were nearly all original clothes. Source for from 20th century costumes. Right, pink. This is a lovely pink, this one. 449, half a metre. 
Rows, they've called this one. Rows, they've called this one. Uh, which was my, oh, I don't know. I think GoldenEye, because it was my first one. But then you see, see, I suppose one, I loved Isabella Skoropko, who was the girl in that. And Famke Janssen was the baddie girl. She was called Xenia on a top. And then in the next one was Sophie Marceau and, uh, was it, uh, oh, what's the next one, Sophie Marceau? What was the next one, Michelle Yeoh and what was the woman from um, Superman who then was in Desperate Housewives? Terry Hatcher, Terry Hatcher. She played James Bond's wife. And then in the other one, it's not awful, I can't remember who the other girl was. Anyway. Oh, Rebecca Harrison worked on all, all the films because she worked Angels in the, in the, in, not the warehouse, in the costume um, workroom. So any film we had, like if we're on Tomb Raider, we go in and we say, oh, we need these trousers to make Angelina Jolie. She and the team would make them and everything. Um, who made a, right, Claire Christie, a, a, a lady called Claire, Claire Christie made nearly 99% of um, Angelina Jolie's stuff for um, Tomb Raider. 4.49, this is ivory. I'd call this bright white rather than ivory, to be honest. Kate says, I'd love to know what you think of House of Gucci. I loved every minute. Right, Kate, I had lots of people have said, and not that I know, but I spoke to, lots of people said it's too long. Lots of people said they were bored, but I think the people who said they were bored are expecting it to be one long fashion show, and I think it's a bit more gritty than that, isn't it? Don't tell me anything. Don't tell me, because I want to see it when I see it, but... Oh, it's fascinating, isn't it? But, but it's not, I'm not going to see about Gucci. I think her performance, I, I've only seen it from the adverts, right? I've only seen the adverts. I think this might be her performance of her lifetime, you know what I mean? She's such a clever girl, girl, listen to me. Oh, okay, apparently Kat's saying to me that the lady who she's portraying is not having anything to do with it. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. If she's a brilliant performance, I don't care about her. Right. Let's do the clasp bundles, okay? So Kat's done these without telling anybody, right? We've got four silver ones here. I'm in the right place, yeah. So we've got the curvy clutch. We've got the classic. I tell you what throws me is I've got a piece of paper here in real life that says program, you see. So I keep putting my things where it's out of the way of that, but you can't see that at home. Snowflake embroidery purse, retro mini purse, and a cl classic, no, not a classic, a classic coin purse. Right, imagine you bought these and we gave you that one for free, because that's $12.99 normally. So you're getting that one for free and you're paying $42.97 for those three. They're good quality, these. And look, the whole instructions are all in there. And what I love with these is you get that little bit of... Pa um, paper string, it's paper string that when you glue the, uh, that you just pop that in, it just makes it tight so the fabric doesn't drop out. This one here has got the chain of it. That's lovely, I've not seen that one before. Aren't they adorable? They've got patterns and everything in there. Use your glue that we showed you earlier with a, pa well, it's not a pound off, it's Barry's just put the wrong price on it. Lady Gaga is so talented, says Karen. Love Jonathan Price in the film, in the Bond with Terry Hatcher. Oh yeah, but I was a bit disappointed with his suit. His suits didn't fit very well, did they? If you look carefully. Anyway, 4297, you're getting that one for free. I loved filming that. We had Gertz Otto in that as well, didn't we? The big blonde baddie van. He was lovely as well. He was nice. Very, very popular. Never done a bundle like this before. Cat wants us to get back to talking about sewing, not Bond films. Okay, gold ones next. Just now, this is slightly different. This one. So you've got now you've got a matte bronzy gold one there with hearts. Oh, you're pushing into that one there. So that's your heart clasp. There, you see the clasp there, hearts. This one here is like a shiny rose gold. Is it rose gold or gold? It's a double clasp. And then this one here, I love these squeeze pouches. You make a pouch, then you squeeze that and it opens, opens like a fish's mouth, like that. Uh, oh, have you? I've not seen any of these. I've not. Oh, Barbara McClay does these, apparently. Oh, okay. Um, 
So you get the flexi frame and the pattern. You get the double flame plus the pattern, plus you get the heart frame plus the pattern. Now, which one's £12.99, any of them? That one. So imagine you get that one for free. So 29 98 that for free. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, that one is matte. That one, not matte. What do they call it? Like sandblasted? No. No, not polished. The opposite. It's not polished, that one. That one there is your... It's matte. There's a word for it, isn't it? Brushed. Brushed. Thank you, Elliot. Brushed gold colour, that one. That's your bright, shiny one. It could almost be rose goldy, that. Head's in the way. Sorry, head's in the way. So that's why I mean that never used to happen, did it? And you need fat quarters for these. 29.98. You've got something in your bag you want to make with them. Gorgeous. 29.98. I guessed. 29.98. Beautiful. Right, half the stock of the quilted PU bundles have gone. Make sure you check out if you've got them in your basket. Right, now this one here is all on its own, this one. The Kiss Class Sewing Box. Has this been done? Oh. $14.99. Watch the show. This 6th of November just gone. 6th of November, Sally Ann Harrison did this. That's literally six weeks ago. There are only 17 left, and more than 10 times that sold when Sally Ann Harrison de demoed it. 14.99. Kiss Class Sewing Box. Go and have a look at how she did it. Looks lovely, doesn't it? I suppose what, um, can you? Let me have a look. Yeah, it just looks like a normal clasp inside. But there must be a reason. Yeah. The pattern's all in there and everything. It's pretty, isn't it? Keep going through, they're flying out. Flying. Oh. 14.99. Right, now these are always hugely popular when you bring these in. These are Sally Tomato. Sally Tomato, these are. Look her up. Famous bag designer. Yep, Sally Tomato. That's not a real name, but that's her work name. These are one inch, right? Gunmetal brass, a basic hardware. So you've got two swivel clips, you've got a D, couple of D-rings, you've got a buckle, and you've got, that's it, a buckle. Let's have a look on the back one. It's lovely, isn't it? $5.99. Loads of these are gone. Loads of these are gone already. Yes, it's in America. Yeah. She's American. She's very popular. And whenever we bring them in, they sell out straight away. Five ninety nine. A Welsh Mary, who asked the bro embroidery question earlier. I got all more confused, didn't I? Where is it? <laughs> Thank you. I've ordered some PU, and I'll send a picture when I've embroidered on. Thank you, Welsh Mary. And if it doesn't work, blame Jan Hill. Yeah, I've got a phone number. I'll pass it on. Jan, I'm joking. I haven't got a phone number, and I can't pass it on. GPDR rules and all that. Stuff. Keep going through for those, though. Fewer than 30 of those left now. If you thought, think, if you bought these from Sally Tomato in America, you'd have to pay duty on them, wouldn't you? Check out your basket. Check out your basket. I haven't got to the cork yet, look. I've got loads of cork to show you. No, oh, okay, we're doing the cork next. Okay, right. I just get a little bit confusing. Right, I'm going to do. The, I'm just going to take them in the order that they are on my desk. Right. So this one is. Oh, that's nice. Do you want a code? Oh no, the code will be on the bag. Oh no, no, no. There it is. There it is. There it is. Y J Y Y J C four o eight. No, four o two. Four o two. 
Look how wide it is. For, that's what I was trying to show you. 8.99. 8.99. Cork vinyl. Medium grain. I'll put it on the table for you. It's lovely. This make a lovely pin board, this one. Or a handbag, the base of a handbag. Now look, it's got fabric on the back. So the way they take is they take a veneer of the cork and they lay it onto this vinyl. See, so what it is, this is the vinyl fabric and then they get the veneer and they, I think they must do, must do it with heat or something like that. 8 99 for half a metre? Yeah, a lot. No, Elliot, you wouldn't. You would sweat like Billy if you wore a shirt out of that. 8 99 No, me neither. Cork, vinyl, medium grain. Beautiful, isn't it? You get, if you think, you get all of that for your half a metre, remember? Right, so I've done that one. Right, now I'm going to do, this is nice. I've not seen this one before. Oh, I can give you the code. QTC481. Look, it's got black and white behind this one. Okay, Cat, Cat thinks this looks like pencil shavings. I don't think that's going to romance it at all, is it? Cork vinyl, black, white, grain fabric. Buy the half metre. Maybe you're buying it off the bolt. We haven't cut it yet. We will cut it to the length that you order. Especially for you, as Jason and Kylie once said. Yeah. 8 99 I still can't believe you lot don't know who Holly Johnson is. Yeah. Next one. Oh, I won't know any of them. I didn't know. Who was singing with Craig David at, at, in the, um, on the dancing show a few weeks ago? No, I know who Craig David is because he got an MBE this week, didn't he? Or something, got something from the Queen this week, Craig David. Yeah. No, this was, he was singing. They were on two pods, obviously, because it was... Um, Social distancing. Do you want the number of this? DHL. DHL. Other couriers are available. Seven ninety nine. This one isn't that lovely. That print. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the print. He sang with a, with a man in a yellow coat, and it's their song that they've got out at the moment, and it was lovely. It might not be his newest song. I can't think of the book. Anyway, that's him. Put my hand underneath it, yeah. It's not the Christmas party, you know, Elliot. We always find Elliot. No, we didn't have a Christmas party, did we, this year? Yeah, Cat did. Cat had one. Oh, I just didn't get invited. Well, I wasn't on the Facebook, not Facebook, what's it called? WhatsApp group, was I? I don't know what that is. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. I just don't go out. I don't see anybody anymore. I'm a bit worried about going to John Lewis's tomorrow to choose my kitchen, to be honest. Yeah. What? I won't. Seven, that they shut down months and months ago. Seven ninety-nine for half a metre. Look, there you go. Have you? Oh. Oh, it's been folded up differently. We've got that in red as well. That's lovely. I can imagine Lisa Lamb using that for a project. Oh, okay. Hannah thinks. Uh, Hannah and Cat thinks. Cat thinks this one's a bit Christmassy. Yeah, she'll be doing her prep for tomorrow now. Oh, can you make placemats out of cork? Oh, have you? Elliot's got a cork heat thing that he uses for cooking. Where do you put it, Elliot? So when you take your pan off the uh, off the cooker like that, you're mixing it like baked beans like that. Then what? Do you oh, they go on tables, but you don't put your so you don't put your saucepan on it, do you? You take your saucepan to the table. Oh, Elliot, you so you do worry me. No, you still have to. No, you still have to wash the, the saucepan up. Yeah, but then you can't do a nice picture of the table, or say if you've got all these old saucepans. Yeah. 
Yeah. I've only got the silver one. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just show you one of them then. UAC 427. Yeah. Look, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at the silver behind that one. It's like the um, like how an opal grows that, isn't it? The rock. Cork vinyl, silver sparkle, eight ninety nine. Is Karen? Is not was he? Is still a great time. He texted me. No, he sent me a. Yeah, he texted me yesterday. Uh, he was on Graham Norton last. Oh no, no, not Graham Norton. He was on some show. He's singing the power of love. Might have been Jonathan Ross this week. The power of love, the force from above, turned to stone. Yeah. They did relax, don't do it, anything can do it. Oh, two tribes go to war. That was a Christmas number one, that one. Yeah. It was done with, um, they did people on, not helicopters, camels. Right, okay, now, what am I going next then? Dunkirk, got... This isn't a bundle. These are individual canvases. Oh, one of them sold out already. Which one? The mulberry trees. That one. That one? That one. Sold out. It was the only canvas one. I had that one as well. No, not... Yeah, that was embroidered. Um, tapestry one, yeah. This is beautiful, this one. Look at this! Botanical Gardens, this one's called. I've got it upside down. There's your snake heads. Look, your William Morris draws a lot of. Look how beautiful they are. Um, I wouldn't use oven gloves, make oven gloves with it, no. What's the, what, it's quite fine, this one. What's the, what's the composition, please? Oh, it's the same, 80% 80, 80 cotton, 20% polyester. It's very fine. No, no, don't mean fine in a bad way. It's not a heavy canvas, it's a nice soft canvas. You can make beautiful dungarees out of that. Yeah, that'd be lovely, Cat. Gorgeous. No, I don't. 54 inches wide, 140 centimetres, take that back. The cat's got all the information there, I just didn't believe what she was reading me. I think that's lovely. Oh, now I'm ever so sorry, the picture on the website looks awful apparently. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, okay. It looks very different, it looks like a vintage cotton on the website. Beautiful watercolours, yeah, lovely, beautiful. What are you going to make with it? Let me know. Pardon? Peacocks. No, Paul did that the other day. He put that thing going across the bottom. Right, hang on, that goes that way up there. No, I, we don't like it. We don't like it here anyway. Peacock feathers, five ninety nine for half a meter. Five ninety nine. Five nine nine. Peacock feather fabric. I used to do a radio show on a Sunday, you know, 11 till 1 on LBC. Me and Carol, yeah, me and Carol McGiffin. 5 99 Oh, what do you mean your dad's bought a game to play on New Year's Eve? Don't you go out with your boyfriend and get very drunk? Oh, poor old Hattie. Okay, so on New Year's Eve, right, these four, 
Jeremy Joe and Kat, young, vibrant people, right? Both, he's got a girlfriend called Hattie. She's got a boyfriend called Liam. They're all going round to their, Jeremy Joe's and Kat's mum and dad, Lisa and Terry, to play board games. Is somebody else going? Oh, just the six of you. Munch will turn up. Now, now, is Munch's dad called Stuart? He keeps sending me messages, right? Yeah, but they're all, no, on um, Messenger, right? On <laughs> Messenger. And you know when you send a message and it goes, content unavailable? He keeps sending me content unavailable messages. And I keep texting him back going, did you meant to send that thing to, to me, Stuart? Anyway, fruitful, black fabric. Oh no, that, his mum and dad are lovely. Munch is taller than them, that's what frightens me the most. Because Munch is only about four foot two. And he's what? And he's the skinniest now, yeah, now he's lost four stone. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Five ninety-nine. There. That one. Where's the segment? Oh, there. I thought that was a prawn. <laughs> no, only because I've got a shirt like this, haven't I? That's got fruit on it. It's got the odd prawn and a, and it's got a. Um, what are those things that swim in the sea like that by the sewers? Seahorse. Yeah, they always live by sewers, don't they? Seahorses, and prawns do, yeah. Next one, what's the matter, Cat? It's got the same fabric now, but with a natural background. I think they sent me more of this one. Yeah, they sent me a metre of this. You're buying by the half metre. Hang on, let me just show you what half metre's like then. Right, look, that's what a metre would look like, but you're buying this. Now, you can have a metre, but you'd need to pay £12 for that, not 5 99 Look, there you go. That's your half a metre there. So, blueberries. Uh, that's a... No, that's a satsuma. That's your segment, your prawn. Don't know what the pink is. Where's passion fruit? Oh, pfft. he doesn't know what pa passion fruit. You, it's got a very hard purple shell, and you cut it open. It's just full of seeds and really, really sweet. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's a grapefruit. Yeah, that's a grapefruit. That's sounds like Munch's dad's account has been hacked. No, Jan, I don't think it has. I don't think it has. But I shall ask him later. I keep forgetting to ask him. I'll text Munch later. Yeah, I've asked Munch where my Christmas card is. He didn't reply. Munch is a producer at Jewelry Maker, our sister channel, in their new studios. And he um, sent all, all his friends a Christmas card with him on the front and him inside. But I didn't get one. In fact, Emma didn't get one either until they went in and the person that he brought the card in for wasn't on shift that day. So he scribbled out that person's name and wrote to Emma and Ryan... Right, and then so here's your card. This is lovely, the mulberry bush, this one. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Mulberry trees. Now they call it grey, but it's not really, is it? It's gorgeous though, isn't it? We well, haven't got much else to show you. Okay, now moving on. Now let me see what I've got left. I've got Baffa, Baffa, Baffa. Living in loveliness. Oh, no, I've got all that there as well. Right. So, where shall I go next then? Handles. This one is faux leather. Faux leather. 8 99 Sorry, Elliot. 8 99 Faux leather, really easy, really easy to stitch on. Got the holes in it. Sometimes you have to go through them with a little awn, all. What, what? I just moved that bit of fabric because it puts me off. 8 99 No, because when it goes back there, you need them on that one there. Soft brown handle. No, soft bag handle in brown, 51 centimetres. Faux leather. They look like leather, but they're not leather. 
Oh, I love passion fruit, says Christine. I also love figs, but I couldn't buy any for Christmas lunch. Oh, why not? It's not, you've got a week yet. You've still got a week yet for, to get them. Buy them on Amazon, at uh, the Long River. But they do food on the Long River. Yeah. During lockdown, my friend Hilary, she bought, did all of her shopping for her and her mum on um, Long River. Who, Hilary? Keep moving on. Then we got it in black faux leather. $8.99. Soft bag handling black 51 centimeters. Oh, they're getting very political and controversial in the gallery now. Elliot's just nodding because he doesn't know what she's talking about. Now, there again, you've got your um, your little your holes are punched through for you. Eight ninety nine. Now, did I not when I did the, the faux leathers earlier? I forgot to do this. Oh, we're not even doing it. Oh, right. So, oh no, I've got these from Living in Loveliness. DRL one nine three. Baby lobster clasps. $3.99. There you go, there they are. They look gold in that picture though. Yours are definitely silver. Yeah, of course it is. $3.99. They're definitely silver. Yeah. Baffa, now Baffa's in on th uh, Thursday. She's bringing her panda and she's... Oh, I'm not sure. Why not? No, because it's panda day on Thursday. Yes, they would. Go and, look on the, go and look on the website for next Thursday. I bet you it's on there. Or do you know the TV guide? I might have just put my foot in it, everybody. Because <laughs> Delphine's on that day as well. Yeah, Panda Day with Delphine and Rebecca Alexander Frost on Thursday. She's making a panda toy and she's making a, a new bag. Got nothing to do with pandas, but it's an amazing bag. You can make the outside. and for all, well, That's the one that she's done the surprise ones on, isn't it? Um, yeah, and the 780. She'll be on with the 780. One. So she's doing three hours then. And Delphine's doing two hours. So I'm not going out on my own on Thursday. Oh, uh, Delphine's in. She's doing a panda cushion and a panda wall hanging. And Becky Alexander Frost is doing a panda bear. Are they, are they bears, though? Are pandas bears? It's a soft toy in the shape of a panda in different colourways. A bag, which is amazing. And then it's got inside bits. And then um, she's talking about 780. Right. So let's do Baffa. Let's do the Adventurer Backpack pattern only that's all i've got for this one yeah just pattern only for this one 13 pounds and 50 pence demoed on the 25th of august oh now you see christine's talked about passion fruit i might have to get some on the way home <laughs> Thirteen pounds and fifty pence that one. Okay. Now I've got the Queenie bag. Now let's do this one first. Yeah, there's three bags. Now this one is the pattern plus is it plus all the hardware. Oh, sorry, I put the wrong one in. So this comes with the paper pattern with book out pull out pattern sheet, four D rings, four lobster class, a magnetic snap, a 10 inch number three zip, a corner protector, a mini press lock and a large press lock. Look, you can fix it, colour will way. You can make all three of those. That's the, so this is the pattern plus the hardware. All the hardware you need is all in there. <clears throat> so all you have to do is do the fabric and the um, interfacings. 
She has all the hardware shipped in from America for you. Very high quality. Hmm? Oh, don't know. She might do. I think it was through her that we knew about Sally Tomato, yeah. So that's the Queenie bag set with... It's got what? Oh, the Queenie bag set. There's one of them. There's another. She only made two of them. Yeah, because the third one was the one she made on the show, so there won't have been a picture of it. And that's in Odile Ballieu. Look. And there's the, PV, the quilted PVC. <coughs> and the pink, and the pink PV, PVC we had earlier. Nice, okay. Oh, there's, that's that, 43, nice one. <coughs> now, if you want the pattern on its own without any hardware, <coughs> my voice is going, that's just, well, I'm not in for three days, isn't it? That, well, I'll only talk to the man or lady in John Lewis's tomorrow. And, oh, I've got... I'm going to Solio. Oh, I presume I'm going to Solio. I didn't go in, I just made my appointment on the website. £13.50, I'm definitely going to Solly Hill then. Oh, not that. Oh, it is. Just the pattern though on its own. Sorry. Sorry, Elliot. In the Solly Hill, John Lewis is on the basement, next to the, next to the washing machines and the fridges. Oh, you go through the Christmas decorations. Well, you won't, because if I park in the back, then you're just walking through the back door and it's there. If you, if you park in the Touchwood car park, there's a right by the back door. So go in there and the kitchens are there on the left hand side. Well, will there be this? Will there be this week, though? Will there be? No. But the thing is, at least I won't have to see anybody. Can I get out of my car, go in through the door and sit at the desk? We'll obviously be socially distanced. Then I'll sat now. No, I'll sanitise, then get back in my car and drive home. So I should be fine. Yeah, you don't want to be going in a busy shop. Right, uh, so now, commuter backpack kit. That's what this one looks like, Elliot. And this one here again is your pattern, instructions and your hardware. $29.99. Becky Alley's Under Frost hardware is great. Beware of cheap imitations. There's no comparison, says Lynn Chewitt. At $29.99. Two, so in there you get the paper pattern and booklet, the quick release buckle, 26 inch number five zip and two zip pulls, 10 inch zip number three with a zip pull, metal handmade tag and one inch plastic strap slider. And you make that. Yeah, obviously, you can make it in your fabric. You don't, you, there's no fabric in that one. We had that quilt yesterday, didn't we, with that? Oh, I tell you, that quilt hour yesterday was so busy. Well done if you took advantage of that. $29.99. Right, is there anything I need to recap before I do the menu? How many minutes have I got, Elliot? How many? Right, okay. Christmas, right, today, if you've not got somebody a Christmas gift yet, and you're thinking, oh no, left it too late, go to the website, go to right at the bottom of the first page, right down the bottom, 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 click on gift cards. Right now, you can buy a Sewing Street gift card or a Yarn Lane gift card. You can either have it posted or you can have it emailed. Now, obviously the posted one will get to you because... Oh, because um, today's the last day. But if you don't want to risk it, buy an e-gift card, right? So you can only choose that design. There's only one sign. How much would you like to spend? Right now, this used to be 10 and 500 pounds. It's now only 10 and 200 pounds. You can either buy the fixed prices, 10, 25, 50 or 100 or any. Oh, cat wants 75 pounds, right? Then you go, who's it for? Is it for you or for somebody else? So you click somebody else. Then you say, what is their first name? Cat. Now, what is their last name? Wilcox. Then, what is their email address? Don't put that in. Oh, you can see it there. Click. Okay, then. Then you put their email address again. Then you write in here, Dear Cat. Oh, no, not well. Dear Cat. What do I show you? Wow. Thank, uh, Merry Christmas. Love, Cat. 
Right? Then who's it from? It's from Kat. Now, when do you want it sent? Do you want it emailed to them now? Or do you want to email to them later? So you click on later. Then what you do is you choose the 25th of December. You choose now what time do you open your presents? Oh, you won't be opening your presents till the afternoon. Yeah, it depends who it's from though, doesn't it? So say nine o'clock in the morning. Then you go, we're not going to click on purchase because Kat will then have to pay for it. So at 9.20 on Christmas morning, Kat, in theory... Oh, yes. No, actually, that's a good point. What you should do is you should book it for 8 o'clock on Christmas Day. Then we come live at 8 o'clock. Then we can spend it on Christmas Day. 7.55 on Christmas Day. Make sure you do the morning 7.55, not the nighttime one. And then at 8 o'clock, be me and Alison Marion here for four hours and, and Hannah and Jeremy Joe. Anyway, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. Christmas clearance at 8 o'clock. Striped tote bag. Tope, 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 tope. I'll say that again. Striped tote bag with Wendy Orlando. 10 o'clock, they've got, it's Rebecca Reed tomorrow, by the way. Panels and fabrics at 10 o'clock. Now, this was supposed to have the name change for political correctness reasons, right? It's Wendy Orlando's cushion pattern. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got the Yarn Lane New Year's must-haves. They will never, ever, I've already unpacked that box, right? They will never, ever, ever in their wildest dreams get through everything. Well, they'll be yakking away. Or they'll either be yakking or they'll be hating each other by then, won't they? They'll be with their backs to each other. But, then, no. but anyway, they've got so much in that show. The Yarn Lane show tomorrow is incredible. Now, we, we, were, we were saying that today was your last official day to order before Christmas. But it's all dependent on your on your courier, isn't it? You could order it tomorrow and it could still be there in time for Christmas, couldn't it? Cat's putting a coat on. Anyway, anyway, uh, thank you very much for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets on everything. Not back till Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. 23, 24, 25. So it's 23 is Baffa and um, Delphine. 24 is... Catherine Wright, and 25 is Alice and Marion. Uh, now, make sure you check out on everything on your basket. Uh, I will be doing my Facebook Live at four o'clock, so I need to hurry up and pack all this away and get home. But I have got a boiled egg to eat. I've got my processed cheese instead. I will see you on Thursday morning at eight o'clock. Do not be late. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!